Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I'm doing Ratchet and Clank here, Platinum Walkthrough, complete Platinum Walkthrough. And I'm hoping to get this down to between 5 and 10 hours. It will consist of two playthroughs, quite a lot of missed trophies, a few collectibles along the way, um, and a few troublesome ones. But I try and make that as easy as possible. If you're new to the channel guys, please consider clicking that subscribe button. If you want to see my future content, like the video. And you can always leave a comment guys, I enjoy reading your thoughts and I also enjoy having a chat with you guys. And if you want to support, support me in an extra bit, you can always join the channel guys for cheap 2 dollars there's a few perks in there as well. But here we are guys at Ratchet and Clank, I'm going to get straight into this, straight into this one and um, we'll have a chat as we go along. So, difficulty doesn't matter, you can choose casual, which I advise. And reference the, um, there's cheats in this game, which you unlock by collecting some of the collectibles and we'll actually use the cheese in the second playthrough so first of all we just need to interact with this bolt in the, on this lever and then just hold any direction on the analog stick to lower that ship and you just need to look at the um, parts of the ship you get asked to by buddy there, there you go yeah it's, it, it's sort of, it's easy this game there's some races you have to do where you have to uh, complete the race in a certain time. They can take a bit of practice, just um, just get down to actually hitting that time. But apart from that, y yeah, it's not too bad. There's a lot of collectibles, like I say, and a lot of missed trophies. So um, if you're not following sort of an optimal guide like this, you could be winning around a lot, just um, doing one at a time. You could be going back on yourself a lot of the time. But um, I'll keep all the backtracking to a minimum. And killing enemies, as you can see, I'm ignoring most of the enemies. You don't really need to kill any, any of them, only the ones where it won't happen all the time, but sometimes you won't be able to progress into sort of kill every enemy in the area. Um, so just keep this nice and fast. I'm only going to kill enemies that I have to. There is a trophy for maxing out all your weapons in terms of weapon XP. And you're limited to weapon level 5 in playthrough 1. And in playthrough 2, you can get weapon level 10, which is max level, which you need to get with every weapon. And getting some of these levels, uh, these weapons up to max level can be a bit grindy. But I'm going to try and keep that easy, nice and easy and quick by um, doing it in certain spots, basically. Yeah, there's going to be a few certain spots I'm going to use throughout the game, which makes it a lot quicker to do. So, um, yeah, you may find that I'm not using many different weapons. It's because... The spots I use later just make it so much quicker. And if you keep stopping and changing weapons all the time, um, it, it does consume a bit of time as you go through a game. You can do if you want, it's entirely up to you. Or you can just do what I'm doing, guys. Just keep it nice and easy and a little bit quicker. So here you want to buy a fusion grenade. Yeah, we um, we got uh, them boxes we just destroyed. We've got enough bolts on there to actually buy some. Reference collecting bolts, by the way. Yeah, you do need a lot of bolts in the game to buy every weapon. Because some weapons, what I said about the second playthrough when you can get to weapon level 10. In the second playthrough, you can actually buy upgrade a sort of better version of each weapon. And they do cost a lot. But what I'm going to do, in the second playthrough, there's a really, really good glitch you can do. Yeah, I'm going to use a glitch for this just because I do not want to spend hours grinding. Which you would have to do if you did not use this glitch. And this glitch actually changes a few hours grinding into about 10 minutes work. So it's completely up to you. It's not difficult to do. But you really need to be a new game plus in order to use it properly. So you have to destroy the enemies here guys. As you can see on my top left, my grenades. It says level 1 and as you kill enemies with them they're slowly going up. That level slowly going up. And your, your actual character XP as well. That's in the middle of the screen at the top. So once you run out, yeah, these crates here, these boxes with the lights in the middle, they actually give you ammo back. So just keep a lookout for them when you're low in ammo throughout the game. Yeah, you can attack with square, your sort of basic attack. We don't get any XP for that. So I'm trying not to use it too much. Yeah, that's your first trophy, guys. Basically training. So I'm just um, stocking back up on my grenades before we leave. There we go, and then head over the bridge, and we take control of the little metal clack. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you can see it, mate. You can skip most of the cutscenes. Thank God. 
Yeah, it's about, in terms of how many worlds, it's probably about 15 different worlds, between 10 and 15. I've never actually took a moment to actually count them all, but it's about 10 or 15 worlds um, they have to go through. There's only a few that we have to backtrack to, by the way. And when you take control of Clank like this, yeah, I do not like playing as Crank. It's just, I don't know, it's playing as Clank, it's just it's a bit boring. Yeah, I find it a bit boring. Um, it, it's quite fun at first, but the more you do it, it's just more annoying it gets. Yeah, Clank is a bit boring to play. Sorry, Clank, but you are. So once you've done that, um, you have to run away from uh, Megatron here. Well, he looks like, well, more like Galvatron, doesn't he? Victor Von Von or something he's called. Well, there'll be quite a few parts like this throughout the game where you're just basically running, around, running away from Galvatron here. Um, if he gets too close, he will sort of instant kill you of that melee attack he just did with his little blade that you can summon from his arm. So just be careful you don't slow down too much. And most of his attacks are quite easy to dodge. This laser, you just jump over it. Um, eventually you'll reach here. Just grab that bomb, lob at the vent so you can dive in. Right, pick up this little fella and lob him at the generator to power it, open the door. Grab this platform guy, and then grab the... Hey, oh, what happened to him? He went tiny. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> I've not had that happen before. He just, like, shrunk. I wonder if I could have still uh, bounced on him. That have been interesting. And then, yeah, once you press that switch, come back through here, and this bridge will um, open. And then come across with a bomb and lob it in the vent to um, say hello to Galvatron again. Same again. You thought he'd be better at this by now. He just keeps doing the same thing. This is literally all you do with him throughout the game uh, when you clank. It's probably part of why it gets annoying. And what we just did in them few rooms back then, grabbing them little robots and using them to um, traverse the area. That's all you basically do is clank. Probably what, what I mean, how it gets a bit boring playing this in. Just keep doing that all the time. Yeah, the um, the cheats, the gold bolts we collect. Depending on how many collect of them, that's how you trigger the cheats and you enable them in the uh, main the options menu. And there's one which actually speeds the game up, which we will be using all the time. They don't disable trophies. Yeah, the cheats do not disable trophies. Yeah, they don't disable trophies. Um, you get 10, and then you can enable fast speed. It's breaking its own ship. The robot, the little robot that could. Yeah, it's um, a cheap, for a cheap, it speeds your game up. It's not a lot. I mean, you can't really notice it sometimes. But it speeds your game up a bit. That's a cheat for infinite ammo, and the cheat for invincibility. The one for infinite, infinite ammo, you can't really use it until later, because... When it's enabled, you cannot get weapon XP. The invincibility one, when that's enabled, you a lot of people, a lot of places on the internet, they say you don't get any XP, but you do. You get about 50% XP. And here, guys, is the um, what's it called again? Fusion cannon or something? Yeah, make sure you grab that. Oh, combustor. Sorry, it's called the combustor. You need to shoot them green switches to um, activate its bridge. So we're low, low in ammo, we don't need to kill any enemies for the time being, but just keep an eye out for any ammo crates on the way here, on the way along. Yeah, you're going to use grappling hook here by holding circle when you jump. Yeah, the invincibility, yeah, like I say, a lot of places on the internet say it disables uh, character XP completely, but it doesn't. It just gives you it about, it gives you about 50% 50, 50 XP instead of full XP. Um, it's only the infinite ammo which completely disables weapon XP, unfortunately. Bit of a shame because that can make it so easy to, um, yeah, so easy to level up your weapon. So just got to disable the ship now, kill it, because it's blocking our way. And once you destroy that, guys, yeah, you level up. If not already, oh well, 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 well. <laughs> yeah, wait for the grapple points to appear, guys. Top tip. There we go. 
Right, so once you're over there, some more ammo crates here. I'm going to grab. Yeah, it's very deep. This first level, there's not much to keep track of. Yeah, there's not much to keep track of. Um, but as we go, there will be more and more to collect. And I should be able to help you do that. So optimally along the way. Reference cards, by the way. Um, most of the cards are random what you collect, which is why... Yeah, we did actually... There is actually a little spot we could have grabbed one in a secret area. But it's still sort of random what you get, so don't bother with that. Um, the only actual main cards we need to get are the Rhino cards. And they're also in a specific place. And I will tell you about them. But reference normal cards, guys. When we do the glitch, what I mentioned, we will get tons of cards from doing that. So um, don't worry about the cards. The important ones I will advise you to collect. There's nine important cards, by the way. So there's not too many. Right, once killed all the enemies, guys, um, just in this sort of immediate area, this shutter door will open up, and then we'll head to the next area. Yeah, you do get um, ability slater on. You get to sort of, you get a jet pack. You get um, there's not really many abilities to get, which make a lot of sort of games sort of with Metroid elements. This is a 3D game, but I mean Metroid elements in the sense that you get an ability which lets you lets you just move around a lot quicker and that. There's not really many abilities like that, right, and Clank? Yes, there are abilities that you know give you help you reach places you couldn't before. But in terms of jumping and you know covering greater greater distances with jumping, it's quite. There's an ability that makes you cover more ground, but it's not great. It's only lets you get a little bit further. So. It's not, a th it's not a case where at the end of the game we can completely reach anywhere. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, so, what we're going to do now, guys, we've just got to do some upgrades. So, let's follow this tutorial. And we just got that Rotarium just before we came in here, guys. And then what we're going to do, we're going to upgrade the Combuster. You want to get the ammo first. Yeah, come with the ammo, guy. That's it. Once you've used all your Rotarium. Modder, yeah, we actually got it. We smashed this, remember, just before we got some Rarotarium from there. The Rarotarium, by the way, um, you do use it to upgrade along with bolts, but monsters randomly drop it. And there's a few, there's a few spots around, there's a few spots around the worlds um, where it's a fixed appearance like that crystal, but it's not something you can res it, it doesn't respawn. It's a one-time thing, but I will point them out to you as well, guys. They're not needed for trophies, but you need them for upgrading weapons, which are needed for trophies. And so it would just help if I can advise you on the f where to get them fixed spawns. So I'm just going to kill these few enemies here, because we need to interact with that lever in the middle there. And if you don't kill these, they'll probably just keep shooting you and uh, interrupting you. There we go. If you're lucky, you could probably do this without um, actually hitting, just completely missing you. But it's safe here just to um, kill them. So I've just pushed that all the way. And we're going to head up here now. What I'm doing now. This is the main sort of mission on this world. There's some optional missions. Which you don't have to do. Um, to complete a story. But most of them you have to do. In regards to trophies. But the optional mission on this world. You do not actually have to do. All it gets you is a little card set. Which you don't even really need. Right so. Um. That's this little mission done, sort of. There's a few cutscenes there you can skip if you want. There we go, and we're going to jump down this water slide. Whee! Haha. <laughs> yeah, great fun. But at least you get plenty of bolts on the way down here. Eh? Well, Ratchet and Clank are enjoying it at least. Yeah, you get a good thousand bolts. You literally, this farmer spot at the end of the game, you literally get millions in like a few minutes. It's pretty crazy. So just heading down here now, now we've done that bit. So I'm not stopping to kill enemies, but I'm just, as I move along, I'm just shooting enemies. Why not? And it will actually give you some weapon XP as well. We're so, sort of heading over here. And grab some ammo along the way. There we go, and head into this water. That's where I am on the map. You don't have to come in the water here. Just watch your oxygen on the left. But you seem to move quicker in water than what you do when you're sort of paddling along on the surface. And here's two Rarotarium. There you go. One, two. Grab them. Back in the water just because it seems a bit quicker. 
There's the trophy, guys, for um, using a certain weapon on every single enemy. And that but can be quite twicky. Uh, twicky? Can be quite twicky dicky. Can be quite tricky to um, keep track of. Um, but what I've been doing, I've actually got, as I'm going through this in my own time on another account, I've made a list of every sort of trophy, um, every enemy we hit along the way. So I'll actually advise you when to use that weapon on certain enemies along the way. So um, hopefully we can sort of keep keep on track together when we're doing that one. So I'm not stopping to kill enemies, I'm just killing enemies as I'm moving. I'm only going to kill enemies which we have to do to move guys or you know, or if there's some other misc trophy related to it. So Agnog Bookwash, the mayor of Tobrokrata <laughs> of Novalis. Isn't that ship where we need to protect him? Well first we're going to come around this corner and get some Raritarium. One Raritarium, the best spot in the game, we'll get one from there. Right. I don't like it how he does this, I think this is due to the casual difficulty and the control scheme it sets you on, but how you, you're sort of auto aiming sort of as you're running backwards. So just get all, kill all the enemies around the ship guys now. Yeah, kill all the enemies around the ship um, to advance as part of the mission. Yes, leveled up. You'll find when you level up, you'll actually get full ammo as well, which is always nice. Yeah, so just kill all the enemies around the ship. So I've got Rev Terry in there. And there's the last one, I think. I think that's him. Yeah, once you've got all the enemies. Yep. Yeah. Mayor Bookwash will come out. There he is. Oh, hello. Yep, yeah, that's the map, I know. Right, which done that? Press that green lever, uh, green switch to open the door. Back up on the platform. And we're good to go, guys, on to the next world. What I'm going to do with this, I'll probably get about four or five worlds done during this part. Um, I'm not going to keep one part per world because <laughs> some parts will be literally about five minutes long. So, yeah. I was going to try and get through this quick. So first of all, guys, we're going to do Kowan. Kowan. Yeah, so let's go and head to Kowan. There's quite a lot to do on Kowan, actually. Um, it's a few. There's uh, there's two misc trophies we do here, and there's quite a lot to collect. So um, this is where it's going to get interesting in terms of collectibles, guys. Right, but first you take control of the ship, and there's nothing to collect as a ship. You just have to complete the objectives you get given. So, uh, yeah, you can't skip this cutscene. Yeah, I, always, I find the controls awkward like this because you're used... When you're controlling Ratchet, you move the camera with the right analogue, but now you sort of do it with the left analogue, and it's pretty... I don't know, it just seems pretty awkward, this does. But, yeah, just, you can see the objective markers, there's one. And then just shoot it. You can use R2 to fire, by the way. You don't have to use circle. Just makes it a bit easier. Yeah, you can use R2 to fire. So once you've got that first ship, you're just waiting for the next ships to appear now. You know when they appear, because they will all appear on the map. The Marcus. More transports. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a shame you can't sort of boost and shoot at the same time. When you shoot, it slows down. Right, that's one. That's another one. Two more over here. Right, one more left. Just watch you don't crash into buildings, guys, because it will kill you. <laughs> yeah. Crashing, hitting buildings. It will, won't kill you instantly, but it will decrease your health, which you see at the top. And your health when you're controlling the ship never changes. No matter how much you level up, it will always be 50. So just wait in a minute now for the um, objective to update, because in a minute we're going to get magnet, and we're going to magnet all these enemies along here, ten at a time, and we're going to use them to destroy the warship. It will take, it will take between two and three. It's normally two and a half um, magnets, four magnets. Right here we go. 
So you hold triangle to use them. You just hold triangle and the magnet will automatically pick up um, these war bots below you. That's it. You can see on the top right there how many you've got. We've got a 10. Once you've got a 10, just head over to the warship and press L2 or square. Yeah, you have to be reasonably close to do it. Don't know why it made me. You don't normally have to get too close, that close. I'm not sure why it made me wait so long there. So you're going to get some more. You don't have to get them all from this spot. Um, I just normally get them from here. It's normally nice and close. Well, what am I doing here? Okay, let's just get a few more. Let's get one more stack, complete stack, and that should kill him. Yeah, like I say, it's normally two two complete stacks and a bit of another one to kill it. There we go, he's dead. Yeah, that's a flying section done part of that world, guys. And now we'll be back as Ratchet. Yeah, we won't be playing as uh, Clank for a few levels now. Kowan. Right, uh, so let's go and do this. Yeah, some, there's some puzzles as well you have to complete. You can auto skip the puzzles, but if you do that, it avoids the trophy. So under here, guys, Raritarium. Two Raritarium in here. And there's some lampposts here we have to destroy. See these lampposts here? So that's one lamppost. Two. Three. So three on that side. And I'm going to come here now. And what we're going to do, we're going to... Don't spend any money. You may have more than me, and you can afford to spend some it. But if you want to keep on track, guys, just only buy what I buy. Don't worry. Um, it's going to all make sense later. So I'm just going to finish upgrading this. Always try and upgrade around the yellow spots first. Um, right, so um, combustor. Yeah, you see, I just keep upgrading the combustor. Right, so um, how many lamps was that? Lost track now. Um, <laughs> lost track. But it's one more lamp here, guys. There's another lamp. There's some dogs here. Just want to kill these dogs. They're going to get in your way. Just for a second. You don't have to kill them to progress. But when we try and destroy these lamps, they're going to get in your way. Just kill these guys as well. There's another lamp here. Lamp 5, I think it is. Lamp 5. There's one here. Lamp 6. Now switch to your grenade, your fusion grenade, and see over there, this Raritarium, lob a grenade at it. There we go, that'll give you two. Don't worry, it'll come to you automatically. There we go. Now kill all these guys, because they're going to get in your way again. And then shoot the helicopter. Yeah, if you try and run past these, you may die. I always die when I try to run past these. Right, we got him. Right, that's number seven lamppost over here, right in the corner, hiding behind this tree. There we go, number seven lamppost. Right, hopefully I've got... No, it's just grenade again. Right, so we've got seven lamp posts so far, guys, and down here now. And we want to kill all these enemies as well, because these are going to make trouble for you if you don't. You have to kill some of them anyway to um, actually progress here. Yeah, these dogs are pain in the ass if they sort of get you all surrounded. Just lob a grenade at them, or you square. Right, have I got... No, still haven't got no ammo for my fusion grenade. Right, health. Watch your health. Um, but there's actually some health here. And the blue, and sort of blue energon cubes. I'm going to call them. Right, let's get rid of him now. These helicopter guys are pain in the ass. There we go. And yeah, now he can press his lever. Right, once you've done that, guys. We will upgrade our weapon a bit more, just, but first come out of here. You've got a new ability now. This is about the 
This is about how much, yeah, Rotarium times three here, guys. You see our um, movement, our jumping ability has got a bit better now, but this is about the how good it gets. This is literally about how good it gets. You get an ability later, which makes you a bit quicker in um, jumping in that, but it's not a great deal. There we go. I'm just upgrading again, guys, what we can. Right. Yeah, so you've got a sort of helicopter now. You do get a sort of um, sort of jetpack thing later. Um, but jetpack is sort of limited to certain levels. Um, but you do you do sort of get like a, a booster. Um, it's sort of like an advanced version of this helicopter. Just makes you go a bit faster. Right, so up there, across here now. And that's all, that Rotarium we just got, by the way, guys, that's all the Rotarium you get on this level. So you've got to get on the lift. To make the lift actually work, you're going to have to kill all these enemies on it. Yeah, so um, try not to get surrounded by this like this, because you will die pretty quickly. Yeah, these dogs are pain in the ass. Right, there we go. Yeah, once you've got the ones on the lift, um, you should be able to use it right so if you're quick here you shouldn't have to kill any of these really it just depends how quick you can be because if, it, if the dog's around you you will get in trouble and um, so it's all about try not to let a dog surround you <laughs> and you should be okay there we've got plenty of ammo there you go, more lamps here, but first we'll get a gold bolt. Bolt, so you want to come up here, guys, onto this crate. Come onto this one, and then launch over here. And here is your first gold bolt. One out of 28. And we'll get these lamps first. Where am I? Oh, yeah. So here's lamp 8. Lamp 9. There's 17 of these lamps in total, by the way, that you have to destroy. And that's lamp 9. And that's actually 10 along this sort of um, path here. That's uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right, let's just get rid of these first. Oh 13, 14. I've actually destroyed 15 was there. 16 rings here. And here's the last one, guys. 17. Get a trophy. There we go. I hate lamp. Yes, I do. We do, we do not like light. And then just come over here. And we're on the train now. Just make your way to the end of the train now, basically. You don't have to kill every single enemy you come across, but some you will want to kill just to make it a bit easier. You don't have to kill this one, but if you don't kill him, he's going to keep interrupting you when you interrupt this lever. So just pull out, you see that grappling hook that's um, rotated? So use that, and then that'll bring you over here. Some dogs are going to come out here, you probably want to kill them, just so they don't get away and kill this guy as well. Them big brutes, by the way, if you get too close to them, they melee you. Melee, when they melee you, it take a lot of damage off you, so just be careful. Shoot that, and you can jump across. And then we need to come up here. A lot of people say these, this big fish here, you, you have to um, make it dance. And this um, sort of tentacle thing in here for, a trof for the um, trophy for making every enemy dance to a certain weapon. But I don't think you do have to hit them. Right, you're supposed to climb up the railing on the side but you can get up there a bit quicker if you do it this way uh, but once you're over here we need to kill this helicopter need some ammo fuck yes thank you thank you for the combustor ammo yeah just kill him and it will smash into the blocks ahead give you a path ahead there you go and these next few enemies kill these get rid of him first And then the helicopters. Oh shit, look at my health. I've got no health left. <laughs> One health. Oh my god. Let's be really careful here. Whoa. <laughs> I 
Okay, I've got to be really careful. I do not want to die here, guys. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. This is what I hate about the grenades. The good. Oh fuck! Yeah, the grenade does do a nice. It does do a nice bit of damage, but it's a bit finicky when you're trying to hit airborne enemies. Yeah, right. Let's just do this bit again quickly. Yeah, watch your health, guys. I don't want to do that death. Should I leave that death in? Or um, should I um, edit it out? And be careful. Try not to move around too much because you'll likely... Yeah, do not strafe too much eggs, you likely strafe off the carriage. Yeah, I've done that a few times, definitely. Right, and I'm um, over here guys, and press a switch, and that will finish the train section. Right, another cutscene skip. Another one. Right, complete the fitness course. Now it's a trophy, guys, for completing this fitness course, fitness course in under 70 seconds. And this will take you a bit of practice. Um, so if you don't do it now, you can just come by later. You don't have to do it now, it just gets you a trophy. But your time starts from the moment you land up here. You hear that sort of horn. Oh fuck, I've already <laughs> taken too long. Yeah, so 70 seconds, guys. So that was part of the course. This is the second part you need to do. So you've got to do all of it in 70 seconds. These um, these platforms that come out of the wall, if none are there, just wait for them to come out. Yeah, he should still have enough time. Yeah, it should still have enough time. Well, I hope so. I hope I do this. I did mess up a bit at the start. Yeah, there we go. Just got to get over there now. To that platform where the gold bolt is. And that will, that's basically where the time... Um, where it checks your time and the time completes. Yes, there we go. Kawan Gladiator. That's a trophy you'll get if you do it in under 70 seconds. And that's a gold bolt. Um... Now, to get back, you just come in this taxi and that'll take you back near the start of the course. Or, if you mess up if you mess up near the grappling hooks, where you use the two grappling hooks, in between, in the middle of the course, um, you can actually grapple hook back over, and you can get back to it a bit quicker then, rather than having to complete... Rather than, rather than com messing up the um, first part, or just after, and having to complete the second part, just get back to retry again. You can just come back over the grappling hook, guys, and um, get back that way a bit quicker. Come over here, there'll be a cutscene. And that is it for Kwan. Yeah, there is some that we missed here, but you can't actually get it yet. You actually need a, a different ability to do it. There's a Rhino card. As you see, we've got all the gold bolts there. Um, so next, guys, we're going into Iridia. Yes, Iridia now. What we'll be doing, we'll do, um, we'll do Iridia. And we'll likely do uh, Royal Guard as well. And then that will be it for this part. Yeah, so on Iridia now, guys. Right, so first of all, just come over to this, this dude over here. Skid Marks. Skid Marks, nice name. Right, we've got to kill all these enemies now. As you can see on the left, it says Sand Sharks left. And when you see the plants, try and kill the plants first because that, that will spawn more and it mean you have to kill more. Yeah, so there's a plant. Try and get a plant first. And then get all the Sand Sharks. In the immediate area. Yeah, just make sure you've got them all before you move on. 
Right, we're going to the next lot over here. Right, like I say, get the plant first and try and keep one grenade. We're going to need it in a second. So if you run out of ammo, do not use all your grenades, guys. Keep one. We need it in a second. Right, we've got them all. Yeah, right. Once you've done that, switch your grenade and lob it at this wall. This is where we are, guys, in this area. Lob it at this wall. And there'll be a secret. And in here is your third gold bolt. Right, some ammo there. Right, we'll go to the next uh, sand sharks. Uh, some just around this corner, some ammo. Right, let's get rid of these guys. Yeah, you have to kill it. You have to kill these part of the objective. Right up here, there's another stack of sharks up here. Another stack, another horde. I guess. Right, get the plants first, and then we can focus on the sand sharks. Right, got them. Next lot down here. Get a plant first. Right, that's a plant down. Let's get rid of the sun sharks. Right, switch grenade. Got no ammo left for combustor. Right, that's all them ones. 19 left. I'm used to combustor a lot because I'm just trying to level it up. Um, yeah, basically. Right, let's get rid of that plant. Right, some more plants over there you want to get rid of first. Oh boy, out of ammo. And there we go, last one. We got the sand sharks. Got a Revitarium there as well. Right, so we've done that objective, guys. Once you've done that one, we're going to um, fly down here. And we'll just upgrade the combustor a little bit. You should have a few um, Revitariums now. Yes, there we go. Bogo Plasma. Right, guys. Yeah, don't buy anything. We're going to need ammunition. soon. So don't have to kill anything now for the time being. Just going to find Skid's agent now. Watch you don't fall in that sort of pink quicksand. Yes, it is quicksand apparently. Try not to fall in there. First of all, we're going to come over here. Uh, Taking that way in the map and drop down near that second grapple point. And there's some Raritarium here right in the corner. Two Raritarium. And you can grapple back up to the grapple point. It's a shame there's not a way to um, centralise the camera. Because sometimes the camera angles on this do sort of... They are a bit awkward. And I wish you could centralise the camera by pressing R3. But you can't. R3 just puts you in a sort of um, combat mode. But I don't know why. Because you can already enter that by our L2 sort of. Yeah, in, in control he couldn't auto lock the camera, he couldn't centralise the camera either, and that, that was a bit awkward at times. Yes, yeah, so just heading over here because we're going to get a new um, uh, gadget, the Hydro, Hydro something? Hydro Displacer, what a name. Right, so once you've got the Hydro Displacer, Hydro Displace in here, and that will lower the water. And you see that lever down the bottom, but first of all we're going to dive down in the water, because there's a gold bolt there. Gold bolt number four this should be guys. Yeah, four out of twenty-eight. So back up now quickly before you run out of oxygen and die. And we're gonna open this now. Now all that's left to get here now is um well nothing really, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing else to collect here, we're just gonna do the missions. There is another Rotarium and a gold bolt. The gold bolt you can sort of get it by um doing some sort of tricky jumps but I'm just going to leave it until later which will just make it a lot simpler to get 
Right, what we need to do now, these flamethrower guys, we need to knock one of them off these platforms. So you land in the pink sand. Uh, got a trophy there. So basically got to knock him in the pink sand. There we go. But three or four hits will kill him. So you need to be careful. And um, we don't kill him. But there's four there. It's here quite easy. Just knock them all down. And one of them should fall in the pink sand. You need to come down there. Come over here. And you just want to kill these. Because they seem to get in your way when you try to jump up there. So I always just kill them. Yep, and then we're coming up here. There's another flame guy there. Almost on this level. Yeah, we'll do we'll do this world, and then we'll do um real guard as well. And um, yeah, that will be it, I think, for this part. But uh, real guard is probably going to be the longest world we do so far. So you've got to kill all these enemies now, and then more will spawn. Yeah, kill all these enemies. This ship, I don't think you can kill it this early. I mean, you can try. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't think you can. I always try and destroy that ship, but I don't think you can. So just kill these, and a helicopter enemy is going to appear. There we go. And then once you killed him, it should advance a quest. You dead. Right. Yeah, that's it for um Iridia. Yeah, that's that gold bolt. Yeah, you can get that by sort of doing some tricky jumps in between them um sort of metal walls there, stuck in this quicksand, but it's quite tricky, so I'm just gonna leave it and we're gonna come back later, guys. Once we have the correct abilities to do it properly, basically, you get a trophy there, off to the races. Now let's go to the ship. And yeah, let's go to the races. Right, in the ship. Let's go to Rilgar. Yeah, mate, Rilgar, the last one. Um, so leave Nebula G34 for the time being. Yeah, Rilgar, let's go. There's quite a lot to collect here, guys, so um, just keep track. And we're actually going to get a weapon here, which you actually need to kill every enemy with to get a trophy. Yes, right, so um, yeah, first of all, we'll get the Raritarium first. It's just down here. There we go, two Raritarium guys, just grab them first. Right, then come over to the shop. And you want to buy the Groovatron. You should have enough. I mean, I've, I've killed only the enemies we have to. And I've got 10,000. You need 8 to buy this. So buy the Groovatron. And the good thing about Groovatron is I think it's the only weapon that will um, sort of stun enemies for like a few seconds. So and what I do, I like to upgrade it. But first, you want to upgrade the area of effect. There we go. And the vulnerability. So you won't have enough... Well, I guess you got an, you should have enough to do them all, maybe. But if not, you want to do the area of effect first, guys. Right, and once you've done that, that's weapon you'll be using now. You'll be using the Groovatron and the Combustor, guys. And then, obviously, if you run out of ammo, then you just switch to the others. Right, and let's go, guys. So I'm going to be telling you along the way now um, when to kill an enemy of that Groovatron. And you may want to keep track of it. What's down here? Um, I am going to sort of show you like enemy 1, enemy 2. And I'm not sure these specific names. So I'm just going to use sort of um, just say what they are basically. So you may just want to make a note of these. So these enemies here, the large piranhas, use the Groovatron on these. There we go. You don't have to kill them. Just use the Groovatron on them. You see them dancing, have a little buggy. Yeah, spread spread love, basically. That's what the trophy this wants you to do. So we've done the Prana, that's enemy one with a Groovatron. And we're gonna be doing all this throughout the game, guys, so um Yeah. You are gonna lose track. I mean I'll keep you on track. 
but if you want to keep on track yourself you may just want to make a note, mental note of this um, or jot it you know jot it down on paper right so drain the water there come here and smash this vent and we're going to have to go back through to raise the water again just so we can actually get high enough on the other side Now through the water. Obviously, be quick. So you don't want to drown. Right out of the water here. Now switch the groove, trying to shoot the slime. That's enemy number two. Green slime having a little dance. Getting down tonight. Green slime. Right, I need to be quick now. There's a gold. There is actually a gold bolt along the sewer, but I've tried to get. I have tried to get it during this sequence, and I just can't get it in time. I get literally like within about a second of it but I just can't quite get there before I drowned so um, you have to come back for this one later unfortunately when we get the um, respirator the oxygen mask so these smaller slimes I don't hit these with the um, Groovatron so I, I think they all just count as one I mean it doesn't matter them green slimes are literally everywhere but yeah I think green a big one a small one medium sized one I think they all just count as the same so as long as you hit one of the green slimes, that would be okay. So just keep going on guys. Try not to fall down here. Yeah, that water is slowly rising. And if you do mess this up, you have to start right at the start of the um, sequence again. Yeah, and once you're here, just wait now and the water will take you all the way to the top. Yes. <laughs> you only just noticed that? Oh, the water is rising. Right, and uh, up here we're going to go speak to a um, lovely fellow. And he's going to give give us a trespasser lock um, gadget. And this, there's actually a trophy for unlocking each trespasser lock without skipping them. So yeah, come talk to this dude. Yeah, we'll get a trespasser. Yeah, these locks, these puzzle locks, guys, do not skip any. You can't skip the first one, but um, later on you'll be able to like auto-hack them where it completes it automatically. Never do that, because there's a trophy for uh, completing each one without skipping it. So, um, yeah, just do it the way I do. Basically, just read the tutorial there. I'm not going to try and explain it. It probably won't make much sense. But once you've done that, grab this Rhino card. Yeah, this is your first Rhino card, guys. I'll just show you now on the menus. Yeah, so a lot of these are just random cards, which don't really matter. We'll get them when we do the glitch. But if you come onto this menu and then press R1, you're going to your Rhino cards. And these are the fixed ones we need to get. That's nine. And we've got Rhino number one. I'm just going to call one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's what I'm going to refer to the mass. Once you've got that, guys, press the screen switch. On that, that shortcut for lever uh, for later, shortcut for lever. Let's go and get that ammo and then come this taxi. Right, we're going to do the second half of this level. Yes, yeah, so we've got Rhino one, guys. We've done that lock. We've got the um, Raritron, we've got a groo Groovatron. Right, well, just see if we upgrade a bit more. I don't think we can. Nope. Okay, so I'm heading over here now, guys, to the next part. So over here in this enemy number three, the yellow guys <laughs> with guns. I don't know what else to call them. The yellow guys with the guns. There we go. Give them a taste of your music. Well then over here. And you have to, for Miss Trophy, you have to let the guys with the guns, the yellow guys with the guns, kill a green slime. slime. So just leave them to it. That's a trophy for letting them kill the green slimes. I think they got to kill about 40 or so, but these ones here, you want to kill these because these will get in your way. Yeah, these guys will get in your way, so just kill them. There we go, and yeah, once you've got them ones, come over here, just let, let these ones kill the green slimes, and we're going to have to kill the yellow guys to actually open that force field behind them. Yeah, once you've got the green slimes, we've already made them down, so we don't need to. Yeah, don't waste your Groovatron ammo unless you need to, because you want to save it uh, for when you actually come across a new enemy. Yeah, probably don't do that. 
It might sting a little. So over here, press a green switch on the floor, and then that release that barrier, and then you can come over here. Now once you get here, there's some Raritarium over there. Oh shit, I fell down. But did you see it just over there? Like I say, let the yellow guys with guns kill the green slimes. Yeah, just up there, there's a Raritarium. I'm just going to use my grenade. You see it? Raritarium. And we just got a trophy there, guys. Not my job. That's one we need. And I've got a Raritarium. Right, so um, we'll let them finish off the green slimes. And then we'll jump and help in a minute. But a tank will spawn here. Um, so that's going to be enemy number four. The tank. Yeah, I'm just going to give out one word. The tank. Right. And uh, we'll shoot him while he's um, busy strutting. Yeah, even tanks can dance. Just be careful there, guys, though, because you may... Yeah, there's a lot of enemies here. You may get swarmed. But you are going to have to kill them all so you can interact with the switch. Oh, got them all? Yes. Right. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Exterminate, yeah, go for it. Right, once you've got them guys. Over here. Now, all you have to do here is um, go and hit the switch. There's a switch up here. And that'll let the green slimes out. And just wait, just wait a second, and um, these guys coming down the lift, yeah, they'll open this f this barrier, and then we can go up the lift. Yeah, just leave them to it, let them destroy each other, I don't want to get in, fr get in the middle of their battle. It's not my battle, guys, it's not my battle. Right, so, um, just heading through here, just keep pressing the switches, and making your way through. Ah, oh, little baby slimes. Oh, hello, you can kill the slimes for me. That's it, keep them distracted, good job, boys. No, don't shoot me. I think I've got in the middle of the line of fire then. Yeah, so just head all the way through this force field. Now, once you get here, you will have to kill these enemies outside. Yeah, I'm just I'm just making him dance just because I can kill him then. Watch him do the tank walk. No, it's moon walk, I guess. That's it, here comes another tank. I'm going to use that Groovatron again. You don't need the Groovatron anymore, guys, by the way, for this world. So you can use some of your ammo if you want to stun the enemies. Yeah, you're going to have to kill all the sort of um, yellow robots and the tank to... Um, the slime doesn't matter. Um, but you will have to kill the um, other enemies to open the gate ahead. Right, let's get some health and um, some ammo. Oh, hello. You want to dance? Let's boogie. These guys, they can break dance. Right, once you've got all them guys, it's just a gold bolt we need to get here. So we need to come here, and then up to this one. And then jump across here. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, one left, is there? Where did he come from? Yeah, don't do that. Just double jump across. It's a lot easier and uh, easy to control. Make your way over to the end. And then turn right and head into the far corner here. And there's a gold bolt. There we go. Gold. That is gold bolt, guys. Um, gold bolt number five. Should be. Yes, once we get ten, we can activate fast speed. Right. Let's, that's all the enemies now for this world. We are about done. We are about done. Uh, let's just head up here. Um, but now we're going to do the race, guys. A hoverboard race. And this is the part that I said can be a bit tricky. Because you have to do it in um, 135. It is, it's easier if you wait till you've got all the collectibles. Because if you wait till you get all the collectibles, then you'll be able to turn on invincibility. So we're going to do bronze cup first, guys. And you have to do this bronze cup anyway. The rest are optional. Yeah, you have to do... Um, you can use invincibility for the actual trophy. And it makes it a bit easier because later on when the explosives spawn on the race, they will not damage you. 
So you always need to use your boost, guys. And if you can do tricks in the air, when you land, you get sort of a multiplier to your boost gauge. Then boost gauge is on your top left. Yeah, if you do a big jump, you can normally get three tricks in. Um, but medium jump, you can normally get like two tricks. And obviously a small jump, uh, it's normally one, uh, one trick. But just be careful. If you're doing a trick as you land, it will sort of stun you. And you will lose probably a, a little bit of time. So you don't want to do that too much. And if, if you saw, we've got that gold bolt. Yeah, like there, I messed it up. There was a gold bolt here. We got it on the first lap. So make sure you get the gold bolt, guys. The gold bolt on this course. But the, the trick is to, excuse the pun. The trick is to just keep your boost going. So you need to make sure you've always got a decent boost gauge. And always hit the um, blue markers because they give you a boost of blue arrows. And obviously the blue rings, they also, they, they actually add to your boost gauge. Destroying the crates add to your boost gauge as well. Yeah, so it's big jumps, you can normally get three in, guys. And like I say, uh, to get the trophy, there's a Mystic Trophy. You have to complete the race in 1 minute 35 on the Gold Cup. Yeah, on the Gold nice Cup. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do all three races. The Bronze, the Silver and the Gold. When you complete the Gold, you get a Rhino card. That's just for completing it. You don't have to do it in a certain time. Winner, winner, Sand Shark Dinner. <laughs> yes, but there's a trophy for actually completing the Gold Cup in 135, like I said. So, um... Like I say, if you, you can try and do it now, but if you are finding it tricky, just leave it until end game and you can come back with invincibility. And see all these explosives that have spawned now? When you hit them with invincibility on, they will not do nothing to you. So it will be a lot easier. But I've done this quite a lot, so obviously I know what I'm doing now. Trust me, they did take me a long time to get down to be able to do this almost every time now. But yeah, the key is to always keep the boost active and to do tricks as much as you can. Only only do tricks when you're on the jump. You can do them when you're just moving around normally. Um, you can sort of jump and do a trick, but it's sort of... Yeah, whoa, shit, use boost at the wrong time. Yeah, do not fall off track because that will slow you down. Because it will sort of spawn you back on the track and that will waste a bit of time. Yeah, you can sort of do a, uh, just a jump from when you're on the track and do one trick. But it's, it doesn't really seem like that useful. Yeah, it's to save you tricks for when you're actually in the in the air. And obviously, mate... Oh, shit. There we go. That's what happened. Oh! That's what happens, guys, when you hit the explosives. So, yeah. So, like I say, you may find it a bit easier coming back later with invincibility on. Oh shit, and if you mess up jumps, yeah, you can hit platforms and that will sort of slow you down like it has me now. Right, so I lost quite a bit of time here. I'm not far off 135, but that was silver. But hopefully we'll get in time on gold. But you did get quite a lot of bolts from this. I think on the gold cup, if you win, you get like about 12,000. So if you want to... So what... How many bolts have I got? I've, do, I've got 12,000 bolts. Yeah. I've got 12,000. So let's see how many we get. Yeah, I've got 12,000 bolts. Yeah, you'll find when you do this, you get quite a lot of bolts. Right, so this is it. The Gold Cup, guys. Yeah, if you complete this in one, 1 minute 35, you get a trophy. Okay. I've already messed it up. Yeah. Right, I need to concentrate now, guys. I got mi I was getting mixed up with the buttons. I think I was just having a moment. <laughs> I forgot what the buttons were. Whoa, whoa. I'll be surprised if I do this now. I had quite a rough start. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my god, what's going on? Oh, 
Oh no, maybe I can bring this back. We'll see, we'll see. But it almost landed on the um, explosive. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh my god. Alright, well, I've fucking messed <laughs> I've messed this up completely. Yep, yeah, damn. It's a shame, that's a shame that is. Looks like I'll be coming back later, guys. Okay. Oh, never mind. Bollocks. We do have to come back to this level to get that gold bolt, um, which was in the sewer. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, we'll leave this guy, so we'll come back later on and do this. Um, but I've got 20,000 now, so you get about 8,000 from that. 8,000 from that. I don't want to do it again because it's going to give me a lot. Yeah, it's going to give me a lot of um, bolts. Um, but before you leave, just open this little shortcut. Yeah, open that shortcut, guys. And head back to the ship. Right, and um, yes, that is everything done here, guys. We are about done. Yes, we got Rhino card number two. If you notice, we got that for actually completing the gold cup. Yes, we got Rhino card two. And we'll just head to the next level ready, guys, for the next part. And I will leave it there. Yeah, so we're going to Nebula G34 now. Yeah, I, I probably should have done that gold cup just one more time, do it in 135. But I'll come back to it later, guys, with um, invincibility on. And it will just make it a lot easier. Because you don't have to worry about the explosives then. So picking up from where we finished, we're on uh, Nebula Golf 34 now. So just come over to the um, shop first. And we're just going to buy um, Mr. Zircon. And yeah, don't buy anything else and uh, we're going to buy Proton Drum as well. Yeah, don't buy anything else. We're going to try and save up all our funds now for um, for later. Any upgrades, you can use them on the Groovatron. Yes, there we go. Yeah, you want to save up? I mean, if you're, if you're swarming in money, you can probably afford to spend a bit. Um, but just keep make sure we're on track you want to save your money now until um yep yeah, until later on so we've got enough to buy a weapon i want to buy later so it's going to be quite expensive so just come in here first we're going into the warship guys yeah just go into the warship because we're going to get a new weapon in a second yeah some of these objectives are optional but you are going to need to uh, complete most of them to make sure you get some, I mean this one for example, we get a weapon, which we need for later. So let's come to the end. Um, yeah, use Groovatron. Any new enemies you come across, use Groovatron on them. Yeah, you don't really need to kill them all, but just make sure you use the Groovatron. Yeah, some new enemies here. There's the one with the yellow helmet. Yeah, so that's an enemy done there. Yeah, I've got you guys. Come through here, and first of all, yeah, we use the Groovatron because there's a smaller enemy on there, on the left. Yeah, some Raritarium there, two Raritarium. Yeah, kill these two once you've got them dancing. Well, three, there's three actually. And then you can grab the Predator afterwards. Cool, sweet, new weapon. Right, and then quickly escape, 40 seconds left. Mother ship's going to detonate. Don't bother killing them. It tells you to lock on, but do not be deceived. They just want you to stop so you get destroyed along with the warship. Just head along, guys, back to where you came from. Ouch. Please let me escape. If you want to die, that's your choice. Cool. Now that's it. you just got to get here to return to the station up. Yeah, so once you've done that, guys, you cannot go back. So if you miss that Raritarium, you're not going to be able to get it until... Um, well, you won't be able to get it at all. I was going to say until new game, but that doesn't really count, does it? 
Right, so we're going to go up here and we, there's going to be a little segment now where we play as Clank. This bit's probably going to be a bit shorter than the last part, guys. Um, just because there's one particular world here and there's a lot to keep track of. And I don't want to try and keep track of too much at once. But we are going to be revisiting a few worlds on this one. Sorry, I don't know where I'm going there. Just come out. <laughs> Go down on the lift and then take the open doorway. And they come out here to the little froggies. Hit the switch. And we'll get a new ability now of Clank, actually. Throw this up here. We're going to get an upgrade chip. What is that? It's quite big. I'm not sure where we put that. Okay, that'll fit inside my center of, of mass, apparently. So now, when you pick up these robots, you can actually hold triangle and change them into a power bot. Yeah, don't be deceived by how many different... Um, available slots. I mean, when you hold triangle, there's a lot of free slots you have there. I mean, there's what, six, seven or eight there? But no, you only get three of these throughout the game. Yeah, I know there's like eight slots or so, but yeah, you only get about three. Yeah, this is it. This is the three you get throughout the whole game. So this is it. This is about how in-depth Clank's gameplay becomes. Yeah, some Rotarium here, guys. Just smash that, get two aerotarium. Yeah, kill these frogs, they're fucking get in the way. And then pick up this robot, if you can. I hate it when you don't pick them up. Yeah, it's a bit of a um, bit clunky sometimes with Clank when you go to pick up these robots. Yeah, make him into a bridge over there, then pick this one back up. Turn him into a power bot. And uh, lob him over that generator to... Um, Give it some electric and then open the door ahead. Pick up this one. Make it into a platform, a spring bot. And you can then jump up here. Grab this little fella. Turn him into a power bot. Power that generator. Pick this one back up. You can press triangle to change. Um, change him without having to go to menu. But I find that's a bit annoying as well sometimes. Because sometimes you press triangle and nothing happens. Um, until you press it again. Bit annoying. So you throw him here, then you bring that one back through, throw him to that one, and then take this one afterwards and throw him to there. And then we can grab the Magni Boots for Ratchet. Ratchet, you're welcome. You're welcome, mate. Come in, Ratchet. I just located a pair of Magna Boots. Returning to your position now. Awesome. I always wanted a pair of Magna Boots. Well, you got him, buddy. But I want some. I want some. Uh, oh shit! I almost got crossed by an elevator. I want some nuts for him. I want you nuts. As payment. Uh, okay, so we're back as Ratchet now, and let's go and finish Nebula G34. So obviously, keep an eye out on enemies, guys. Don't know where I'm going. Sorry, I'm looking at. I'm looking. Um, one minute. Let me do this. Let me do this. I'm trying to fold over my notepad, so I make sure I don't forget anything. Yeah. So here's another lock, trespass lock. Obviously, make sure you don't auto hack this because you need to. Yeah, you can auto hack by pressing square. Yeah, you need to complete these for a trophy. Properly. Yeah. Sorry, I'll get there. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that inner one, as you can see, add like a little um, uh, a little part on it that would block the laser from another one. So we had to do it that way. Yeah, so we get these frogs, finally. Oh yeah, I like it. Right, we've already shot these guys with the Groovatron, so I'm just going to press a switch to um, open the door ahead. Right, I'm going to shoot all these because we need to interrupt that lock there. There we go. This lock because this will give us a rhino card. And we need this lock anyway. Yeah, so that one goes there. Um, this one goes there. Sometimes you can tell where they go because you can just spin them. And if they've got any bits that are blocking other laces, then you know it does not go there. So here's Rhino card, guys. Rhino card number five, I think. Is it number five or uh, number four? Oh, sorry. Yeah, so, sorry. 
the number four, Rhino card four. Don't worry, we'll be getting Rhino card three soon. So through here, there's a card over there, but we don't need it. It's just a normal random one. Right, so don't need to kill this. Um, I actually need some ammo. Yeah, so there's two different enemy types here, as you can see. So use the Groovatron, make these both dance. Yeah, we're going to lob that. There they go, they're having a boogie. Yeah, so make sure... Make sure, guys, that you um, use Groovatron on them. Right, save your Groovatron for the time being. We'll need it shortly. Right. And this Mr. Zukon, by the way, I forgot to do it. You want to keep summoning him when there's enemies around. You, you don't have to attack him. He attacks himself. But obviously, you need to level him. And he can be quite a pain to level up. So, um, But because you don't have to do anything, you just have to summon him. Um, you don't have to stop. I, I like to um, just keep him summoned all the time. Yeah, but you come through here because there's a gold bolt. Yeah, there we go. Gold bolt there, guys. Uh, gold bolt uh, number seven, I think it is. Yeah, gold bolt number seven. Yeah, and then over the other side, this Raritarian, but there's a switch here. Is it here or is it... Um I oh know, so it's here. Yeah, two switches here, guys. There's one there, and there's one there. Sorry, I've just been playing Final Fantasy VII, actually. But here, there's some Raritarium. There we go. Raritarium just there. Got that, and we can pass through here now. Now, this way, you want to use the Groovatron. Just to keep the enemies occupied. But you want to shoot these. Uh, summon Mr. Zircon. Yeah, I'm just going to stun each enemy with the um, Groovatron here. Shoot this. Same here. Yeah, you can die pretty quick here. That's why I just do this instead. Look, even the um, shop... <laughs> even the shop um, dances. I'm not quite sure why. Okay, so you want to save your save your Raritarium for um, the Combustor and Groovatron later. So got another lock here. Obviously, guys, make sure. Yeah, make sure you don't auto hack it. If you auto hack one by accident, you're likely going to mess up. Well, if you auto hack one by accident, basically, you're going to avoid a trophy and you have to do it in second playthrough. Right. This guy, yep, use Groovatron on him. There we go. And then just keep attacking him, guys. You can summon Mr. Zircon when he, um, that's it, when he disappears. Keep him summoned. Obviously, there's ammo around. If you need ammo, just loot the area. Yeah, I like to keep using the um, Groovatron to stun him in place. He doesn't attack you then, obviously. Yeah, but once you've dealt about half HP, it will occasionally run and jump in the lava. And when he does that, that's your opportunity to sort of quickly run around and loot the area. Get some ammo back. See, so he's not quite popped out yet. Oh, here we go. I heard him. Right, so I'm going to stun him again. I'm going to summon Mr. Zircon. And then we're going to go to town on him. No rip, motherfucker. Shaking like he's got one of them little frogs biting him on his toes or something. Okay, spinning around on his back in lava. That's not a good idea. Yeah, it's like he just stepped in lava. And he's trying to shake it off. Well, I've almost got him. Oh, look at that. Right, one more time and he should be dead. Wait for him to appear in again. Right, it's cool, Mr. Zill, come back. He can kill these little frogs for me. We'll level up, um, level him up, and he can get me some Raritarium, potentially. Oh, hello. Hello, Blog. Eat this. Come on, Mr. Zircon, you got this. Let's finish him together. And he's dead. Who's a good Snaggle Beast? Who's a good Snaggle Beast, then? 
Okay, so that's basically Nebula G34 done, guys. We've got all the collectibles there. One gold bolt. Um, the Rhino card. And um, there's a card there, but yeah, it's just a random one. Yeah, let's go back to the station. Right, we're going to re we're gonna actually backtrack a little bit now. We're going to backtrack to uh, Velpin and to Co1. And then we're going to head into Gaspar. Yes, jetpack. We're going to get jetpack and Gasper. But unfortunately, you can only use it on certain levels. Why do they do that? When I got this jetpack on my first play, I was looking so forward to using it on every level um, going forward. I did think maybe it's a bit too early to give us a, a power like that where we can basically just go anywhere. But yeah, you can only use it on certain levels, unfortunately. So first, guys, we're going to go into Veldin. Uh, because there's one gold bolt we're going to get here. And in this part, we're actually going to get 12 gold bolts, I think. So we're going to be able to activate fast mode in the cheats. Yeah, we're going to be able to activate fast mode, guys. So there's one gold bolt here. This gold boat, uh, bolt, um, speedrunners, they can... You can get this. Um, I can't actually pull it off myself. But speedrunners, they do... Um, you can get up here without the magni boots you can get it on your first playthrough but it's really tricky to do i mean i didn't really take it i tried a few attempts and i thought fuck this um i mean it weighs just doing it this way it, it takes about three minutes to do um but the time it could take you to try and get up here yourself um it could take longer than three minutes so i mean this takes what just popping back to this planet to get that takes no time at all so i mean obviously it's not it's quicker to do it on your first play if you're experienced, um, if you're trying to speedrun the game. But um, just for Platinum, I mean, it takes an extra minute. Well, it takes a minute to come back here and trying to actually get up there yourself is going to waste a bit of time. So um, once you've got that gold bolt, we're going to come to Kowang, guys, because there's a... Because now we have a Trespasser, we can unlock a uh, Trespasser lock and get the Rhino card on this level. Yeah, some levels have no Rhino cards, some have two, some have one. Um, it just depends, but obviously I'm telling you about all them as we go along. Right, Ratchet has landed. Ratchet and Clank. Uh, so when you land, you need to go into this, back into this taxi over here. The automated taxi. Yeah, this is what the future is going to be like. Automated taxis. Obviously, they won't be flying. Well, <laughs> I don't think. It's a long, 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 long time away from flying flying um, public vehicles. If it ever happens, I don't know. I don't know if that will ever happen. But yeah, once you're here, just come through here. You, you remember this place, surely. Come through here and head over here. And there's a trespass lock. If you see that any dogs use a Groovatron on them, and don't worry if not, we'll get it later somewhere. Yeah, come over here. Use the trespasser, guys. And I pick this lock. There we go. I'll do that one a bit quicker than last time. And here we are, Rhino card number three. This is some missing Rhino card. And we get a trophy here for completing the set. You should do. Um, but yeah, you have to come into your inventory menu to actually get the trophy. So yeah, we've just got number three, guys. Right, so we need to head back to that taxi now and back to the ship. Yeah, you could probably get back there a bit quicker if you just save and quit and then load the game back up. But I think the lo the loading times on this do consume quite a bit. They do take a bit of time. Um, so I'm just going to head back to the taxi. There we go, that took me back to the ship. Why can't you make a bridge? I don't know. Right, right where I <laughs> right where I left it. Right, where to clank? Gasper. Oh righty then, let's go. So Gasper now. Gasper, there's so much there's literally about hundred yeah, about 100 collectibles here, guys. <laughs> 100 collectibles. But it's not too difficult. Um, I don't remember where every single thing is, so just bear with me a bit. We'll still be going through it fast. 
Um, but yeah, we'll get we'll get this one done, and then we'll call it a day. All right, so um, let's go find you a new jetpack. I'll just see if I can. Uh, oh yeah, we can level up combustor. There we go. And what about the uh, Mr. Sorry, not Groovatron. No, we can't. Remember to keep summoning Mr. Mr. Zircon, guys. And when you're in battle. All right. So um, obviously it's going to be a lot of new enemies. So you got these little like they're not the, they're not the robot dogs from um, Kawan. So don't confuse them with these these like little metal gnashes. Gnashes. If you if you they're like the enemies that were on uh, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. That's what they look like. Right, so I'm just going to kill all these. What am I doing? Right, and uh, even the turret is dancing. What the hell? Turrets can't dance. Right, once you smash that doorway, um, there's some pterodactyl-like enemies there. Well, they're not really like pterodactyls, but um, that's what I call them. Oh, Mr. Zircon, you killed him. Great. Right, so um, yeah, we're going to make these dudes dance. There they are. And I didn't actually get them birds, so I need to keep an eye out for some more. I actually killed them by accident. Idiots. Right, let's get Mr. Zircon out. Come on, come out to play. Kill these enemies for me. I've just made these guys dance. The guys with the um, dual uh, blades. And there's a sort of enemy here that will summon. There's a little spawner, that metal spawner there. There you go, make that dance. If Mr. Zircon don't kill it first. Right, kill these enemies here. That's it, because we need this turret. Because you need these turrets to destroy these barriers. Relax, relax. Oh yeah, the uh, metal transformers that come out. Groovatron time. That's it, let's distract them and I'll s quietly sneak away. Ha ha. Hee hee ha. Okay. Right, so um, they've all danced already. So I'm just going to push forward a bit now, get Mr. Zircon out. Shut up. You motherfuckers kicking me. Holy shit, I'm going to die. Oh, no. Fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Be careful. If that, <laughs> Be careful that doesn't happen to you. Idiots. Right, let's get Mr. Zircon out and let's use the Groovatron. There you go. Let's show him music. Right, let's just get these enemies. We need that turret. And any enemies that come and try and swarm you here, make sure you kill them. Because this next bit, we've got to kill all the enemies. And these are just going to get in your way if you don't kill them. Well, you have to kill them anyway. Motherfuckers, who's shooting at me? They keep going to this turret. And it's a bit fucking annoying. Right, I think we've got them all. Right, let's just um, get some health back and some ammo. And then we're going to smash that barrier. Right. Smash that barrier there. There's an enemy there a second ago. Right, once you've got that barrier, yes, you need to kill all these out here. Give me some Zircon. Yeah, you need to kill all these enemies now, guys. So, um... Yeah, just try and avoid the damage as best you can. It's not too difficult. I mean, there are some health packs around the area, so just keep your eye out. Keep Ms. Mr. Zircon active. And you can always use Groovatron on enemies if you want to stun them for a, mi a second. Hey, fellas. Okay. Yeah, there's a warship over there. Make sure you get the warship. Yeah, even the ship can dance. Get Mr. Zircon out. And then finish off the enemies. 
Yeah, so I mean, you have to kill them all. In order to get these grind boots. It's these guys in the turrets are really annoying. Okay, out of ammo again. Yes, use use the Groover Tron. And summon Mr. Zircon. Oh, they shit, got no health left. I'm actually using my Groovatron everywhere. Right, let's get the Predator out. I think we'll occupy for the time being. Okay, one more left. Okay, not really got any ammo left. Oh, luckily, just got him with that grenade. Yeah, very... <laughs> you have to kill all these enemies, and as you can see, it's very tight. I mean, obviously, I've not really got any strategy there. I'm just running in into the middle, into the thick of it, and um, just get destroyed with them by the enemies. But um, it's not too bad, but you can come here and get these grind boots. Yes, now we can go grinding. Let's do it. So, um, I'm, yeah, I'm just looking to see what's next. So, we've got your grind boots. Uh, we're going to get some Raritarium next, actually. Yeah, let's actually get some ammo. Let's buy some ammo. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Yeah, and then come across this. Yeah, it's going to be quite a few times you have to come on this grind this grind rail. And there's, some of them can be quite difficult. Um, so it may take you a bit of practice just to get used to this. There's some birds I need to get for Groovatron. Because Mr. Zircon killed them all before. Yeah, obviously when you have square or something appears in front of you, attack it to destroy it. And um, sometimes you may have to jump over stuff like that. I mean, you can attack that thing. Okay, let's get Mr. Zircon out. We can destroy them for a minute. And um, we're just going to come down here. I think that's Raritarium down here. Yes, there we go. Raritarium, thank you. And you can come over here. And no, don't kill them. Yes, yeah, Sand Sharks, if you remember. Okay, too late. Mr. Zircon killed them all. Don't worry, there is more of them. Do not worry, guys. Okay, so you come over here. You get another sort of objective from this dude. Now we have to destroy all these little brains, and there's actually 90 of these we have to destroy all together. I think it is. I mean, not to progress, but for the trophies. Yeah, let's try Groovatron here. Yeah, there's another brain there. There's more sand sharks over here. Wait, let me get them. There we go, they're dancing now. I definitely got them now. Okay, Mr. Zircon. So you want to get all these brains, that's it. You can see on the left how many we've got, 4 out of 10. So you can just use that to keep on track with me, guys. Oh, there's a crab there. Let's make him dance. Come on, feel the music, buddy. That's it. Then we're going to press all these three switches quickly. One more. Oh, shit, there we go. That'll bring that force field down. There we go. Brain number 5. Yeah, I've made them dance. Brain number six there. Come over here. Brain number six, that was. Uh, brain number seven. Let's get Mr. Zircon out. Brain number seven. Uh, brain number eight here. Yeah, it's going to be 90 of these brains, guys, by the way. And like I said, you have to get them all for trophies. Eight. Uh, s nine. Yeah, so we may as well do it now. And then we will not have to come back to this level. Yes, that was nine. So this guy, we're going to kill that big brain thing. They actually give you three brains when you kill him. So I'm just going to wait for him to stop. And then we're going to get him dancing with Groovatron. There we go. Just make sure you hit him and he should start dancing. There we go. He's doing a little jiggy. Putting his hands above his... Well, his hands. His tentacles. 
These are actually pretty good for them leveling up your weapons as well. As you can see, we're going to be level 5 soon with the um, Combustor. There we go, but once you kill him, we get 3 brains. There we go, we've got 12 brains collected now. Head over here. And no new enemies, I think we've done these already. Get a brain there. Yeah, but we'll probably agree with Tron here just to be safe. Because I think there's a few different types of the frogs. So, we're on 13 brains now, and that's 14, guys. 14 brains, I think we've got them all. Yeah, right, let's head back. Wee, yee-haw, yeah, so fun. Right, let's go and hand this up, uh, this quest in. Yes, jetpack, you are mine, baby. Yeah, it's a shame you don't get to use this on every single level, but you come to these sort of stations here to recharge it. Right, so um, we're so, sort of going to move in an area like this now, do everything. But we're going to come over here first and just come back on ourselves a bit because there's some things we can do over there now that we have to jetpack. So let's just go there first, guys. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is over there. Oh yeah, but first of all, we'll just get this Raritarium. Um, right, so um, where am I? Alright, just down here. I think it is. Should be some Raritarium. Is that it there? Yes, there it is, guys. Some Raritarium there. Uh, so that's where I am on the map. Two Raritarium. And then we're just going over to here now. You see it's that bit in the corner. Drop down, you want to kill all the enemies here, otherwise they're going to get in your way. Right, I'm just going to make these guys dance. The thing is, when you make these dance, it does make the shield deactivate on the turret. So that's a good thing, I guess. Motherfucker. There's a brain here as well. Uh, what's that? Brain number five. But yeah, we gave ten back. I'm just going to go by what my um, log is on the left. So I just want to get rid of these robots first because they're a pain in the ass. Well, I could do with some more ammo actually. Um, any ammo around here? Don't look like it. Okay. Mr. Zircon. Alright, you are. <laughs> I summon you. Oh, let's use Predator. Predator destroys a prey. Right, so we need to press these three switches now. That's one. Just follow the cable. That's one. Oh, shit. Two. Oh, fuck. I've missed one. Idiot. Oh, I forgot we had, I forgot we had the jetpack for a minute. What a dick. Okay, so um, you got to hit all the tripods at the same time. Obviously, that's one there. Oh yeah, sorry, there it is. It's just up here. Let's be quick. Okay. Complete the foot line up. Really, you want to do the one up here first, so it's not on a really dodgy side. Okay, got them all. Yay. Okay, it's a brain over here as well. Brain six. There we go. There should be one more, but yeah, three brains here. And them switches actually let you get this gold bolt. There we go. Yes, gold bolt uh, number. Gold bolt number nine. Right, and now, guys, we're going to head over to there. Yeah, that little platform over there. See where the Magni Boots, the little Magni Boot rail is, Magni Boot Road. I just break them. Refill my jetpack. Right, let's go in. Yeah, you have to come up here with the magnet beats because there's a lever we have to spin. And uh, you can only spin it if you come this way with the magnet boots. There it is. What? I don't know what just what just happened. What the fuck? For some reason my magnet boost just um, deactivated. I don't know. Is that because I went too close to the edge? I don't know. You see that? My magnet boost just all of a sudden just 
deactivated. I hope that don't happen again. That might be because I jumped too high. Yeah, because sometimes if you jump too high, it does sort of deactivate them. But I wasn't jumping at the time, so I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, but um, we'll just push that off and uh, move on. Get past it. I won't let that get me down. Right, they're not at the top here. And once you're in there, you can just use your uh, jetpack here to deactivate from the uh, road. And you can get down quicker. Oh, ow. Okay, here we go. We're down in the cave. So behind the Magni Boot Road, there's a Rotarium times three, guys. Right, keep, you don't really need to kill this for the time being. And we should have Groovatroned all these enemies along here. You should have. I need some health. Let's get some health. Yes, please. Thank you. Right, could do some uh, ammo as well for my combustor. Oh, but we'll just get, get to the end here. There's some ammo there. Right, let's just done these guys. Mrs. Zircon, where are you? You've been summoned. Okay, so it seems I actually press a uh, switch. I didn't even realise the tripod. Right, there we go. Robot's going to come down here, by the way. Motherfuckers. Oh my god. Yeah, that is what will happen, guys, if you get too close to these robots. Fucking stupid. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, yeah, fucking robots. I was just trying to get up on the lift, and um, but yeah, okay, I'm crap, I know. But there's another gold bolt here, guys. Gold bolt number nine. Yes. Gold bolt number nine. Sorry, gold bolt, gold bolt number ten, guys, not nine. I beg your pardon. Excuse me, gold bolt number 10, not 9. So, um, yeah, number 10. So, if we go into extras, yes, we can go into cheats and we can change it to fast now. Yeah, so it's on fast mode. I, I know it's not it's not a great deal quicker, but it is quicker, apparently. It's probably only like a 10% increase or something. I'm not quite sure. That's why I don't quite notice the difference. But we're just heading over here now, where we were earlier. You see, we've got some of the brains over here already. Because there's a brain here, which we can actually collect now. There we go, that's brain number 8. And we're just going to make our way around the level now, collecting all the brains as we go along. So there's two brains here, and there's a new enemy, we're going to use Groovatron on him. There we go. Well, it's not a new enemy, but it's the enemy, it's that plant that summons the sand sharks, so make sure you use Groovatron on that. And there's the birds. Yes, I need to... Yes, I do need to um, Groovatron this bird. There we go. Join in the fun. Yes, yeah, another brain here. So get that with the brain, guys. And then come over here. Fill up your jetpack if you need to. And uh, we need to release this sort of mini boss now so we can get that one. So there's another brain there, brain number 12. But let's just summon, ouch, let's just summon that little mini boss. There we go, right, we'll, we'll stun him in place for a second with the Groovatron. There we go, then we'll summon Mr. Zircon. Wait, I didn't even use the Groovatron, did I? But now he feels the beat. Right, we're going to level up the uh, combustor in a minute. Yeah, now it's much better, look how much better now. It, it fires like a triple shot. Triple whammy. There we go, killed out, we've got three brains from 15 now. And we're going to levitate now. And uh, just keep an eye and make sure you do get all the brains, guys. Because otherwise you're not going to know where they all are. You may have to go around level again or wait until later. 
until we get like a map function that makes everything appear on the map. So there's another gold bolt here, guys. Number 11. Yeah, number 11 there. Right, if you want to make sure you don't forget any brains, you may want to keep high. And there's actually a trophy for killing enemies while you're using a jetpack, guys. So from now on, any enemies, try and kill them while you're using a jetpack. So you've just got 16, 16 brains there. Yeah, so any enemies now, try and kill them while you're flying. And um, it should count towards your trophy. Yeah, you've got to kill 40 enemies, I think it is, while you're using a jetpack. So in brain number 16... And there's some switches here, tripod, so press that and then quickly move along. Yeah, there's another brain there, guys, brain number 17. Come along quickly to the other switch. There we go, that'll open the um, release of mini boss. Right, let's just use the um, Rivertron on him. Call cool, Mr. Zircon. And let's kill him while using the jetpack. Yeah, just try and kill every enemy, guys, with the jetpack uh, um, activated. There we go, got him, we've got three brains from him. Come over here now, we'll kill this guy. There's another brain there that I just got, uh, brain number 21. There you go, we'll just finish this part and then we'll go fly somewhere else. So we'll get his brain. Right, and um, let's kill these enemies. Ratchet, fucking turn around, you idiot. I think he's auto locking on some other enemies. That's it, we got them. Right, um, we'll just do this little island, just uh, this one here. Yeah, some more fuel there for the jetpack. Leave that brain monster, you can do that when you come up there. There's another one over there, you can see. We'll actually go and get that one now, actually, because I actually forgot to go over there. Yeah, so let's go and get that brain monster. Let's call Mr. Zircon. Get Groovatron ready. Oi. Oi, brain thing. Right, quickly kill him. Oh, he doesn't really seem to be feeling the music, this one. That's it, but we've got our three brains. That's what we wanted. Right, let's uh, kill these robots. Yeah, remember, try and kill him while you're using the jetpack, guys. There we go. Right. We got this brain. Oh, we got that brain. Yeah, so make sure you get that brain, guys, before you move on. Um, just look for some more ammo. Now, this is what I mean. This is why I didn't want to do too much after this part, because there's just, there's just so much to keep track on on this level. But this is the only level like this, literally. After this, it's just like every other level. There's literally like a few gold bolts to collect on each level and some uh, Raritarium, and that is pretty much it. Pretty much it. But you can see we've actually got enough brains, but once you hand these in, you'll get asked for finding 60. All oh, right, we can get plenty of kills here. So let's uh, kill these um, sand sharks. Right, need some ammo now. I'm not going to kill Mrs. Zircon, she's just going to summon him, she's just going to uh, kill these guys. Right, and we got a brain there, you saw, brain 27. Um, sorry, I didn't miss anything else on here, did I? No, it doesn't look like it. Right, but we did miss this little island. Little crab there. And there's a brain as well. Yeah, I've just got another brain there, you see. Right, some of these birds over here that Ratchet seems to be locking onto, or well, that brain more like. Yeah, so just got a brain up here as well. And over here, we've got some switches, guys, and then a, a brain boss to summon. So let's just press these. One there, that's number two, and number three up here. Right, so let's quickly kill him. 
Oh, ran out of ammo. Okay, let's use a predator instead. Alright, we got him. That's three more brains to the total. Right, some health here. Right, let's just get these crabs. Yeah, it's a bit annoying this trophy. Having to kill 40 enemies or so when you're using a jetpack. A little bit annoying. Um, especially when you've got no fucking ammo left. Ah, oh, Mr. Zircon leveled up. Nice one, buddy. Right, over here, some fuel for my jetpack. Yes, I will get that. Thank you. Right, so, um, yeah, always go high up so you can make sure you're not missed any um, brains. Another brain here. Uh, brain 33. Yeah, we should be getting um, 80 brains now, I think it is. Oh, we got it. We got the trophy, guys. Top Gunner. Finally, I don't have to worry about that anymore. So, Top Gunner, I think that's for killing 40 enemies while you're using the jetpack. But I don't have to get that anymore, thank God. Right, so um, brain here, guys. Uh, brain 34. Brain 35. Brain 36. Yeah, I've, I've all the enemies here. So um, I don't think it's any more enemies to Groovitron on this level. Uh, 37. There should be some Rotarium around here as well. And um, where are we? Yeah, it's, oh, it's just around the back of this, actually. Just I remembered. Surprised. There we go. Rotarium. Free Rotarium there, guys. Uh, we've done that part. Done them. Up here, let's go over there. Oh, there's a brain there. Uh, there's another brain. Yeah, 38. And we've got a boss brain here. Quickly kill him. He's resisting the music, that one. Yeah, right, that's three brains to the total. And down here, I think there's some Rotarium. Uh, yes, there we go. Rotarium hid around the corner. Right, so, um, yeah, next, guys, move over there. I just fly up and make sure I don't miss anything. Alright, so we're good so far. That's just back near start. We'll make our way back there soon. Uh, so there's a brain here. We'll get this brain. Brain here. Uh, 43. Brain here. There's one... There's the only other main collectibles, guys, on here, by the way, if you just want to do this bit yourself. Um, we've got... Um, we've got one rhino card to collect and a dino, um, a dino bolt, <laughs> a rhino card and a gold bolt, excuse me. Oh, and an another brain here, uh, that's 45, 45 that is, um, I think we've got all the brains here. Yes, looks like we have, is there one on that little bit? No, we've got that one. Okay, so now I'm going to head to this bit at the top here and we're going to make our way back down to um, that NPC. So just going to head over here guys, if I can make it without running out of fuel, yes, so we're going to kill these enemies um, because we need to interrupt that switch, and there's a brain there as well, I just got that brain, we'll get some HP here, there we go, we got him, right, once you got him you can uh, pull this lever, yeah, so we've got 47 brains. If you've got less, you obviously miss one. If you've got more, you've obviously been doing a bit more exploring than me. But come down here afterwards, and it's a few brains here. So you've got brain there on the wall, brain there, brain there, brain there. That's three brains on the walls there. And there's another brain here. And um, there we go. So I'm on 52 brains so far. This fucking auto locking is, is a bit annoying. Camera keeps changing when I don't want it to. Yeah, they come out here. There's some more brains here, guys. So you've got another brain there. 
and another brain here so it should be in 53 brains okay let's press the tripods one two three there we go and that will open that force field that's up here let's come out and that brain should come somewhere close out there he is let's go and kill him I won't bother using the Groover Tron. He'll die quick enough. There we go. Three brains from him. And then detonate these. And inside it's some Raritarium, which we just got. Right, that's all we need for this part, guys. So, um, where's my map gone? Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, we just got to do them bits that are sort of greyed out. They're the unexplored areas. And where we... We should have the brains everywhere else. And you should have the gold bolt. Um, so that gold bolt's going to be coming up in a minute, guys. So just hold on for that. Right, let's just done all these. Let's get rid of these first before we summon the uh, tentacle brain. Let's call Mr. Zircon. Right, that one, that robot. Let's get that robot. And uh, one more robot to get there. Oh boy, no ammo, oh boy. Hold on, might be some here. Nope, it's Disco Ball. Okay, Predator it is. Right, quickly got to press the tripod. There's one there, one there. And the next one's up here. Oh, just got it in time. Right, let's, um, let's stun him. Let him stay still. There you go. Right, Predator. And let's call Mr. Zircon. He can give me a hand. Right, I've not really got much I can use here, really. Apart from Mr. Zircon. Oh, I'm just going to have to get close and melee him. Okay, can't melee when you're flying, idiot. Right, so there's another brain here, guys. Brain here. Right, let's get rid of these enemies. Get this ammo we need. Right, so I've got two brains fighting me at the moment. But at least I've got some uh, combustor ammo. So here's one of the brains. And the other one's just to the left. You can see him there. There we go. Oh no, where's he going? Oh, there he is. Alright, so let's get his brain. Oh, it's alright, I've almost got him. Oh, we've got that brain as well. So we've got him. Oh, it's fucking ammo here. How did I miss that? Okay, so we 64 brains, only um, 26 to go, guys. And here's your last gold bolt. There it is on the lava. Yeah, if you don't want to take any damage, just wait for the lava spray to shoot out. And uh, then jump down there. Ouch. Yep. Yeah, I put my foot on it. Hurt my my little toes. So, brain 65 we just got. Right, I need some ammo. Right, it's a brain there. You've got that brain you saw. Uh, brain 66, uh, 67 there. Right, up here there's another brain. Some ammo which I desperately need. So brain 68. And just down the back here guys, it's your rhino card. So that's where we are. There we are, that's rhino card on this level. And that is rhino card um, number 5 I think. Yeah, that's it, rhino card 5. So only 4 rhino cards to collect because there's only 9 in the game. So we are quite a far way through the game actually. Um, okay, so um, we've done that little island. Let's move on. There's a brain here. 69. Let's free that little mini boss. So, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Let's kill him and uh, get three brains. Plenty of ammo, unfortunately, for him. Right, enemy down. 
72 brains. Right, 73. Uh, 74. I really hope I've got them all. 74. I think it's still a mini boss fight yet. Uh, 75. Ah, oh, there's one there. 76. There's three down there when I kill that boss. Oh, it looks like I've missed one. You're joking. Surely it's somewhere close. Oh, there it is. Thank God. 77. Yes. Okay, let's go and kill that mini boss. And then we've got it, guys. We've got the 80 that we need. Right, let's call Mr. Zircon. Groovatron. And then let's use the um, Magma Buster. There we go. Three brains, there we go. We've got all the brains, 80. Yeah, um, about... I'm using a weapon that's fully upgraded, and you may be thinking, why Why is he doing that? Why, you know, why am I not using other weapons to... Um, work on my weapon progress for them well it's because like i said there are it, there is a moment later on when you can do it a lot quicker and easier and if you if you do it throughout a game it's it will slow the game up quite although you, you are saving time a bit by keep changing weapons because you keep swapping weapons and you use some weak weapons it will slow down your combat a little bit that is all as you can see that combustor kills enemies quite quick so you just got a trophy there brains yeah brains sorry about a quick switch yeah brains there um, and that's for giving him a 20, and as you see now, we now have 60 out of 60 brains, so give them to him as well. Like you get plenty of bolts, and you should get a trophy from that as well. I guess it's the same one, uh, but pick this up afterwards. Oh, there we go, Abbey Normal. Yeah, that's the one. You get the Box Breaker. Box Breaker is crap. It's useless, but... Um, I guess we'll get it. And that's basically everything we're doing here. Yeah, we'll e you'll end up with loads of rare terry milk. We've got 29. So what we're going to do now, we're going to fully upgrade the Magnum Buster. Nice. That's fully upgraded. Sort of. I mean, you can upgrade it a bit more in the next playthrough. Uh, let's just buy these upgrades with the Groovatron. And we've Groovatroned all the enemies. So obviously make sure you Groovatron all the enemies before you move on, guys. Because we will not be coming back to this world. Right, so yeah. That's it for now. Here. Let's uh, go back to the ship by coming to this elevator. Well, elevator. This little um, fast travel thing. The What's it called? Oh, no, <laughs> that's the field. Telepathopus Fields. Telepathopus? Bit of a mouthful, that one. Yeah, uh, that's it guys, that's everything done on this level, this world. So we've got 4 out of 4 gold bolts, we've got all the um, the card there, we've got all the Rotarium. You don't need the Rotarium anyway. Rulgar, 2 out of 3, don't worry about that, we'll be coming back to that later. Yes, that's it guys, we'll just get to Rarid, uh, Bear, Battalia, Battalia, here we are guys, Battalia. And uh, this is the, last, uh, the next world, let's go straight on with this. So um, I'm going to try and get a few worlds done on this part. I'll probably get about three worlds done. I don't know why I just threw that disco ball. Um, yeah, so uh, to begin, we're just going to head up here. And I actually want to change controls, actually. On my um, other account, I've actually put this on normal. And it's a lot easier to put it on normal. Yeah, it's a lot easier controls. Because you have, you've actually got shortcuts now. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do this before. What a dick. Right guys, yes, we're back on the rail, grinding the rail, just watch out for these little electrical fields. Um, they will sting you quite a bit. This will be a lot easier on the second playthrough because we will have invincibility. And you can literally just sit through these. You still have to do the jumps and the um, end of the line sort of um, barriers will still kill you if um, you hit them. But the ones that just do a little bit of damage like these, you can just sit through these. Yeah, I can't believe how easy it is on the second playthrough. 
I guess technically they don't actually want you. I mean, because you take re you gain reduced XP um, with invincibility on. They obviously, I mean, they don't really want you to do it, but you can still do it and get XP, so it's not too bad. Yeah, jump right there, guys, to change the rail. And uh, this is the last one now, and should take us to the part at the end where we get a info bot. I think. I think these info bots, um, they show up in. Yeah, watch the barrier here. So make sure you avoid them. Yeah, these info bots, I think they show up on, um, you collect one and then another one will show up somewhere else. Um, uh, but this is the only one you sort of have to collect for the story. I think it's an info bot. Yeah, this is the only one that you actually require to collect. Yeah, a little cut scene here that I'll skip. Right, thanks for that. Let's head back fast travel system right let's go and get a rhino card rhino card number I'm not quite sure what number rhino card is this can't quite remember right let's summon zircon and he can distract them for me yeah obviously remember about using your um groovatron so it makes you get all the enemies. Right, that one goes there. Um, what about this one? That one goes... Yeah, that one goes there. And then I've got these two here. Yes, and there's one more. Okay, this one's going to be, looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass for me. Um, that one was, yes, I know that one's there. This one is, you sort of tell where they're going to, where they need to go because, oh there, here we go. Ah, oh, that's the one, that's the one. Got it, finally. Yeah, here's your rhino card, guys. Um... Rhino card number, I'll tell you in a second, wait for it, uh, it's Rhino card number uh, number 6, yeah, we, got, we com just completed another set as well, Rhino card number 6, after you've got that guys, jump up the wall here, and it'll take you to a gold bolt, yes, gold bolt number 13, I'll make sure I've got a uh, fast mode on, yeah, you'll find every time you um, quit to the main menu, you have to keep enabling the cheats. So right, I've got fast mode on now. Right, make your way over here because you've probably just seen it there. It's rare, uh, raritarium. No, ratchet, what the fuck are you doing, you dick? Oh god, yeah, it's a raritarium up there. So I'll just get that, guys. There we go. Right, and uh, let's crack on with the main objectives. Okay, did not expect that to happen. It caved in as I landed on it. I wonder why it was there. I thought, this is normally destroyed. I guess I was just a bit too quick. Slow down. Right, through here, secret wall. There's some Rotarium in there, guys. Grab that. Then we need to make our way over here. Right, these... We have encountered them enemies, enemies before, but then ones throw grenades at you. So probably best... Any new... Any new enemies you come across on any level, just, um, yeah, lob the Groovatron down, just to be safe. Yeah, even even enemies that look the same, if they've got a different weapon, I'm not sure if that counts as a new enemy or not. So, um, I just always lob it at them, just to be on the safe side, guys. Right, I think that's all the enemies. Let's activate this to um, make that bridge. Yes. Right, make our way back up. For fuck's sake, my platform is pretty bad at the moment. Oh. Okay, I'm up here. Yes, yeah, a tank there. Uh, but if you come over here, there's a gold bolt over here. I think it's a gold bolt. I couldn't quite quite recall if it's gold bolt. Where I tell him. Yeah, there we go. A gold bolt, guys. Number two on this level. 
Gold bolt number two. That's 14 out of 28. Right, then we're going to head back across. Yeah, you're going to have to take these enemies out. Because as you can see, your um, buddy there is trying to kill them all. Right, let me just take these out. Alright, we've got them all. Let's head on. Yeah, because she follows you, you normally have to kill all the enemies in the area before she'll actually follow you. Right, so we've got to pull this lever here. So, um, probably going to have to kill all the enemies. Yeah. Sometimes, oh there we go, yeah, sometimes you can interact with it before you kill the enemies. Um, but if you get interrupted, oh I did it at the time, but yeah, she'll normally, she normally won't follow you unless you've killed all the enemies. Oh, but it looks like she is. Okay, let's crack on then. And uh, once you're over here, we need to climb up that magnetic road. Yes, they could. Let me go and deactivate them for you. Not bad, if you try and jump across, the turrets just kill you, like, instantly. I don't like this at all. If takes down so, um, they really don't want you to just, um, skip across a gap. The I've actually fell off the magnetic road here sometimes. I'm not sure why it happens. I think the game just bugs out sometimes, and, um, you lose the magnetic field between your boots and the road. But I'd best be careful so I'm going to die in a second. Yeah, you'll get hit quite a lot on this next part. There's a lot of enemies, so um, just be careful with uh, okay. your health. You right, we've got to get up here. Um, shit, oh, I'll, I'll go the normal way. Right, let's get Mr. Zircon. Let's um, use the disco ball. Actually, I'll put one, I'll love one of these down there as well. Holy fuck, this is what I mean, look at my health, 9 out of 50 already. Yeah, so you have to come up here. Okay, shit, I need to go and get some health. Phew, that's lucky. Right, let me just get rid of that fucking huge robot. Right, let's go and pull that lever now, guys. Oh, someone's still shooting at me. Hopefully he's going to miss. Yes, I did it. Why is she waiting for She's got a jetpack, which is waiting for me to um, send the bridge across. Right, let's get rid of these robots. Oh, I've got no Mrs. Zircons left. But it's a uh, Raritarium up there, guys. There we go. That's Raritarium. Right, just get the collectibles in this area before we kill the enemies. Because um, hopefully your friend's going to kill some of them. So through here, through this um, hole in the wall, there's another Raritarium. There we go. That's all the Raritarium here. Where's he going? Oi! And now we're going to try and get up here without having to. That's it. Climb up the boxes. And here's the last gold bolt, guys, for this level. I think that's number 15. Yes, 15. Right, let's get rid of these enemies. Yeah, just get rid of all the enemies and then the door will open up near the front. Two tanks will come out. Is that all of them? Yes, there we go. Right, let's um, Mrs. Zircon again. Yeah, so there's two tanks and there's some enemies near as well. That's it, that's the tanks down. Let's get rid of the um, mobs. Yep, he's gone. Another tank uh, robot there. Right, once we've got them all, we can pull this lever and uh, open the door ahead, guys. Oh shit, Mr. Zircon, where are you? Oh, just a bit. Oh, that wasn't Zircon, that was. Um, what's her face? I don't know what her name is. Whoever you are. Is that a girl that normally says that to you? 
Yeah, so um, there's yeah four four Eritarium on this level, guys. We've got them all. There's that Rhino card, and you've got three gold bolts. But now we're just going to do the last bit of this level, and then we'll move on to the next world, where we get the um, we get a new sort of movement ability. So what am I doing? I've got to do the tres do the tres pack lock first. Top tip there. Yeah, so now you can actually deactivate rings. Um, so this is a single one, so that obviously goes up there. Them two go there. And then the middle ring, you need to deactivate it. There we go. That one was nice and easy. Star Watch Defense Cannon. Right, guys. Starship Defense Cannon. I've always wanted to use one of these. You know what it looks like standing erect there. So... You, just like most of the times when you're sort of flying a spaceship or a cannon. Um, yeah, just like your normal. You know what happens when you fly a cannon? Use a cannon even. You have to shoot all the little ships to build up your ammo. And uh, then shoot the big ships with your bigger ammo. So um, yeah, just keep shooting the little ships. There you go. Once you've done that, shoot the uh, big ones. There we go. Make sure they're not too far away. If they're too far away, um, your big missile will not actually hit them yeah it's a bit annoying actually one time I was doing this and I must have wasted I must have wasted about three missiles because they kept missing the ship even though I was sort of on target and they just kept blatantly missing I think it's because they're out of range so I'm always make sure the sort of ship is close by and you can't miss them can you the closer you are to your target the easier it is to hit it. Yeah, well, I learned that somewhere. Yeah, I learned. I can't remember where it is. Maybe on. Um, oh, what's that game called? Hona Montana. Yeah, maybe I learned it on that. Can't remember. But two more, two more down. Yes, here we go. He was just in range. Oh, I was a bit worried about that one. I didn't think it was going to be in range, but I hit it. Okay, yeah, watch out for damage indicators on your hood because that's indicating these little missiles are coming towards you and they will damage you. They will. They will damage you if they hit you. Yeah, that's what happens. When there's a damage indicator on your hood, it normally means something's going to hurt you. So, um, yeah, but it's, I mean, this is pretty easy. There's some of these, when you've got infinite ammo on, um, your ammo is just always full, even with the missiles. Right, come on, last one, please. Oh no, I need one more. I thought I had a full chamber. Right, let's do it. Please. Whoa. Oh my gosh, what an explosion. What a explosion there. Shot down your battles, battleship. That's it. Go on, scram. Never come back here. The Empire will fall. Mark my words. Okay. We did it. Oh! Okay. We just did... <laughs> we just did that and then we just killed ourselves. That was what I was born for. To take out that ship. There's no more, there's no more point in living on this planet. So let's move to a different planet. We're on but Battalaria. Battalia. Battalia. And we're, now we're going to um, Pokitaru or something. I think it's called. Pokitaru. There's only about six worlds left and then we've completed the game. Yeah, literally. About six worlds left. Yeah, see you in a bit, man. Oh, thank you. Do I get any... Do I get a raise? Yeah, let's go, guys. Pokitaru. So here we've got, there's three gold bolts, there's no rhino cards, but there is three raritarium, and we get the O2 mask, and we get a misc trophy as well, and we've got another bit where we fly a ship, I don't mean this ship where we land in, I mean we actually get to control a ship, which we actually get to take control of the weapon and uh, manoeuvring and controlling and flying. Right, so first of all guys, we're just going to commit suicide. Why you may ask, why why not? I mean, it's only a video game. 
Let's just kill ourselves. Now you have to let one of these big sharks eat you on here. On this world. Okay. And look, it's not even eating me now. Come on, eat me. There he is. Here he comes. Hey, buddy. You hungry? Yeah, poor sharks are the worst. I can't believe that shark killed me. They are the worst. Right, let's just... Um, yes. Get my ammo back up. Right, yeah, we're good, guys. So, we just got Miss Trophy there. Let a poor shark kill you on this level. Basically, just dive to the edge of the map and it will bite you. Right, we found the technician. And we, what you'll find you have to do on this level, you have to... Yeah, you have to actually call the enemy so a technician will follow you. But use the Groovatron. Uh, yeah, make sure you use the Groovatron on this. And this enemy here, it looks like the brain monster from the other level, but it's... I think this one's a different colour. This one's purple, so it may be a different brain monster. So um, just kill that one just to be safe, guys. Uh, well, of course kill it. I mean, but also make it dance just to be on the safe side. Yeah, just in case. Right. Oh, look, he's dancing as well. But the thing is, I don't want him to dance. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so don't use it on this little uh, raft we've got here. This hover hover raft. I guess you could call it. Right, I'm just using the Groovatron on every sort of enemy type we've come across. You shouldn't be able to go wrong then. Yeah, because like I said, even if you've come across the same enemy type but with, with a different weapon, I'm not sure that counts or not. So, um, be on the safe side. It's good to just make everything dance. Right, there's a gold... There it is, gold bolt down in this water here. Just be quick and get it. Here we go, guys. A gold bolt. So that's where we are. Yeah, gold bolt there. Just dive down, quickly get it. It's, be a, it's underneath that sort of archway there. And then, yeah, once you've got that, come back out. Oh, fish are sleeping. Look at them. Where's um, Mr. Zircon? Yeah, he can help. We'll level them up a bit while we're um, killing these fish. I got knocked off. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, Mr. Zircon's gone, no wonder. Let's summon him back. Right, there we go. Right, once you get up here with the platform, once you've sort of um, parked up, drop down here. And just underneath here, guys, dive under. Yeah, there's a hole here. Just I'm just here to the left of that little island. Dive under here and quickly come through here before your oxygen runs out. And head up. That's it, little secret here. Um, but there are some things here we need to get. So, just on the corner here, Raritarium, before we use the grapple hook. Yeah, these birds, they're similar to the birds on the other level, but these ones are blue. Oh, fuck, I'm almost dead. Yeah, these ones are blue, so we're we'll making dance. Right, yeah, get that rare terrium and head across. Oh, I need some energy really bad. Oh, fuck, I'm worried. I am worried here. And any energy here? Right, let's just lob some, uh, let's lob a Groovatron over there to um, protect me. Just be on the safe side. Right, where's some health? Yeah, some crabs here, but I'm not sure these are different type of crabs to the ones on that other level. So, um,. Yeah, make him dance, just be on the safe side. Right, Mr. Zircon. I think I'm going to have to die here and... Um, oh, there's some health over there, look. Right, that's a Groovatron. There it is. Yes, yeah, got some energy, guys. So I'm up here. <laughs> and you need to kill this... Um, brain monster that will appear in a second. Where is he? Oh, here he is. Holy shit. Right, you screw with Tron on him to um, distract him for a minute. There we go. Yeah, I think this brain monster is different to the one on that other level. Yeah, and he'll drop a gold bolt. Gold bolt number second, guys, on this wield. Yes, thank you very much, brain monster. 1728. Right, once you've done that, we're going to dive over here. I'm going to get another raritarium. Yes, health. Thank you. No, please leave me alone, crab monsters. I come in peace. 
Yeah, just going to get this uh, rev terrium over here. I always dive down, so I think you move a little bit quicker. And I've said this before, but um, I will say it again. I think you move a bit quicker underwater. So rare terrium there, guys. You don't need to get all them. I'm just getting them so um, you can sort of upgrade your weapons a bit more. But you want to save all your upgrade materials, guys, because later on, not too far away, actually, we're going to buy this sheepinator, and we want to try and upgrade that as much as we can when we can. So um. I'm basically saving my um, rare terrain for that. Basically, there, there's some... Yeah, come up here now. There's some abilities that are trickier. They're trickier to um, use on most enemies. So, um, yeah, certain ones you need to use on ground enemies. And, yeah, so I just got rare terrain there again, guys. Yeah, and um, some of them, they will not work on bosses. So that's something else you need to keep track of. Right, so here's the technician. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to kill all the enemies along the way now, guys. And uh, clear the route for him, basically. So, yeah, just kill all the enemies. Yeah, so um, that's all them. He's going to follow me a bit. Right, get rid of these guys. Right, and the Bray, uh, that Bray monster will always appear, don't worry. Yeah, I think it's when the technician gets close to you. Yeah, I think that is a, I think that is a different Bray monster to the one on the, um, uh, the um, fire level. Because the one on fire, they're like red, aren't they? But that one's like purple. And the one here, it's got like a um, sort of protective shell around the front of its brain. I guess at least this at least this one's trying to protect its brain. Right. Once he's on the platform, we're gonna over there it's the third gold bolt on this level. Um, but just wait a second, we're gonna head over there in a second, we'll just let him get level with it. And then we're gonna shoot across. We've got three rare so far on this level, there's actually one more. And it's one more gold bolt. Right, so we'll leave him there for a minute, don't worry, he'll wait for you. Right, let's head over here. And um, once you get over here, guys, so this is where I am. Just stay wait, stay still, and then do a double jump to get out. That's it. Just get up here. Up here. And then uh, hold R1. And uh, you should get up there. Yeah, third gold bolt, guys. And that's the last one on this level. And we've got one more rare tome. 18 out of 28, that should be. Yeah, 18 out of 28. Right, let's get back to the raft now, the hover raft. I guess you could call it. Right, go for it, technician. He's definitely dressed for the weather. Right, where's his fish? Well, I've not got much ammo left. I'd best uh, keep that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to use Groovatron. Let's use Predator Launcher. Bastards. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have used that. I think grenade would be better here, wouldn't it? Really. These weapons are shortcutted. I'm not sure if it's um, always the same weapons. Oh, fuck. I'm almost dead. Five. How quick do you die on this? Yeah, a lot of people say this is easy. But <laughs> I guess it is easy. I mean, you, it's not like there's a really bad punishment if you do die. You sort of, you know, you sort of just respawn in a sort of immediate area. Whoa! Almost fell down. Sorry about that. A little high-pitched roll. Yeah, I mean, when you die, you actually respawn with your health and more ammo. So I guess it's an advantage to die. It's not like a punishment. Right, so we've got to kill all the enemies. So we can progress. Right, so disco ball time. Yeah, because Mr. Technician, he won't follow you if you do not kill the enemies. Right, so let's just quickly get rid of these. Oh, I've got full health again. Nice. Okay, is that all of them? Is he going to follow? Oh, no, it's one left guarding his house. Don't worry, no one wants to go inside your house. Right, let's um, go over here. Right, Groovatron time. Oh, level up. Level 5. Right, I press the switch so we can... Oh, got to kill the enemies first. Okay. 
I can't call Mrs. Zircon because I don't think I've got any. Right, let's just kill these. Okay, out of ammo it looks like. Okay, they are my bolts, thank you. Right, press that. Mr. Technician will come over. There you go. Yeah, I didn't notice. Honestly, I never noticed, mate. Right, and we've got to kill just these enemies. Right, Groovy Tron time. Love that down there. Right, could do some ammo. Oh, here we go. Right, let's use that. Shame I can't summon them. Um... Oh, maybe I can. There's one more here. Oh, yes, you're. Come back, Mrs. Zircon. I summon thee. Right, let's get rid of that purple brain monster. Right, that's that gone. Oh, it's another one. Cheeky. Two of you versus one. Well, I guess it's versus two, me and Clank. Clank doesn't help a lot. He doesn't do much. He just sits there warm on my back. Yeah, see, this one's got a green helmet on. So um, we want to get that to dance as well. There we go. Yeah, make him dance. They're sort of, they're the flying enemies, I guess. Right, well, he's got them all. You're going to have to wait a minute now for um thingy to open the door. So uh, we'll just come around the back here, guys, and get the last Raritarium. There we go, last Raritarium, guys, on this level. We've got all the gold. No! Oh, whoa, that's close. Yeah, we've got all the Raritarium, all the gold bolts on this level. And there's no, there's no Rhino cards, so we don't need to worry about them. Right, just waiting for this dude to open the door, and then we'll go and get the O2 mask. We'll do the last bit of this world. Um, we'll pop to Iridia, get the last gold bolt on there, which we couldn't get before. And then we've got every gold bolt on every level that we've done so far. And then we'll just go and do um, Qua, Qua 2 quickly. And uh, yeah, then we'll call it a day after that part. Right, let's get this done quickly. Right, take me back to my ship, guys, please. Right, yeah, we're not we're not quite done here yet, guys, but we are close to finishing this world. But Qua Qua Two does take probably about twenty minutes. I mean, there is a bit in the Qua Two where you play as Clank, and uh, there's two misc trophies which we we'll get there. There's three gold bolts. Um, what's it for? I think it's three. It's a bit uh, raritarian, but it's a boss. There is a boss there. I mean, it's a boss on this one, but I mean, I guess technically this one, not really a boss. I mean, you'll find out why in a second. Yeah, this, we've got to take out these babies. The caterpillar type things. Right, just wait near your ship. While I'm waiting, actually, I'll re refill my ammo. Oh, yeah, and I can uh, upgrade my Groover Bomb. Yes, there we go. Let's refill. Oh, I have already. Why, right, where is he? Come on, uh, scientist dude. Looks more like a dentist. Come on, Mr. Dentist. <laughs> yeah, you look more like a dentist. I'm not sure who um, fitted you out <laughs> making this game. Yes, yeah, a scientist here, but let's give him dentist instruments. Instruments, yeah. Okay, so we've got to take out the hydro harvesters now. Use your Tesla rockets, okay. Right, so um, you know the score. Kill the smaller ships to build up your ammo. Yeah, really complicated stuff. And uh, find missiles at the bigger ships. Yeah, I know it's working. Right, let's uh, shoot the smaller ones. Oh wait, oh no, no, I've got a rocket here, I can shoot it. Here they come, this is what happens if you don't shoot any for f a few seconds. Right, let's go and get that one. Yeah, each one seems to take about four missiles. Failure is not an option, guys. Right, I need one more rocket, come on. Hey birdie, oh you're not going to have ammo. Oh, I've got it, I've got the ammo. Yeah, the green ones give you health, and the red ones seem to give you ammo. Yeah, 
I think I just shot a rocket then at one of the smaller ships. Yeah, sometimes if a ship's too far away, whoa, that you shoot, you may have to zoom towards it to get the ammo that it drops. Oh my gosh. Warning. Oh, I'm not doing all this again. Don't die, please. Yes, we did it. Got them all. Hydro harvesters destroyed. Splash down. Whee! To infinity. And beyond. Right, that's all the missions done here, apart from the optional one, which we're going to have to do because, yeah, because we need the uh, my two mask. Yeah, and there is actually trespass a lot. There's actually locks through here as well. That's incredible, dentist. Yeah, I'll come and see you when I need my um, when I need my tooth when I need my checkup doing. Yeah, we've got a sort of little jetpack thing now. You see? Yeah, we've got this little jetpack thingy. It's basically like another movement upgrade. We had the helicopter before. Well, it wasn't really a helicopter. It's more like um, Inspector Gadget's helicopter. You know, it doesn't really make you fly or anything. It just like hovers. It's more like a hovercopter. But um, yeah, you've got to boost that now. I, I guess it when you dash forward, it makes you dash forward a bit quicker. So quickly do this. Then we'll go into that, like I said, Iridia. Get the last collectible there. And uh, go into the last um, third world. So we've got to come through here. I bet the are hiding some nice loot in here. That's a big mon that's a big slime. Right, we'll leave him we'll let Mr. Zircon distract him for a minute. And we're just gonna lower the water level. Bloody hell, my kids are going mad. They go I can hear him upstairs going mad. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the thuds and bangs, but um they go mad upstairs. Right, so you need to, yeah, lower the water, unlock this, and you need to go and race it again. Yeah, so I'm going to do that one first. Um, yeah. Uh, nope, that's not the one. Nope, <laughs> nope. Yes, that must go there. So, oh, that's the one. It's nice when they just sl all slot into place. Right, that's a pool shark there. Right, we've got to go back up here now, guys. And, um... Yeah. Low, uh, race the water back. If I can get up. Can't believe Mr. Zircon didn't actually kill him. Yeah, them pool sharks, by the way. Don't worry, because we... You should have used a Groovatron. Oh, you mother... You mothers. Yes, guys. No, not yet. Let me do this first, guys, and then I'll see to you. Okay, um, you can go out the back, yes, but not out the front. What's happening? What's going on here, guys? <laughs> the water's raised, but, um, what the heck? Have I got metal? <laughs> I've turned into Metal Mario. I'm just sinking straight to the bottom. Okay, apparently the water has lost its, um, Particle effect. I don't know what. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to quit. Uh, quit and reload quickly, guys. I have no idea what has happened there. The water filled, but I think because I got damaged at the same time, it sort of half worked. <laughs> That's pretty weird. Um, because I quit and exit, I'm gonna have to turn on fast mode again. There we go. Ah, now it's working. Right. So um. Just need to manage to pull this. Oh, here we go. Quick. Before the Groovatron wears off. Yes, there we go. Right, so we do that, guys. Then just make your way up. And get the O2. Whoa. Oh, that was close. Get the O2 mask. There is a lock up here, which we need to do anyway. Obviously, of course, make sure you don't auto-hack it. Uh, right, let's do this. Obviously, them two go there. Oh, this one's pretty straightforward. Them two obviously go there. And, yes. Right, let's get the O2 mask. 
Yeah, you be quick here because um, these things will explode. Oh shit, I'm gonna run out of oxygen! Oh ho, so close! Right, Mrs. Zircon, I need you. I need your body. I think the enemies are too. Cl no, for oh, fuck's sake. Get out of the way, you. Oh, here we go. Quick. Oh, just in time. Yes, and there's the O2 mask. We can breathe underwater now, guys. Yes, just that little tiny thing lets you breathe underwater. Right, let's head back to the ship. Right, here we are back um, at the start. Right, let's leave this fucking shitty planet. Waterworld. This one ain't too bad. Don't you? you get some nice upgrades here. I mean, you get two upgrades on this level, don't you? You get the um, O2 one, and uh, yes, and you get the um, the little jetpack. Well, not jetpack. It's more like a sort of hover pack, I guess. Right. So we're going to Iridia first, guys. Iridia. Yes, that's the one. And like I said earlier in, in the guide, you can actually get this um, gold bolt when you are doing the level if you wanted to. If you if you wanted to take time to learn the trick, you can. But we are doing it this way because this is where you're supposed to get this way. The developers want you to do it, and um, yeah, it's a good idea to please the developers. I mean, what we're doing here, we're actually getting the trophies that the developers set in the game. So come over here. This will warp you to the agent's camp, and you'll actually get some raritarium as well. Yeah, so there's a raritarium uh, over there. There we go, raritarium. Okay, one of them didn't break. Right, so you're going to get swarmed by enemies. So just lob a group of Tron down so you don't get uh, interrupted. And this is what you do, yes. As you can see, you actually need this sort of jetpack, the hover, the hover pack. I keep calling it a jetpack. What is it? Jet it's a hovercraft, a hover pack, technically. So it just makes you sort of hover. But it's got a jetpack sort of inside it with limited functionality. So here's that third gold bolt. Yeah, you actually need this to um, use that lever. Yes, 19 out of 28. Right, let's go back to the ship and go to this last world we're going to do on this part. Right, back to the ship. Beam me up, Scotty. That's it, Clank. Where to, Clank? Yes, Quattle. Three gold bolts to get. Okay, so um, yeah, we get a Raritarium, then we take care of Clank. Then we get a, another Raritarium of Clank. We get a Gold Bolt with Crank as well. Crank, Wank, Clank. Right, let's uh, grapple the heads. We should have full ammo, so I did remember buying full ammo um, back on uh, Pocket Taru before he left. Right, so we've got to infiltrate the factory. Um, you'll have to kill these enemies here because you've got your friend with you and she will not follow you until all the enemies are dead. Is that it? Oh, it is now. Right, she's sure going to hit the switch. Yeah, well, I'm not going to wait anywhere else. I mean, what, what am I going to do? Go back to the start and wait there? Of course not! Careful. Come on, let's go and progress the chapter. Right, you're going to have to kill all these enemies. So I'm just distracting with your dance moves. Or embarrass yourself, whatever you want to do. Yeah, you got a fucking turret here. So at least when they're dancing, the turret disables. Right, where's Mr. Zircon? Yeah, so you see, I'm, I'm using the um, Groovatron quite a lot. Do not be shy with the Groovatron. Do not be shy with it. Is that it? Oh, that's good timing. Out of ammo as well. Yeah, up here, guys. Raritarium. Uh, there we are. There we go. Raritarium. Right, and let's go and be Clank. 
Here we are. Send Wank to investigate. Be careful in there, Clank. It's a dangerous, dangerous place. You're on your own. Yeah, so um, that card in there, it's, it's not an important card, guys. It's just a... Uh, it's just a random set. Right, so um, love that there. There are a few important collectibles we need to get in here with Clank. So, um, but I will point them out to you. Right, put him over there, so we need that one. Oh shit, ouch. I'm metal, shouldn't hurt me. Right, lob him there. Get this one back, make him into a bouncy board. There you are, my little trampoline friend. Get this one. Oi, come with me if you want to live. Right, turn him into a uh, generator. Then go back and get the um, bouncy dude. Here, Mr. Springy. Right, lob him over there, put a bit of spring in his step. Right, get the bomb. Well, actually, don't get the bomb yet. First, we need to make a bridge. There we go. Lob that bridge there. Lava's really hot. You do not want to go in the lava. Right, and uh, with the bomb, we can destroy this vent. Yes. And as I said, all the way across. Come on, I want to try and get this done before an hour. I'm on actually 47 minutes on my time at the moment. And I do need to cut a little bit off. I do want to cut off a few minutes. Right, love the generator there. Sparky, little sparky there. Right, and uh, come straight over here where the pistons are. Le, le, le. Yeah, you can't... I mean, if you just put a controller down, you can't die here. But if you try and move left, you will die. Yes. Player's input can actually kill you there. Right, do not let them blow up next to you because they will kill you. Yes, they will kill you. Right, open the door, grab a uh, little sparky here. Right, and what we're going to do now... We're going to bring him over here and we're going to kill him. Yes, I'm going to kill a little, little friend here. Yes, it's alright. It's alright, you can kill him. Oh, so sad. Yeah, basically you want to do that five times, guys. For a trophy. Kill him five times for a trophy. That's two. Yes, three. I'll sort you out in a minute, mate. I, I wish you wouldn't. Kids, but he got all dirty. That's four. Right, one more time. Five, basically got to uh, kill him five times. There we go, Clank Crusher. Sorry, Clank. I crushed you now. Now you're a plank. Crush you into a plank. The Clank becomes a plank. Right, when the hero becomes a villain. Right, I need you. Come with me. Right, bring him over here. Lob him down there, power that generator, make this one into a bridge. Then you take this one back. Uh, you need to take him from this side, obviously, because this is the side we made him from. Or whatever, it doesn't matter what one you do, you just need to take one of them down. Lo well, I guess it's this one, because you need the bridge to leave him there. Get off me! You're not coming with me, just stay there. What happened? Okay. Apparently he's not close enough. Yes, well done. That's what you were created to do, so do it. Right, come into this door ahead. Boom. Come through here, grab the bomb, destroy the robots. Clank doesn't mess about, look at this. One hit kills. Yeah, the one with lights flashing. You may not notice this, but the, the doors with the flashing lights are the ones that are going to open next. Yes. Yeah, it may not be quite clear to you, so I um, just wanted to explain that. He just melee me, cheeky bastard. Yeah, two come out of this one. Boom, I got them both. Let's get some energy back. Right, you need to take a bomb with you because there's a vent you need to destroy. There it is. And through there is another vent with a gold bolt, so you can take another bomb with you. I'm not sure if I can reach it. Um, if not, we're just going to have to come back and get that bomb in a minute. I just want to check. I've not tried this yet. Normally, you have to get up there. Uh, okay. Nope. <laughs> okay. I'll have to do that in a bit. Okay, so um, we're going to go and get the um, two... Get the two um, gadget bots. Well, no, 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 no. I need to get over there. 
Little little game of Frogger, this. A little game, three D game of Frogger, I guess. Right, leave him there for a minute because we want to get no, get off me. It's my raritarium. Yeah, some raritarium. There we go. Three raritarium. Okay, we've got to take Gadgetbot back over there. Right, we're going to make him into a little springy board. There we go. We'll leave him there for a second. We'll go and get the other Gadgetbot. Yeah, this is a um, rhino, uh, not a rhino card, a normal card. You don't need it because it's just a normal random set or random card you'll get. Right, take this gadget bot. And we're going to use him to make a bridge. Yeah, you are you were created to make a bridge for me. Right, leave him there. Get this one. Spring bot. And now we need to go back and get that bomb. Yeah, that's why I try to see if you can blow it up from the bottom. So it saves you running all the way back through here. But it's... It's not the end of the world. Clank has got infinite power, so it doesn't really waste any of his um, battery coming through there and going back. Right. There we go. Gold Bolt. And that is Gold Bolt number one on this bit. Yeah, Gold Bolt 20. Make sure you take this back down with you. Um, so you need to power each of these generators now. And that one, and we'll get that last one. Yeah, this bit is Clank. It's quite, I guess this bit's quite long as Clank, isn't it? Right, once you power them all, you can press the switch. There we go. And that is Clank's bit. <laughs> okay, so um, this door's open, guys. Sorry, duty called for a minute there. So um, I shouldn't be too long doing this. Right, so um, I think they're a new enemy type. So um, yeah, Groovatron, Mr. Zircon, and uh, you you will need to uh, kill these because otherwise um, your friend, she, yeah, she will not open the door for you. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Yeah, here she comes. I need some more ammo for my uh, combustor. Right. Oh, look at that! The factory. Where? I don't see all I see is conveyor belts. Oh my. This assembly line was the place of my creation. Oh, conflicting feelings. conflicting feelings. I see. Oh, ammo. Yes, thank you. Yes, please. Lock and loaded. Right guys, so um yeah, just heading along for a minute there. Nothing to clear for the time being. And we've got most of these enemy types. Well, you should know if you've got them all. If you haven't got all these enemy types. Oh damn. Alright, here's the collectible. Right, let's lob a Groovatron down. Cool, Mr. Zircon. Right, let's take them all out. Right, you need to use that turret and you need to destroy that uh, barrier there with the turret. There we go, because in there is the Rhino card that we need. Not the card we deserve, but the card that we need. Yes, and that is Rhino card number. Rhino card number seven, so we just need two more. Right, so um, let's move on. Watch yourself over here. Yep, no shit. Yes, here we go. We've got oh no, not Zircons. I'll have to call Mr. Zircon to defeat his own kind. Don't worry. Right, I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. So, these inactive warbots, you need to destroy 10 of these for a MISC trophy. Yeah. Try not to let them kill you. Yeah, they are inactive. But I would say, just be careful, guys. you got to kill 10 of these. Yeah, if you think you're going to get hit by one, just um, jump back or some, uh, you know, dash back quickly and you dodge its attack. It's um, stationary attack where it attacks you without moving yeah so um, just watch out for that so yeah you got to destroy 10 and you'll get a misc trophy yeah Mr. Zircon, Mr. Zircon as you can see he's uh, he's too afraid 
to hit these. He's afraid though with retaliation, vengeance of any comeback he might get. And I almost bloody ran off the edge there, the conveyor belt. There we go, war bots into plowshares. Yeah, once you've got that trophy we can move on. Ouch, okay, probably not a good idea to run into that. Or that one. <laughs> oh yes, health. Yes, please. Right, don't need to really kill any of these. Right, there's a the trespass lock, and then we can get the jetpack, guys. Um, so that one, you actually don't need to use that one. It's these three here. These two. No, so obviously that goes there, and they go there. Yeah, that one's pretty easy. The outer ring, you need to deactivate it. Right, and uh, yeah, we've got a jetpack time, guys. Right, so what we need to do now, we need to defeat the um, all the war bots that come out to you. Yeah, these three war bots, war bots remain. You've got to defeat them all, guys. So, I mean, the, the closer you get to these, the more you're going to hit with your combustor. And um, there are a few collectibles, but we'll get them in a minute. We'll just get rid of these guys first. Uh, Mr. Zircon. I call thee to my side. Right. Three remaining. Where are they? I'm here. Oh, you're not talking to me. Alright, two left. Oh, I've got no ammo. Let's switch to a predator. I can do it from a distance then. Oh, level up. Right, that should be it. No, it's still going. Damn, he was made with. He was, whoever made him did a, did a good job. Right, once you've killed that one, guys, you should be able to enter. Yeah, that room over there. Holy shit, I'm going to die in a minute. Right, um, yeah, I just want to kill them because I want to just um, refill my ammo here, guys. And then press the switch, and that will summon the boss. Yeah, it's a little boss fight now. Yeah, right, let's go and kill the boss. What's my health like? Did it refill my health? Right, so, um, yeah, obviously make the boss dance. It's a new enemy type, of course, so make him dance. And um, just kill him after that. This boss is, can be a good place to um, level your weapons. And um, there's a better spot later. Yeah, when he uses barrier, you can just uh, call a Groovatron, and that will stun him and deactivate it. Yeah, you can keep hitting him with different weapons. Then when you run out of ammo, um, just jump off the edge and kill yourself. Um, and basically, you just keep doing that um, to level up your weapons. But we'll be doing we'll be doing that on the last boss later. Um, so you don't really need to do it now. Right, okay, his shield is down, but no. His shield is still there, I don't know why. Okay, got one more Groovatron left. Okay, so I thought it would deactivate it. Doesn't always, I guess. Right, once you killed him, Zircon family values. Yeah, you get a trophy for that. Right, do not, do not, where is it? You're supposed to go over there, but do not go and do the lock yet. There's a few collectibles we want to get first. Right, and uh, let's go and do them. Where are we? Okay, so we're going over here first, guys, to this little lock. So um, I'm just on this side at the moment. So I'm going to unlock this one. Oh, I see. I see. Okay.
think it's going to take me a minute or two to... Uh... No, that's the wrong one. Oh, there we go. That went too bad. Yeah, once you've done that, guys, obviously you can come in here and turn this lever. If I can find it. Yes, there we go. If, if I can find the interaction point. Yes, and there's a gold vault. And if you remember, we actually came in here right at the start of the game as Clank. Do you remember this place? Yeah, get us gold bolt. That's uh, gold bolt number two. Uh, in this area. Yeah, actually gold bolt tw number 21 in total. Yeah, right. So, um, I'm going to get a raritarium now. Where is the raritarium? I think that's just over here. Just the next like, one we just came out of. So, here's the raritarium, guys. Just in here. We'll grab that. And now there's a door we need to go in, um, which has got another switch inside. Um, I think it's this one over here. Yeah, so this switch here, guys. This is where we are. Come over here. Press that switch, and it will release this force field on the middle. And we can get the last gold bolt. Yes, on the um, production line. Just through there. That uh, should be gold bolt 22, guys. Yes, 22. And that's it. Uh, we've done everything here, guys, that we need to do. So uh, we can move on now. So um, just come over to here. We've got all the mystic trophies. Let's do this last lock. Right, so... Uh, yeah, that, I guess that one goes there. No, no. I think this one goes... Yes, that goes there, and we've got one more here, yes that's it, and as soon as you pick that lock, that'll be it guys, there'll be a little cutscene now, yes, so uh, yeah, we've done it, we've done the factory, we've got all the collectibles in here, we've got the rhino card, we've got three gold bolts, and we've got the rare Raritarium deposits, which are not really a main collectible anyway. But um, yeah, we can go on the Deplanetizer now. Yeah, we've got all the gold bolts so far, guys. So on the Planetizer, if you remember, we just started in here on the um, end of the last part. Which was, I forget the name of the world now, the last one. But you've got another spaceship sequence here, as you can see. And where is the ship? Yeah, eventually the ship will show up. Yeah, come and show the Galactic Rangers what you made of. Come on. Oh, it's Victor Von that's iron ship. So, just like normal, guys, you have to shoot the rockets at it. Yeah, does it get any more complex than this? Obviously, watch out for its attacks. Nothing there, nothing too complicated. As you can see, then it puts us off, it sets off like a little mine. Which shoots lasers out and it will shoot sort of missiles at you as well. So just be on the lookout and for missile ammo you need to shoot the red ships that are floating about. Yeah there's the little mines. Well they space? Space mines? Can we call them that? Is there such a thing? Oh whoa 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 whoa. Shot a rocket at me. Yeah, once you put his health down so low, he'll do his tractor beam. And uh, all you can do now is wait until you break free via the story. Yeah, the story will break you free. Just um, shoot the rockets. Oh, no. Did I get that one? Did it get me? Come on, let me, let me go. Free me. Free me now. Release me. Oh, there we go. Right, now just unload your rockets onto him. And he's down. Megatron, or Galvatron, sorry. It's no more. All in a day's work. Right, yeah, so in this part, guys, I'm hoping to get the game completed. The game completed. Oh, no, we're Clank again, of course. Yeah, yeah, Clank again. This is the last time we actually actually play as Clank uh, throughout the um, for the remainder of his playthrough. Yeah, we have got to do it all again in a uh, in a uh, new game plus. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't like playing as Clank. 
If you like playing this crank, you are mad. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure you probably weren't by the end of the second playthrough. We'll, we will see. <laughs> we will see on that one. What's he doing? He's, gl he's glitched up. <laughs> I've not seen him do that before. Like he's turning into a god or something. I don't know. Whoa! Oh, he's about to chop me. Yeah, don't get too close to him. You should know how to dodge by now. But once you get so far, the door will hope open on the right. And quickly head in that door before he gets a chance to kill you. Right, a little puzzle here now, guys. So, put that bridge bot there. Come get this one. Put him over there. There we go. And then we'll go and get this one. Yep. Oh, oh! Yeah, we need to get this one now, this bridge. Uh, no, sorry. Wrong thing. Didn't mean to do that bridge bot. Yeah, we need to get this bridge back. There we go. Just so we can activate these generators. There we go. Generator 1. Generator 2. And... Generator number three. It's been activated. So let's press a green switch. There we go. Okay. On to the next one. On to the next one. Okie dokie. On to the next one now then, guys. So again, you got to sort of set every single bridge bot just so you can go back over. What's he doing? Okay. You're supposed to stretch horizontally, not vertically. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, uh, keep selecting the wrong thing. There we go. Right, so as you can see, we need two bots up there. So, um, yeah, we've got to do all this just so we can get this one back. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this game done, um, if I'm honest with you. I've been through this many times now, and um, I just want to get I just want to get playing on Final Fantasy VII. And um, playing that again, it's really making me... I have been through it before, but it's just making me miss that game even, even more. And um, I'm getting really into Final Fantasy VII Remake, and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, continuing my Platinum journey on that. But I've got to get through Ratchet first. Got to save the day in uh, the Galactic Galaxy. Yeah, once you put that there, guys, now you can get these bots. And uh, we can use these now. Up here, yep, yeah, that's one of them. One more. Yeah, so these little puzzles with um, Clank, just, you're just going back on yourself all the time. Yes, there we go. Yeah, we'll see about that, Victor. Online. Right, back up, Jenny's back online, guys. Now to see for those pumps. Yeah, now I've got to look for them calling pumps. Right, catch me if you can, Victor. Oh, here he comes again. He was hiding, waiting for me. Clank can't, he can't be stealthy because he's got metal feet. Metal feet on the metal floor do not go together. He's like a little tap dancer. Come on, Victor. Right, just be on the lookout, guys, because when that door opens on the right, again, you need to quickly get in there. If, you're not, if you don't get in there quick enough, you, you basically get killed, because um, Galvatron catches up with you. There's a Buzz Lightyear laser. Watch out for that one. It should be coming up now, any minute now, and uh, any second. There we go. Get in. Whoa, oh, oh, he almost got me. I got, I got caught on the um, back of the door frame. Right. So, um, similar thing again, guys. Just setting up a bridge all the way around the area so you can um, get everything. So we're going to leave that one there. Jump up. Come over here. Grab this bot. Hey, dude. Come with me. Come with me if you want to live. Right, lob that over there. Pick up this one. Come here, you. Bridge bot. 
number one, go. Bridge bot, number two, go. Yes. I'm a bridge maker. And I like to make bridges. Because I'm a bridge maker, and that is what I do. I make uh, bridges for people. No, I mean for, for robots. Right, we're good. Leave out there. Now get all your bots back. That's it. Now we can activate three jennies. This one's a bit easier than that puzzle we just done. Well, I guess it's a bit quicker. I think when I first did this one, I was coming. <laughs> I was stuck here for probably about 15, 20 minutes trying to figure out what to do. Probably with both of them, if I'm honest. Yeah, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I was fucking stuck here for quite a bit. Right, there we go. Call in power. It's online. Let's call down the call in system. Let's make it cooler. In this call area. So cool. Right, one more chase sequence until the next playthrough. Now this is a quick one, be ready to hit the switch, just coming up on the right, there it is. Go, 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 yeah, ferocious oxide. See ya later, Victor. Yeah, tough words, tough words from me. See ya later, Victor. Right, um, now we're actually properly in the deplanetizer. You actually come back here again later, by the way, guys. Right, I want to get this done quick. I don't be hanging around for too long. Right, you can buy the Gloves of Doom. As long as you've got plenty of money, the sheep, the sheep and eight is going to be about 45 grand. So yeah, buy the Glove of Doom. Um, yeah, we'll buy it. Go for it. Should have enough. You guys should have plenty. Right, what can we upgrade? Um, yeah, just upgrade the Gloves of Doom a bit. Yes, upgrade the Gloves of Doom. No, 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 no. Upgrade the proton drum a bit. Because we'll be using that soon. Upgrade that a bit if you can. And we'll leave Mr. Zircon. What level is Mr. Zircon anyway? Yeah, I want to see what level he is. Um, sorry guys, I've not actually played... Oh, he's level 4. He's not quite there yet. Right, let's go for it guys. So, um, keep using Mr. Zircon. And uh, here, we turn around, there's Raritarium there. Right, so Mr. Zircon, guys, and try and use his Gloves of Doom as well, and Proton Drum. And of course, use the Groover Bomb on New Enemy, and if you're in doubt, just use it on any sort of new enemy you come across, just be on the safe side. Right, let's get through this nice and quick. Uh, some dogs. Gloves of Doom, yeah we need to use that sometimes as well, level that up. So any weapons you want to use guys, just try and use Proton Drum, Gloves of Doom and uh, Mr. Zircon if you can. Right, we can't actually pull that yet, that's later on when we come back here. Right, some dogs over there. I don't think I made them dance before because Mr. Zircon kept killing them. Because he killed someone it. Right, we've got him this time. Right, Mrs. Zircon, come to my aid, please, buddy. Right, let's get him Gloves of Doom ready. Right, we've got to kill all the enemies here before the door will open up. Oh, here we go. Right, Groovatron again. Yes, and let's use some Gloves of Doom once more. Alright, we're good. Yes, force field's gone. Right, and once you come through here, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's Mr. Zircon when you need him? I know where he is. He's in the weapon menu. Right, and once you get to here, guys. Yeah, once you get to here. You want to come to this door here. And just wait now. So this is where we are, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even on the map. 
It's not really going to help. But just come down that passageway near where I am and wait by this door. You see us two doors, so wait by this one. And you'll get some dialogue from what what is his name? Mr. Quartz. Oh, Captain Quark, that's his name. Just wait, he'll talk to you as he's behind the door. And you'll get our trophy, guys. Et tu Copernicus. Or something. Yeah, that's a trophy you want from him. Uh, come through here after. Keep going. Yes, Raritarium. You cannot miss that. There's a Trespasser lock. Grievatron. Yes. And let's pick that lock quickly. So remember, do not auto-hack. We need to do all these. Um, okay, so... No, that will not go anywhere. Or oh, actually go there. Right, so um don't know if I remember how to do this one. Yes. No, that don't go there. Okay, let's try this. Nope. Oh yes, and the middle one. No, fuck. <laughs> oh there we go. Went too bad. Right, doors open. What the what is this? Ambush! Mr. Zircon, where are you? Oh, level up, Proton Drum, nice. Ratchet, have you located Captain Quark? Not yet. Hope he's okay. Just yeah, you can't use your um. If you notice, you haven't got your thing on your back with your little jet, your little um hover pack inside thingy, which lets you sort of jump forward. Right through here, guys. And I think we have to kill all the enemies in here. Do we? Can't quite remember. Right, so keep using that Groovatron whenever you come to a new area, just be safe, guys. Yeah, just keep killing the enemies, and the door ahead should reveal itself. Yeah, we've got to go in that door there, you can see. So all the enemies dead? Oh no, they're still coming. Yeah, it looks like it's a, um, we've got waves of enemies coming in. Right, oh, Mr. Zircon run out of batteries. Get rid of that flying one there. Is that all of them? Oh, still some dogs coming out. Oh, right, there we go. Right, let's go. Right, yeah, keep coming through here, guys. Oh, yeah, some robots there. Ah, oh, yeah, can't get... I, I hate it when you have to kill the enemies in the room. Yeah, there's no, there's no cards in here, by the way. Yeah, so don't worry about cards. Um, card is in the next area. What am I doing? Sorry, I was just, think, I was just thinking about what, what I'm doing next. So there's normally an enemy right at the top, which is quite awkward to get to. So you normally have to come up here, just so you can actually get sight on him. Right. Uh, Mr. Zircon's back in the house. Right, yeah, that robot up there. So I'm just going to lob some grenades at him, I reckon. That should... Yeah, that should um, knock him into pieces of little scrap metal. Right, he finished. Yeah, finally. Right, let's uh, crack on. Lots Grapple point. Wait for it. Yes, <laughs> wait for it. Don't do what I normally do and jump up too early. Right in here, there's a uh, Raritarium in this plant pot. Nice little plant there. Got Raritarium growing inside it. In here, uh, yeah, Trespasser. Unlock with the Trespasser. Right, okay. Um, can't quite remember what this one is. I don't know if that goes there. Um, okay, it's got two over here. No. Nope. Yes, that will work. And the middle one. Yes, there we go. Right, once you've done that, you can shoot this thing up here. See, so 
see that and it'll make that little platform appear. Yeah, make that platform appear, guys. And uh, then you can climb up here. And get another gold bolt. Oh, almost. Almost fell down. Almost fell down. Nice, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you get that gold bolt there, guys. Right, and you want to smash all these planets. Yeah, smash all these planets and you'll get a misc trophy. Yeah, you can either do like a jumping attack or you can use a um, grenade or something on them. I'll use a jumping attack. There you go, yeah, smash all these, you'll get a misc trophy. One more. There we go, character assassination, we did it. Yes, you'll get that misc trophy. Right, got to get through this. I hate these lasers. I just seem to get stuck on these for ages. Oh, I'm not doing too bad at the moment. He says. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, not too bad. Only fucked up once. Oh, shit. Here we are. In the control room. Right, so quickly take these guys out. As you can see there, the door is locked until we've killed them all. Right, any ammo anywhere for me? Right, let's quickly shoot them ones down. Oi, come down from there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's it. Right, thanks for opening the door for me, guys. Right, so I'm um, through here now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's it. Ah. Uh, not too bad. Right, fill the ammo up, guys, and let's go. Yeah, don't waste any money. You need, like I say, you need to save about 45,000 for a weapon on the next level. Right, these guys look a little bit different. They're a bit pinker, their skin. So, um, yeah, always use Groovetron on them, just be on the safe side. Right. Our Glove of Doom, level up. Right, so just keep killing all the enemies until that door just ahead of me there opens up. And then we will head through there. My little feet will move forward and we'll go through. Right, these tanks, yep. Yeah. These tanks are a different colour from the other ones on the other level, so um, I think they're a different colour. Yeah, so uh, make these dance, just be on the safe side. Right, that's that one down. Another one will come from here. Should do. I really come. Here comes the tank. Should be dead now. No, it's still going. Oh yes, it's gone now. Right, that door should open up now, so I'm just getting a bit of ammo. No. Okay, okay, who's that? Oh yeah, I see these little robots up here. Forgot about them. What is that fucking floating in the air or something? Right, let's lob them up there, that. Glyphs of Doom will sort you out. Oh, there we go. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. And yeah, that's the deep planetizer done, guys. The first part. You have to go back to that later. But we've got one world first, one other world first. Right, so Kalibo number three. Yeah, Kalibo number three. 
Right, Kalibo number three, guys. Right, so there's one misc trophy we're going to get here. And there's quite a few collectibles. And this is the last proper level, guys, before they deplanetize the last one. Right, so Sheepinator. We're going to buy that now. You need 40,000, guys. I'm hope, I hope you have enough. Right, and once you bought that, she's going to upgrade a few weapons. So Sheepinator first. We'll just upgrade that the most we can. Sheepinator. And we're actually going to use Sheepinator from now on. Yeah, Sheepinator is now going to be our weapon of choice because we need to get it upgraded. We'll upgrade the Guffs of Doom a little bit. There we go. And the, yeah, Guffs of Doom. We'll do Mr. Zircon a little. No, in fact, <laughs> we can do it too much. We uh, do Proto Drum. Yeah, Proton Drum. And then we'll put the rest into a Mr. Zircon, I think. And we'll get that other yellow one. Yeah, we'll, we'll save quite. We'll save a little bit just for the Sheepinator later when we upgrade it, when we level it up a bit more. Right, guys. Bet. Yeah, Sheepinator. Everything is going to turn into my flock of sheep now. So, um, yeah, I'm going to shortcut Sheepinator. I need the Groovatron shortcut still. Okay, so um, Sheepinator. Yeah, and Gloves of Doom. Yep, yeah, and uh, Pro Drum. Yep. Yeah. So um, let's miss trophy for staying on these belts without moving, guys. So walk onto the belt and then don't move until you get to the end. There's four belts on this level, and you have to do this on each one. Yes, a pretty weird trophy. Pretty fucking weird. But don't move a muscle. Just freeze. Even if you put a controller down, you have to freeze as a person. Yeah. So um, just stop what you're doing. Don't move at all while you're on the belt so in um, that one i just need to get rid of these enemies first otherwise they're gonna sort of um attack me when i'm on it right so um oh yeah we've got a little pack back nice so back on the top and then do not do a thing i know i know i know guys i know no i know i really do know this is fucking stupid why why make us do this I think they're just trolling us up. This is a troll. Definitely a troll. See how long we can uh, <laughs> sit here like a complete idiot before we realise this is a load of bollocks. Well, at least it's going to be a minute at least before I realise. I've done this enough times already. Okay, that's another one done. That's number two. Yeah, this one. And that's not even the longest one yet. Yeah, look how long this one is. Right. So Sheepinator, we're always I'm always gonna lob my sort of my sort of enemies down first. Mr. Zircon, I look I throw the Gloss of Doom down, throw a Proton Drum down and a uh, and uh sort of Groovatron and then I'll start using my Sheepinator. So here we are guys, number three. But don't worry, this is the longest one. Yeah, but let's actually, on another level, we've actually got to do this on about 30 conveyor belts. And they're actually about the length of this one. Yeah, it's about 20 or 30 conveyor belts on the next level. And they are as long as this one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I shit you not. No, I do shit you. I'm just kidding, guys. No, this is the last time we have to do this. Don't worry. Okay, halfway. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit like a, a bit of an idiot standing here like this. <laughs> you done? Yeah, ratchet. Yeah, that's it. Check your boots. You got some shit. You got some sheep shit on the bottom there, mate. Yeah, watch out for that sheep shit. It's going to be all over the place on the way back. Okay, big mistake, Lombax. What going on the conveyor belt for a trophy? I oh, know, I don't think so. Right, so um, we're just going to activate this. Good job, Ratchet. Right, so once you've activated that, we're going to go the opposite way to it. Up this lift. And there's a grind rail here, guys. And this one's pretty tricky, actually. Pretty tricky. Right, so... Pay attention on this, guys. 
pay attention. It will take. This will take a few tries. It did take me. I mean, I'm hoping I do it first try. I know. Yeah, I've done it before, but obviously I've not practiced it for the last sort of what 20 minutes. Oh shit! Yeah, try not to get it too much because you will die. This one's really long, so jump over this. Dodge this train. Yeah, I'm just gonna sort of dodge this train. Dodge back. Obviously, there's a wall there, a barrier you need to dodge. These next trains, you can actually jump over the middle one because you're sort of an, on a hill to it. And here, jump right, press square to hit that terminal there, and then jump back to the middle. Here, jump to the right. Yeah, sorry if I'm going a bit fast, lads, uh, guys. Lads, ladies as well. I just need to keep up with this. Right, over here, there's another terminal there. Get ready, press square. Yes, there we go. Jump these. Come down here. Boom. There's another terminal there. Be ready. Be ready, guys. There it is. Boom. Whoa! Raritarium. I think I missed it. Oh no, circuit breakers. Three out of four. I have got them. And then jump back to this one. There's Raritarium there as well. You saw on the left there on the screen, it just said circuit breakers. Three out of four. So you know how many you've got. Up here. Jump right. Back to the middle. Jump right. Back to the middle. Jump right. Back to the middle. Right. Back to the middle. Quick. Quick. Yes. Jump over here. Now be ready here. This bit, you've got to be very close. Time it right. Right, so jump right after that little laser and hit this fourth one. If you don't hit that, you're dead. Yeah, if you don't hit that, you've got to do it all again. Circuit breaker four. And at the end of this, it's a gold bolt. Yeah, gold bolt. Sorry, guy. That was pretty fast. Oh, shit. Yeah, hit all these. But good thing is, once you've got this gold bolt, you don't have to do all that again. But if you... If you mess it up, you have to get all four terminals again. Jump left. Jump that. Yes, right. We're back on track now. We're almost done it, guys. Big jump there. Big jump. Left. Square. <laughs> Square. Back to the middle. Yes, we did it. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. I did it first time. I am surprised. So hit this. And here you finally get a map, guys, that reveals all the collectibles on the map. The map o -matic. look at that. Yes, we've got the map o -matic finally, guys. Right, once you've got the map o -matic In the taxi, yep. Taxi, please. Call an Uber. Galactic Uber. Galuba. <laughs> Is that what you'd call it, a Galuba? I don't know. I'm such a, I'm such a dick. Okay, so we're back here now, guys, and um, we can crack back on. We've done the grind rail. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Right, just get some ammo. Right, let's move on then, guys. So, yeah, you can just look on here now to keep track of collectibles. So, through here. Right, these enemies. Try to use Mrs. Zircon, Gloves of Doom, Proton Drum, and um, the Sheepinator, and obviously make him dance first. That's it. Have a boogie, guys. If you remember, these are actually the robots from the um, from the start of the game. If you remember the training area. I'm going to love a pro on drum down as well. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going all in with the firepower. Okay, once you kill so many, the door will open. And just around the back here, if we get a lift, guys, there's some rare There we go. Up on the elevator. Find the focus lab. Right, you don't need to kill these. Um, but you know what? I'm going to lob some down quickly. Just a little surprise for them. There. Right, you need to hit that uh, lever over there. There we go. To remove that force field, there we go. And then you can make your way across. You don't need to kill these. Oh, shit. You don't need to kill these either. Just get through here. There we go. Right, yeah, prepare for annihilation. Yeah, not you, these. Right, yeah, use... Oh, shit, what am I doing? Yeah, Sheepinator. Test complete. Oh, Mr. Zircon, finally, he's level 5. I don't have to use him no more. Thank fuck for that. Right. Get rid of this robot quickly. Right, these two helicopters, when you get across there, they're going to fly away. But if you make them dance, so Lob Groovatron down over there. 
And then what you need to do, guys, use a sheepinator. Make your way across. You know what? I didn't even bloody... Yeah. Use a groovinator. I thought I missed him. And then quickly turn one into a sheep. And you'll get a missed trophy. If you don't get this now, don't worry. You can get it later. Yeah, there we go. When sheep fly. Um, right, where am, what am I doing? Yeah, sheepinator. Sheep can dance. Right, let's um, put my ammo up, guys. Right, let's turn this. And we're going to get a second gold bolt on this level in a second, guys. We should have, what have we got now? 25? Yes, only three more, a um, few more to get. Or th four more, I think it is. Right, so once you're here, guys, you need to, you see that gold bolt? Oh, no! Fuck's sake. I wasn't holding circle. Where am I? Yeah, so there's a gold bolt just over there. And it's a bit pretty tricky, this. you got to sort of um, jump off at the highest point and then press R1 to sort of dive across. Like so. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, well, not like so. Not, I mean, not like so. There we go. Yeah, you can just make it and then come and get this gold bolt. Sweet, 25, three more to collect. Right, down here, yeah. Gloves of Doom level up, nice. Right, then up this elevator, obviously, guys. Once it all starts working, obviously, someone's still alive. Is it you? Right, it should be working now. Yes, there we go. Now be careful in this next area guys because there's a hell of a lot of enemies, tough enemies as well, and they can overwhelm you pretty quickly. So just be really careful. Yeah, really careful guys. Yeah, so you don't have to use Mr. Zircon no more, so don't bother using him. He's just gonna nick um, points from your other weapons. Right. In here. Sheep testing lab. Yeah, can we turn the sheep into sheep? Let's have a go. Eh. No, it does not like it. Okay, that's an easy one. That's a that's quite a difficult training area, that one. Not. Right, yeah, there is last conveyor belt, guys. Yeah, and be really careful here. You can get overwhelmed really quickly. Especially with these um, ships. Yeah, so first of all, you want to get rid of these ships, guys. There's one there. We'll turn it into a sheep. Yeah. Sheep ship. You can turn it into a sheep. I'm sure you can. Yeah, you can tell. You can't turn bosses into sheep. Um, for obvious reasons. Come on. There we go. Right. And then quickly get rid of all these guys before they bloody kill you. Yeah, still got... I'm going to get some health, guys. So I'll probably die if I don't. Right, these ones are probably a bit too far a bit too far away to oh no, I can reach them. Didn't think I'd be able to. Yes, got them. Right, let's go over to the next one. So I'm gonna start with a Groovatron. Yeah, you see them helicopters to be careful. This is what I mean. If you miss that trophy before you can get it now, making the heli helicopters turn into sheep. Right, I'll get them first and then I'll get the ship. Just because these have got less health. What's he doing? He's inside the platform. Got it. Oh, didn't go too bad, guys. Didn't go too bad. Right. There's going to be a lot of enemies near. There's a little testing area. This is a good place to level up some of these... Um, well, a good place to level up the Proton Drum and the Gloves of Doom and the Sheepinator and Mr. Zircon, if you haven't already. And once you've killed the last one of these robots, guys, they won't spawn ever again until your next playthrough. But if you wanted to farm some weapon XP for them um, weapons I just mentioned, you could just wait until there's a, a few left, then get yourself killed by running off, a, off the um, ledge up there and uh, come back here and just keep killing them. So I don't know why I've called Mr. Zircon. What a dick. 
but it's a good way to get some nice experience for some of your weapons. Yeah, let's get the Glyphs of Doom back out. Yeah, like I say, you just got to be careful you don't... Um... So this is probably the last one. I think there's three waves that come out all together. Yeah, so... Um... There we go, yeah, that's it. Oh no, it's another wave. Oh, two more left. You know what, I'm going to kill myself guys, I'm actually going to level up these just a bit more. Because you, on the last boss of the game, that's where we're going to level up all our weapons. But the Gloves of Doom and the Proton Drum and Mrs. Zircon and the Sheepinator are quicker to level up here. As long as you don't kill all the robots. All the bunny rabbits. Uh oh, of shit! What? I thought I, I thought I came into the fluffy bunny room. Yes, yeah, so I, I don't want to do this too much, guys, because it's going to waste a bit of time. Right, so yeah, it's a good place. You can see how quick my weapon is leveling the proton drum. Fucking, I'll call Mrs. Zircon again. Yes. Proton drum. You've got to be really careful. You don't kill all the enemies here. Really careful. Well, I mean, you don't. Like I say, you can level it all up at the end boss. And um, it's just a bit quicker to level these ones up here. Because these are the ones where you have to sort of be on the... Right, I'm just clearing myself. Yeah, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get Proton drum to level 5 here. And um, the Gloves of Doom. Yeah, if you, if you don't manage to do it, guys, don't worry. I'm... Um, when we get to the last boss, I'm going to show you everything. Um, I'm going to explain to you how to level everything up. On the final boss, can't remember his name, Mr. Something. I think it begins with a Z. Oh no, Mr. Nefarious. I think it is. Right, so here we go again. Right, try not to call Mr. Zircon. Glyphs of Doom, level 4, nice, nice. Yeah, it's a really good place to level these weapons up. That's almost max level, that. Right, I don't think there's many enemies left to spawn, so I'm going to kill myself now, actually. Once you kill that last one, there's nothing you can do. It will sort of save, even if you try and quit out straight away. That's it. They will not spawn anymore. It's a shame. It's a shame they don't just keep spawning even when you've done this because it'd be it would be a great place to um you know farm your weapon levels, weapon XP. Bit of a shame. Fluffy bunny rooms. <laughs> you gotta watch out for these guys. Fluffy bunny rooms. Very very dangerous. Yeah, levels up really quick here, just because there's so many enemies. Oh, so <laughs> close. You know, I can get a last tiny bit with just a random enemy after this. So I'm going to use Glyphs of Doom now. Okay, I think that's it. Quickly drop down. They're all gonna. I think. <laughs> I thought I was gonna kill the last one just before I got a chance. Right, let's go again. And uh, once you've done, once you've got Mr. Zircon level five, um, Proton Drum, um, Gloves of Doom, and the Sheepinator, all the other weapons you can do right at the end on the last boss, and um, quite easily. It's just these ones that sort of. A sort of ground based yeah the ones that sort of ground based these ones that are a bit a, a bit more trickier on the last boss and they're a bit slower and the sheep and is not very good because you can't shoot the last boss with it I need some more ammo now um, no it's not giving me any I oh, know what what about this nope 
Come on, I don't want to kill myself again. Oh, there we go. That's it, that should be it guys. Just gotta do sheep and 80 now, level five, but um I might just do this. Yeah, I might just use this from now on. Use the sheep and from now on. And should be okay. Right, I'm just gonna kill myself one more time guys. Sorry about this. I might I might cut all this out yet, just cut cut out all this and uh, just tell you what I did. Oh wait, oh it's too late. <laughs> I killed the last one. I have no choice. Yeah, so once you kill that last one, nothing you can do. That that's what will happen. And once you get here guys, behind here oh hello mate. Behind here is a it's the last raritarium on this level. Last raritarium there. Right, come in here next, drain the water, and then we open another race. Another race. And you know what I haven't done? When I started this I didn't enable um fast fast speed yeah fuck I didn't enable fast speed but if I'm honest full of grind race you probably just want normal speed because it can be quite hard to keep track well to control it when you're going fast so we got to do this guys we got to get obviously get gold um, and then oh, pressing the wrong bloody button try and do my tricks there's actually a gold bolt here as well. Yeah, we need to get gold on every one. Um, but as well, on the last one, the gold cup, we need to complete it in 2 minutes 05 to um, get a trophy, guys. So you want to come over here. And this will lead to a gold bolt, by the way. Yeah, this will lead to a gold bolt. In there. It can be quite tricky making that jump. Because if you jump, if you jump right at the last minute, you normally hit the wall. And it will normally knock you down. So um, you do sort of have to get used to the timing. Making that jump. So you actually make the little shortcut where the gold bolt is. And if you can get that shortcut every time, guys. That saves a lot of time, that shortcut does. It's not like a shortcut on the other grind rail. On the other world. This one, that shortcut. It saves about five seconds. So if you can make that shortcut every time. You should be able to make the 2 minutes 05 time quite easy. Oh, 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 that was close. Very close, that was. Yeah, so 2 minutes 05. I think we're going to have plenty of time now. Yeah, that short, the shortcut saves you so much time. So much time. Yeah, so this is bronze. And obviously, guys, you may want to come back later. Oh, fuck. You may want to come back later and do the um, actual timed run. Oh, shit. Yeah, if you don't use boost as well, you will not make the jump. Yeah, you have got you have got the booster on... Oh, no. Great. Messed it up now. You have got the booster on the actual ramp, but if you don't use your boost as well, you will not make the jump. Yeah, it's like a... Like trying to trick you. Look, I, I made I messed up quite a bit here, and I still made it in two, two minutes, so five. Yes, I know we're on bronze, but... um. That's just how much time, that's how much time the shortcut saves. If you don't use the shortcut, it's close. You can probably do it in about two minutes, but using the shortcut, if you don't make any mistake, you sort of do it in about one minute fifty. So we've got a radical trophy. So now we're gonna do a silver cup. We need to get a gold cup unlocked. And you also get a rhino. You also get a rhino card, guys. Tech head. Don't know what that one is. Can't remember what that trophy's for now. Is it for getting the hollow guys? I don't know. Oh shit. Yeah, so um, if you're having trouble doing this, the um, time limit, just come back later when you've got invincibility unlocked and then these will not damage you. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Well, 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 close, close. Yeah, so you... Oh, yeah, yeah, you... Oh, see, I just caught the roof then. Yeah, you normally have to use boost there, otherwise you don't make it boost as well as, a, as the um, launch pad. Oh, shit. Whoa. <laughs> I was losing control a minute there. 
Oh yes, there we go. White hate is when you, you do it in that time, but then when it comes... Oh, fuck, I forgot to boost again. Yeah, when it comes to the actual proper run on the gold, you just mess up everything. Yeah, so before I realised how much time the shortcut saved, I used to come the long way. Yeah, I used to come the long way before I realised how much time the shortcut saved. So yeah, you always want to try and do as many tricks as you can as well. Because successful tricks gives you a bit, a bit of your boost bar. Yeah, but don't, don't over, don't like over trick. Because if you over trick, you will sort of have a, like a little fail when you hit the floor. Oh yes, I forgot, I remembered to boost that time. Save your boost for the end. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Uh, done it in just under two minutes. Right, please let me do it on the gold one so I don't have to come back here. We have to go back to the other one anyway. We have to go back to that world anyway where the other World Cup is. World Cup? Hover World Cup. Um, because you need to, we need to get a... Uh, a gold bolt from there and we need to get the rhino gun right let's do this this is it the moment of truth come on clank and match it we can do this guys oh no yeah bad start bad start that was but I can make a comeback I can be the underdog whoa <laughs> oh no I recovered that one oh no I've got no boost I'm gonna fail the shortcut Oh no. If you've got no boost, do not go for that shortcut because you'll just miss it. Yeah, do not go for the shortcut, guys, if you've got no boost. Right. Oh, well, shh. Oh, just mate. Oh no. I thought I hit the ramp, so I went to do a trick. But obviously, I didn't make it right. Can I make this? Can I get this? Can I pull this back? Come on. Come on, Ratchet. Do not get, let the mistakes knock your morale down. You've got this. Yes, yes. Boost. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. I shouldn't have done two tricks there. Hehe, <laughs> no way. Why am I doing a trick? Why am I doing a trick for? Just fucking <laughs> trying to be cocky now, ain't you, mate? I'm slowing down now, so I've run out of boost. Whoa! Fuck, just missed that. Yes. Shit, no boost. Got boost now, sort of. No, I've still got time. I can still make this. No, I can't. Okay, alright, no problem. We'll just... Um... Where am I going? Come on, please. Yes, you've got this. Oh! Oh, I did it, guys. Oh, two milliseconds. Well, yeah, fuck. Or oh, did I? No, I didn't. So the trophy's not popped. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> well, we got the Rhino card. Yeah, you got the right. You'll get the Rhino card. Oh, no, I did. Kalibo Thunder. Look at that. How close was that? Talk about close, guys. Go speed ratchet, go speed ratchet, go. Nice one, buddy. Nice one, ratchet. You don't have to come back to this shitty world. No, this world's quite good. Oh, and uh, yes, before we forget, guys, we need to do a conveyor belt. Yeah, so that rhino card we just got, um, let me just show you. We need one more rhino card, and we get that on the last world. Um, where is it? Yeah, okay, I don't want to trade yet. Okay, yeah, all right, let's trade. Yeah, so if you've got duplicates so far, guys, look for a car, look for a car pack that needs only one card. And um, press triangle, use your duplicates, and purchase that missing card to, uh, yeah, get a trophy for trading, for duplicating, yeah. So there's a trophy for duplicating, but if you get all the cards before you duplicate, it's missable. So you've just got that one, guys, Rhino 7, uh, Rhino 8, sorry, and we need one more. So there's one more conveyor belt, guys, and it's just over here. I forgot about this. I did mention it when we got over to it, I remember. But um, after killing the enemies, I forgot to um, go and stand on it. 
Right, so um, yeah, just come and run on this one, guys. And um, just wait a second. Yeah, just chill out. Go make a quick coffee if you can make it quick. So if a trophy doesn't pop... Oh, there we go. Lazy Lombax. I was going to say, if a trophy doesn't pop, it's probably because you moved on another one. It's because you're too fidgety. Yeah, <laughs> you're fidgeting too much. Right, but we've got that. We've done everything we need to do here. So um, let's go into that last world. What we're going to be doing, by the way, we're going to go in the last world, get the remaining gold bolt, get right to the boss. Then when you're near the boss, there'll be a, a sort of um, fast travel to get back to the spaceship. And then we're going to go back to um, the other world and just um, do the last few little things we need to do on that one world. It's the one where the... Um, it's the one where you had the first race, basically. The first hover race. And if you remember where there's a sewer and all the water filled up and you have to quickly get out. It's that world. It's that world. Right, here we go, guys. Deplanetizer. Let's go and do this. So, Deplanetizer. We've got one gold bolt already. So, there's a Rarotarium. And we should get a last Trespasser lock as well, guys. Yeah, the last Trespasser lock. Right. Yeah, we're back here again. Where is Victor Von Iron? We will find him. You cannot escape me, me and Crank. Crank will find you wherever you go. Whatever crevice you're hiding, we will find you. Right, so when you begin, guys, there's a Rarotarium here. We're just to the left by the steps. Right, and we've got that suit, but first of all... Um, so the weapon I'm going to be using is the sheep gun. So I'm going to actually upgrade that. What I can, the sheepinator. So let's upgrade that a bit. Yes. Bear. Sheep. Yeah. Bear. And that one. Yes. Bear. Yes. Bear. Yep. Yeah. We've got a sheepinator. Right. We have to use our disguise now, guys. Um, where is it? There it is. Hello, guys. Bulging pecs. <laughs> Bulging Pecs Detected. Oh, I can't skip that one, damn. Yeah, now, be really careful. And to deactivate security, if they see Ratchet, they will sort of do an instant kill attack. And um, if you jump or do any sort of um, firing or attack, you'll, the disguise will disappear. And um, you'll show Ratchet, Naked Ratchet. Yes, there we go. Welcome, Captain. Hello. It's good to be back. So you come over here, wave to him, and they will lower the force field. Hello, robots. When you do get into the room, what I normally do, because what, what you'll find is all the robots will always run towards the switch. I always use the Groover, Groovertron to um, stun them, and then I just quickly kill them. And once it's gone in like that, that means you can move on. Yeah, once this little security system has gone in, you can move on. So back to the disguise. Hello, guys. So don't jump until they turn around from you. Yeah, don't jump until they turn around from you, guys. So over here, I'm going to wave to him. And like I say, when you get through, always lob a Groovatron first. Oi, I'm waving to you, mate. Don't ignore me. I'm your captain. Oh, sorry. I thought... I don't know what I'm waiting for. Right, so Groovatron. Sheep. Yes, and this one behind. Right, got him. Right, let's go. Yep, security's gone down. Yeah, you remember this? We were in here before, guys. Sure you remember. Right, where's my hollow, guys? Right, come on, let's get this done. Right, wait for him to turn around before you jump. Yes. Quick. Back to Hollow, guys. Hello. Hello. Hello, Metal Face. Right. <laughs> right. Don't kill him yet. Do not kill him yet, guys. Go back into your Hollow, guys. Because the security system is over here. And if you attack anyone, it'll just press that buzzer. And you'll be KO's. So once you get here, quickly lob down. Groovatron. That's it. And then kill them all now with the sheepinator so we can upgrade that a bit. 
Yeah, once security system's gone down, then you can. Uh, yeah, once it's gone down, then we can move on. Yeah, so now we can actually climb up here. You couldn't climb up here before, and um, when we first came through the planet, the um, deplanetizer, but you can now. So up here. Yeah, there's another security system here, so be careful because the robot's going to come through that door. Yes, yeah, so wait for him to turn around. I guess if you're quick, you can quickly get up Lobber Groovatron down. Yeah, quickly kill him, and then that's just, yeah, send the security system in. And then back to your hollow guys. <laughs> back to your hollow guys. Guys, okay. Right, where's the security system? So before you break cover. Make sure you get Groovatron down first by that security system. That's it. Now you've got to kill all the enemies in this room to progress. Quite a lot of enemies will spawn here, by the way. Yeah, keep lobbing the Groovatron down by this. Just in case anybody creeps past you and uh, presses that system. Oh, that's it. Yes, we, we're done. Right, let's push on. Where's he going? The security system's gone in, you, <laughs> you pillock. Right, so there's the last gold bolt. You can see it there, guys. Just had to remind myself. Right, this part's been a bit longer than what I expected it to be, than what I planned on. Um, right. Let's just make sure we've got some ammo for the Groovatron. Right, hello, guys. Right, where's security system? There it is. Right, Groovatron down next to it. And Sheepinator time. Just be careful, guys. Because if an enemy gets past you, if they come out of your door that you're not watching, and they press a switch, you're done for. And be careful, because the Sheepinator... Doesn't. Oh no, he's going to press it. I've oh, got to quickly. <laughs> yeah, because the Sheepinator doesn't actually stun them. So you need to be careful. Yeah, be really, really careful. You've got no um, Groovatrons left. Oh yeah, I forgot that I had to use the Proton Drum on something. I forgot about that. Right, so I'm just going to put that down to him. Um... Yeah, I wish I had some Groovatrons left. You almost got past me then. Oh, here he comes. No, you are not getting to that security switch. No, no, no. Oh, just. One more. I think this is the last one. Yes, we did it, guys. Right, and now we're going to get a uh, gold bolt in this room. Where is it? There's some boxes we can climb up. Look at that gold bolt up there, guys. Oh, so here it is. <laughs> Idiot, forgot. I think we could have got this when we came through earlier, by the way. And that would have actually been better. But, yeah, I actually forgot about it when we came through. Apologies. But well, it doesn't matter anyway. It's not going to waste any time. Right. Well done, Ratchet. 27 out of 28. And we can, put in, we can actually put infant ammo on now. But if you put infant ammo on, guys, you will not get any weapon XP. So do not put infant ammo on. Yes, do not. We will be using invincibility once we unlock it, but not infinite ammo. So as you can see, there's a robot over there. So make sure he's not facing you. When you jump across... Yeah, this part's going to be quite long, but I guess it'll keep you busy. Quick, quick. Back to hollow, guys. Phew, that's close. Wave to him. Hey, it's me, Captain. Yeah, you're right, mate. Now open that fucking door. Right, he's down. Right, this is the last one, I think. Hello, yes, there we go. Now, you need to be careful here, guys. If you get hit by anything along here, and if you attack, it's going to break cover. And that robot, where is he down there? He's going to see you, and he's going to press that switch. Yes, yeah, so be very careful. You do not get hit on this magnetic road. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Fucking idiot. Yeah, that's what happens. Sanitization. That's what happens, guys, if you get seen. Do not get discovered. Stealth is of the essence here. Stealth is key. Captain Quartz, come in. I'm coming. Yes, do not get hit. Somebody told me that once. Do not get hit. A wise man once said. Okay, okay, almost there. They could have made these magnetic paths really, like, create. They could have been really creative with these, couldn't they? Right, bye. <laughs> I'm just going to knock him off. Yeah, just knock him off. Easy way to get rid of him. Right, let's stock up, guys. Let's um, level up that Sheepinator. Yes, because I did hit level 3 with it. Let's level that up a bit. Yes, nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And in here, guys, is actually a Raritarium here. There we go. Yes, and that's the last Raritarium we're actually going to find in the game. Yeah, that's the last one, guys. Right, so, um, hello, guys. Captain Quark. Um, so, there's the security system over there. Let's just go in. Um, what, do you, what do you call it? Um, camp. Yeah, that's, that's a word. I can't remember the name. I haven't played COD for a while. And I forget, I forgot the word camp. Let's go and camp by the security system. So, just be careful now. There's no doors near it, so you should be able to see all sort of um, points they're going to come at you from if you do move forward a bit. Yes, doors on the left and right here, so yeah, be careful. Don't head too far forward. We need to make sure we see if them doors open. So yeah, it's just a defence. We're just defending now. Oh, here come the dogs, fuck. Groovatron, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know the little things nipping at my feet. I guess this sheep net is quite good. So it's sort of it's it, it's infinite ammo without using the infinite ammo cheat. I know it's not doesn't do a great deal of damage. But um, it's good. It's a shame it doesn't work on bosses. I mean, even if it does, didn't turn them into sheep, I wish you could level it up on bosses. Well, I'll use Groovatron here. That robot looks different to some anything I've seen before. Oh, shit. Right, now the closer doors are opening, guys. Yeah, so pull back. Retreat, retreat back to the security system. You will not get to that. No, no, go back. Oh, we've done it, guys. Yes, right. And there's one more trespass lock after this, and then we should get the safe cracker trophy as long as you have not auto hacked any. Right, so where does this one go? Not there. Um, so that one could go there. No, sorry, I meant there. Yeah, that one could go there. Um, got this one. No, it uh, will not go there. No. No, possibly. So I'm going to leave that one there. What about this? Um, maybe, maybe. In fact, I think that does go there. Oh, yes. No. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe that one goes there. And this one goes here. Yes. I thought right. Right, so deactivate the security system now, guys. Right, let's go and head to the boss. But we're not going to kill the boss yet. Yeah, we're not going to kill him yet, guys. We're just going to get there and um, open up the sort of shortcut. So here, you just need to kill these, and then a shortcut will open up. Oh, well, so not a shortcut, a grapple hook. I'm just going to try and... That's it. Stun them for a second. Yeah, kill these two. That's it. I made this grapple... Oh, bastard. Make that grapple hook appear. Shoot me from a distance. Come just... Find me at close range, you pussy. Right, there we go. And let's head across now. Yes, no security system. No it's a shame you have to keep killing all the enemies though in this area. Fortunately.
Right, some more over there. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep using the Sheepinator, guys, so we can level it up in the meantime. Because Sheepinator, the Sheepinator, I, I do keep saying this, but I just want to keep reminding you guys, the Sheepinator, the Proton Drum, Mr. Zircon, and the Gluffs of Doom are tricky to level up on the last boss. They are possible, they're just tricky. And by me, what I mean by that is they're, they're quite slow at doing so. And the Sheepinator, you can't actually level, up, level them up on the boss itself. You have to level up on the sort of um, robot enemies that spawn around it when you, brought its, when you bring its health down so low. Right, are we done it? Yes, yeah, so we need to head through this way. Right, I need to make sure I'm uh, getting all these possible, possible new enemies. Okay, pretty fireworks going on here. Alright, so just making our way through this area. We're going to get a last Rhino card in a second. Right, let's lob that over there. Whoa, that fucking dog almost knocked me off the platform. Yeah, if you remember, we came through here earlier on, um, earlier when we came into Planetizer. Level 4, nice. Right, round here. And we need to activate that um, switch there to deactivate that force field. There we go. Right, get them guys up there. Oh, shit. Straight down the hole. What a complete noob. Well, I guess, well, I, ki I killed the enemies down there. My death killed the enemies. Maybe they jumped in after me. Right, so be careful because there's an enemy ship there. Oh, shit, used the wrong one. Yes, yeah, so an enemy ship there. So just be careful. You want to quickly get around that ship if you can because it will do a lot of damage to you. Get around to it so you can reach it, the Sheepinator. Throw a Groovatron. And yeah, Sheepinate it. Yes. Okay, kill the rest of the enemies in here, and we actually want to jump up. What's shooting at me? You motherfucker. Oi. Yeah. I was talking to you. But don't matter now, she's dead. Right, so up here, guys, it's the last rhino card. There it is. Da 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 da. <laughs> I'm a dick. Whee! Okay. You guys, you're the last enemies I'm going to kill in this level. Apart from the boss. Die. Die. Yes, there we go. Here's the fast travel point, guys. And through there is the boss. Right, so um, let's just fill my ammo up. Let's upgrade the Sheepinator a bit more. Yes. Nice. Right, guys. Just going, We're going to have one more little tiny cleanup. And then we're going to... Get to the last boss, level up the remaining weapons on the last boss, and then we're going to kill it and go into New Game Plus Challenge mode, and uh, I'll leave it there for that part. What? I should have split this into two parts. I may even do that yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. if you're listening to this and this part's quite short, then uh, I guess I did split it down. Um, okay, so we're going to Rilgar, guys. Yes, Rilgar. We got a last Rhino card. I didn't actually go into my inventory and show you that. So I am so, so sorry. So sorry, guys. From the bottom of my heart. For not showing you that Rhino card. But you know what I do for you? I'm going to show you that Rhino card now. Rhino card number nine that we just got in the Deep Planetizer. Yeah, the eagle has landed. Well, the um, raccoon. What, what type of animal is this ratchet? I have no idea. I never really paid any attention to what animal it is. Right, we've got Rhino card number 9. Yes, number 9. We've got every Rhino card now, guys. Right, let's go and do this. Oh, yeah. I haven't done that yet, have I? Extras, cheats, game speed, fast. Why haven't I done that yet? Oh, there we go. That's better. Oh, my God. That's probably lost, that's probably lost me about 10 minutes, I bet. Okay, so through here, guys. <laughs> Oh well. Shit. 
Yeah, sorry, sorry. I should have put fast on. Oh, look at that. Much better. Much better. When I'm talking to you, I, I do forget about the odd thing talking to you guys. But at least I think I have remembered all the trophies and everything. And the sort of best way to do some things. So, yeah, I think I'm confident with that. Right, so what we're doing, we're basically just heading through here. If you remember this from earlier in the guide, when you come down here, oh, well, the water level, you press the switch here and the water starts to raise and you have to quickly get out. And I did actually say to you back then, I said there is a gold bolt through here, um, but it's very, very tricky to get if you try to get to it while the water's raising. Um, I've said to you, I have, I've literally got like a second away from it before. So I think I could get to it if I practiced, but... It would be really, really tricky. It'd take a lot of tries. So um, we just do it the way you're meant to be. The way you're meant to do it like this. And there's a gold bolt, guys. Yes, thank you. Right, 28 out of 28. Ultimate Explorer. Yes, now we can put on invincibility. But we're just going to quit and then reload, guys, to get back to the start quicker. Yeah, it's like my um, unintentional fast travel system. Yes, uh, so you, it will just bring you back here. Yeah, so we're actually going to put invincibility now on, guys. Yeah, invincibility, it does... It it makes it so you get less weapon... Ex um, I'm going to leave normal on for a second, just for the race. So we're going to be doing the race now, by the way. Yeah, um, we actually want to head to... Uh, which one is it? Yeah, uh, no, not the race, not yet. Uh, yes, Rhino Dealer. You want to go to the Rhino Dealer? Dealer. Um, invincibility. Yeah, it reduces the ex the character XP you get. It, it doesn't completely eliminate it like the invinci uh, like the infinite ammo does with weapon XP. I think you get about 50% instead. You just get a lot less. Um, so it's not the end of the day. But don't worry about character XP because I'm going to help you with that on the new game plus. Make it really easy to max level. So here, guys, just talk to him once you've got all, ni all nine Rhino cards, and he'll give you the um, Rhino gun. Yeah, he'll give you the Rhino gun. Um, and once you've got that, we're going to head through here to where the race is. And we're going to do the race now, guys. So just let me double check I've got invincibility on. Yes, game speed normal. Yes. Right, so you need to do this in 1 minute 35. Gold cup. Right, here we go, guys. This is going to take a bit of practice. This took me a few attempts so far. Just get used to it again. So shortcuts on this doesn't really matter, guys. Shortcuts, by the way, because the shortcut on this doesn't really save you any time. You need to make sure you always land your tricks. Always try and get in as many tricks as you can. But if you think you're not going to make your last one, then don't try and do that trick. So you mess it up. Don't mess up your time. Always keep yourself boosting if you can. But try not to spam boost, otherwise you might you may waste one. Yeah, because you can sort of spam them and use them all at once and sort of waste shit. I <laughs> fuck that landing up. Yeah, always hit these boosts. Even with invincibility, it can still be quite difficult. And I guess if you are really finding this hard, then you could always put slow speed on. You know, go into speed settings in the cheats and put it on slow. <laughs> yeah, you could put it on slow motion. But I'm actually doing quite good on this run. I think. I think. Because I'm just saying that because I've got quite a lot of boost left. I don't normally have this much boost left at this point. It's normally all gone by now, my boost. Right. You've got to be careful there because if you jump too high, you can you can hit that ledge that you just... Um, just ahead of you when you landed. Yes, yeah, so you've got to be really careful there. Oh, I think I've done it. As long as I don't mess this up. Yeah, I've gone off there a few times. Oh, I've done it. Nice. Finally. <laughs> Finally, guys. I've bloody... That's taken me about eight, eight attempts. I am not kidding. Okay. I am kidding. It's probably took a little bit more than that. Probably about ten attempts. Ah, oh, finally. Faster than a speeding Emoboid, I think. Right. Let's go back to the ship and let's go in. Yeah, let's go and grind weapon XP. Can't wait. Yeah, I'll um, I'll get you settled in. I I sort of tell you the best way to do certain weapons, and um, and how to work the boss. And then um, I skip ahead, and then I will uh, 
Yeah, we'll kill the last boss and then we'll end this part, guys, just before the next playthrough. And I'd like to try and get the next playthrough all in one part, but we'll just see how it goes. Yeah, so we've got all the, um, we've got obviously all the Rhino cards, all the um, gold coins, uh, gold coins, gold bolts. And now we're going to buy the remaining weapons. You should have plenty of money at this point. Um, if you if you keep failing, well, if you do need more money, just go back to one of the races and keep doing the gold cup and winning, and that will get you quite a lot of money. I think you get you probably get like fifteen thousand a time a piece when you win gold cup. Yeah, so if you're short on cash, guys, you can't do this. Just go and do the race, right? And we're just going to warp, teleport to the core because there is a shop near the core. We're going to buy all the weapons we need. Right, so just got to get this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, so that's all the weapons for gun rack. You should get that trophy. Um, right, and what can I upgrade? Yeah, so I'm just going to save my upgrade materials for the moment, for the time being. Yeah, because the only one you really need to upgrade is then ones the um, Gloves of Doom, the Proton Drum, the... Um, yeah, Proton Drum, the Groovy Bomb, and Mr. Zircon, and the Sheepinator, but I can't really do them anymore. And the rest are maxed out, so they don't matter. Right, so um, let's go and do the boss, guys. Like I say, we're going to max out all the weapons here, so be prepared shortly for... Why is it telling me to hold out 2 I think it's because of the weapon I just bought. Yeah, so be prepared for quite a bit of grinding here, guys. It's going to take between 30 minutes and about an hour, depending on how many weapons you've leveled so far. And this is the last lock, so once you do this one, as long as you haven't auto-hacked any of the others, you should get the trophy. And I think this has glitched for some people. For some people, they don't have this um, trigger. I think that's, yeah, that's in the wrong place. Yeah, this is glitched. I've, when I've read online, some people haven't had this trophy pop for them. No, wrong one. Okay, so maybe it's that one. Yes. Yeah, some people have done this and it's not popped for them. Save cracker. So if it's not popped, that's really shit, guys. I don't know what to say if it's not popped. It's probably glitched for you. And um, you can try and get it in New Game Plus. But what I've read, all them people that didn't get it on the first playthrough when they thought they should have, they've not been able to get it. And I think they've had to restart the game. So I'm hoping you don't have to do that. Um, but first, guys, we're going to kill this guy. Um... Yep, you can't use Sheepinator on him. There's two bosses here, by the way. I actually forgot about this dude. Yeah, Sheepinator won't work on him, unfortunately. Um, so just use any weapon that you need to level up. Um, yeah, this will kill him really quick. This weapon is awesome. On with infinite ammo on, this weapon is mad. Yeah, you can keep you can keep invincibility on, guys. By the way, like I said, don't worry about your character XP. I'll sort that out on the next uh, part. And game speed fast. Yes. On game speed on fast. Yes, yeah, so this will kill him really quick. So I'm just going to do this to get rid of him quickly. Yeah. You'll occasionally do this and you have to come and destroy his disco ball. And of course, make sure... I almost bloody forgot about this. Make sure you use the Groovatron on him, guys. He yeah, has very important. I almost forgot about that. Yep. Yeah, he uses Groovatron again. Yeah, I don't mind having a little spin dance. I'm getting quite dizzy if I keep doing this. Right, time to put an end to your misery, mate. You're no longer my captain. Your back's on fire, mate. Oi, your jetpack's on fire. You watched a rocketeer before? Yes, a chewing gum came off. A change of heart. Yeah, that's a trophy for killing him. The butchin he's got there. Right, so um, this is a proper boss, Dr. Nefarious. You've got a little grind rail sequence first. But with invincibility on, you shouldn't have to worry about hitting um, them ones that can damage you. Just be ready for the grapple hooks, guys. Most of the time on this one, when there's a jump, there's a grapple hook. Like here, grapple and a grapple. Jump right, jump right. And uh, jump right again. Go down here. Over there. Grapple. Drop down. I'll keep going across here. Another grapple over there. 
Yes, jump over there. Yes. Right, so um, this is it guys. We're just going to farm basically every weapon you're going to farm on him. Basically, as soon as he appears, just use weapons on him. What I, what I like to do is I, qui I quick slot a load of weapons that I haven't fully upgraded yet. And I normally, I normally do them, I normally work on them for. I'll work on them for. And um, yeah, once I've done them for, then I'll switch it to another four. It just makes it a bit quicker because keep holding the triangle menu just to consume a bit of time. And then once it's sort of ground based, the ones that are ground based like Mrs. Zirk, uh, sorry, not Mrs. Zirk, I need flies around with you. I mean Glyphs of Doom, uh, Proton Drum, and um, yeah, well them two. What you do, when you first start a battle, he'll sort of be here. And what you can do, you can quickly lob the Groovatron down here like this when he's close. And it'll stun him. And then you can actually lob these down and they should get him cause, because he's close. But if he's not close enough to the platform, then they will not attack him and the Proton Drum will not hit him like this. And you also find, you see the Glyphs of Doom are not actually going for him at the moment. But if you, right, where's, what weapon? I'll use that one for time, I'll use that one. Yeah, when you get his health below 80%, what he does is you'll go over to the sun and then he'll come over to you and then you can then hit him with your Glyphs of Doom and your Proton Drum again. But this is why I said it's best to do this um, before because, it, like I said, it's a bit trickier with this boss and it does consume a bit more time. Yeah, there they go. See, I'll go for him now. So you can quickly just spam some of them. Yeah, it will do that a few times and once you've done it once, a few enemies will spawn like them rocket dudes over there. And uh, you can also hit them with the um, Gloves of Doom like so, yeah. Yeah, so um, as you can see, it's a bit of a pain in the ass with Gloves of Doom. If you ain't done the Gloves of Doom yet, um, it could be a bit tricky doing them because they only attack sort of enemies that are sort of on the ground. Yeah, so what you'd have to do with them is keep attacking the boss until he goes into the sun and then dives back over to you. And you want to be careful you don't kill the boss because if you kill him, you cannot do this anymore. You cannot do this anymore. So never take down all his health completely, obviously. So yeah, when he comes over to the platform after that, you can lob a Gloves of Doom down. Or you can put a Proton Drum down if you want to, and then put a Gloves of Doom down. There we go. And they'll explode on him. So yeah, I guess that bit is pretty long-winded. And then when you want to just start again, just drop down to kill yourself. And um, if you are killing him too quick, you can always go in Options, guys, and put it on hard. His health will go down much slower then. And it would just mean you made it will stop you from accidentally killing him. Yeah, so you just gotta keep doing that guys. Now in the sheepinator, obviously because it don't work on the boss, you have to use that on them robots that appear. And the robots will appear around the map when you've knocked him out for the first time. Yeah, so just keep doing that guys. As soon as you start in, use the four weapons on your um, quick slot. And to what is and to use each part. Like so I'll just show you one example and I'll leave you to it. Yeah, so then I'll switch to the next one, do the same again. Yeah, like I say, it's going to take you like 30 minutes to an hour. Right, done that one, now we do this. This one, you don't have to aim on it, you can sort of manual aim like this. And the fire one, yeah, the flame one, you have to sort of be close, obviously. So you can just use your jetpack to get near him. Yeah, and that's basically it, guys. Yeah, it's going to take you a bit of a grind, but just keep doing this, guys. And um, yeah, <laughs> I will. I will see you. At, well, I'll see you again once you've done that, and we'll finish your boss off and uh, go into New Game Plus. Right guys, I'm all, <laughs> I'm all leveled up. I'm level 5 everything. Don't worry about that space. That's where the DLC, well, pre I think it's pre-order weapons should be, the bouncer or something. Yeah, don't worry about the space. What have I turned into him for? Yeah, and I actually killed the boss by <laughs> accident. I, um, 
Let me just mate put him back onto casual. Yeah, I actually I was using the rhino just to bring his health down for the sheep so I could um get him to jump into the star and then dive back to spawn the um, robots. But I actually I've attacked him too much and um actually don't killed him. But I quickly um closed the app and um loaded the game back up and um it didn't save us from being killed so I could come back and uh, just finish off the sheep. The um sheep it was. Um, yeah, so the trophy did pop, but I'm just going to show you the trophy anyway um, once I get him killed. Going to run out of ammo here. Yeah, that rhino, the rhino is so strong, kills him so quick. So you just got to be careful with that, guys. Going to run out of ammo here. Right, let's just go and get some ammo quickly for the rhino. Yeah, on infinite ammo, the rhino is a beast. Right, so probably... Oh, no, it's damaging them this time. Right, so 1%. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, so you should have got the trophy there, guys. And um, let me just show you what trophy it should have been. So, like I said, I <laughs> accidentally um, killed him. But I restarted. I quickly closed the app and it actually worked. Luckily, yeah, this one you should have got the end of the beginning. I should have a video for it somewhere. Um, should be videos, right? No, not that one. Okay, oh, I guess because I quickly closed the app, the video didn't save. But what about these few? Um, but yeah, that's one, guys. That pops once you've killed him, the end of the beginning. The end of the beginning. And that is the end. That is the end. So the credits, just hold down on the analog skip to skip it. I know, pretty weird. No the button skips that you hold. Just hold down on the analog stick. And eventually, a skip option will appear. That's if you want to skip it. Yeah, eventually a skip option should appear. And, um, yeah, somewhere. Where is it? There we go. Skip. Yeah, you, you've unlocked challenge mode and the museum. Yes, yeah, so a challenge mode, basically new game plus, and you have to complete challenge mode. And challenge mode, it also lets you upgrade your weapons to level 10 now. So all that grinding we just did, we're going to have to do it again, sort off in the next playthrough, unfortunately. But it's going to be so much quicker because we've got all our weapons. We don't have to collect everything. We can just quickly zoom through the game. And we're going to do a quick glitch at the start to get tons of money to buy all the, all the sort of upgraded weapons so sort of upgraded weapons in the shops you can buy and uh, that's how we do it i'll just show you what trophies you should have guys at this point just make sure we're on check so i've got 38 out of 47 trophies just make sure we're all on a trap before we go into new game and if i go into not earned so this is what we haven't got so far so obviously platinum collect every hollow card we haven't got that complete the game in challenge mode that's obviously new game plus upgrade every weapon to max you can't do that yet until you go into challenge Unlock every modification. That's the same. Connected to upgrading the weapons. Upgrade Ratchet's health. You can't do that to New Game Plus as well. Upgrade one weapon to max. Obviously New Game Plus. Use the Groovatron on every enemy. Obviously New Game Plus. And um, reach the maximum bolt um, multiplier. That will be New Game Plus as well, guys. So all this, we'll do that in New Game Plus. So um, don't worry too much about it. But yeah, that's a guide, guys. You know what? I'm thinking I'm, I, I can't remember if I used a Groovatron on the last boss. <laughs> damn. Damn. Well, we have to go through the game anyway, so it don't really matter. Yeah. You, the Groovatron, by the way, you should get that probably within the first few worlds on New Game Plus. But if you've missed any enemies, obviously, you just make sure you hit everyone on the way through. Um, but yeah, that's what we should have left, guys. Um, nine trophies left. Ratchet and Clank, and once you get into the next part, guys, we'll go through challenge mode, and I'll try and squeeze that all into one part. Obviously, I'll edit out the grinding, which we have to do, and the, the um, time the glitch takes. Glitch don't take long, about 20 minutes. We're going into challenge mode now, so let's go straight into it, casual. Yes, this is the last playthrough. We've just got to get through the game really quickly, and then we're done. Use Groovatron on a few enemies along the way, do a glitch at the start, and... That'll be it. So uh, yeah, first of all, in the fairgrounds, just got to do this um, tutorial level first. Yeah, this glitch will be doing it on the second world, guys, and it'll take you about it'll take you about 20 minutes to <laughs> get literally about six million bolts. 
Yeah, it's really quick glitch. So and we're just heading straight through this level as fast as we can. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this done in one part. I'd love to get this game finished now in this part you're watching. Uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see how it goes. Um, it, I know it's going to be between one and two hours. Maybe just over two. I mean, hopefully I can get it closer to one hour. I'll cut out, obviously, the the bit of a glitch. Which takes Once we get the glitch going, I'll cut out the sort of farming aspect of it. And um, obviously the weapon grinding. Yeah, we have to weapon grind again. Again, we've got to do it all again because in this one you can get sort of by upgraded versions of your weapons and it lets you it lets you upgrade them to level 10 which will be the maximum level and you'll get a trophy for getting every weapon to level 10. But they cost a lot to buy and obviously it means we have to do that grinding again but it should be a lot quicker this time. What we'll try and do, we'll try and use weapons as we go through the game. I won't be pausing to um, sort of pausing to defeat enemies which you don't have to. I'll just sort of shoot my weapon as we go along so it's sort of not wasting too much time so blow stuff up yeah why not okay sounds like a plan so Groovatron yeah you can see these weapons okay it's asking me to do this again <laughs> don't quite know why tutorializer yeah so we can upgrade all these again and yeah, it's telling you here how to get the Omega weapons. Look how much they are. One million. One million. So you can imagine that five million is going to come in really handy. Well, I'm going to use Groovatron here just in case we haven't got these enemies. We likely have, but um, can't hurt, can it? Right, another door to blow up. Right, let's kill him. Oh, completely <laughs> missed there. Right, so uh, on here, over to the um, training area, guys. And, uh, yeah, so there's not really any point at, at this moment in time. What am I doing? Yeah, so here we are. Bit of a cut there because I fell to my doom. Because I was looking off screen for a second. And I walked off the elevator. Right, so quickly kill these as fast as you can. I'm just going to use the Rhino. This weapon is awesome. Oh yeah, and of course the cheats. We can put the cheats on for a minute. Fast. Yes. Infant ammo doesn't... Yeah, you don't get weapon XP, but for, for the time being, guys, obviously... We can't level up any weapons anymore because they're at max level. So I'm just quickly going to get all these enemies killed. Oh, we've done it. Right, Clank. Playing as Clank again. Yeah, he's got to do all these Clank moments yet again. Right, come on, Clank. Warbot Factory. Let's get you out of here, mate. And into the arms of lovely Ratchet. I'll make it out of here alive. Trust me. Right, so switch on the wall into the doorway. Let's grab a little bomb and lob it at the vents. To survive, I must lob a bomb at anything. Don't seem too bad. There you go, lobbed it at the vents. Right, here we are, guys, back as a clank. Here we are, Galvatron's back in the house. Obviously, did not let him catch up with you. <laughs> you know what you know what you're doing by now. Yeah, I can't remember how many times you play as clank. Is it two times? Three. It's three times, definitely. I can't remember if there's a fourth time or not. I think it's three times, isn't it? Right, so once you get to the end here, grab the bomb quickly in the vent. I've really got to pick up my speed here. Right, lob that. Lob it there. No, not the door. Wrong thing. You need to go to generator. Sorry, buddy, but you're not coming with me. 
Grab that, grab that. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my pension for storytelling. I hate the grabbing mechanics in this. It's so clunky. Clanks. <laughs> Clanks clunky mechanics. No, I'm not trying to make a pun. His mechanics are clunky. Right, bomb. Yes, let's do this. See, the gold bolt's not there because we've already collected it. Yeah, gold bolts will not appear. Anything you've already collected in a new game, they will not appear in this challenge mode. You think you can run from me? Not that road again. Right, so this is last bit. Just got to outrun him now. Pretty easy. Missed. There's not a boss on um uh, there's no boss on this world. We just got that uh enemy carrier to defeat at the end and a few robots to jump out. And then we'll be going into Oh it's Novalis. Yeah Novalis will be after this and that's where we do the glitch, Novalis. Right, we're almost there. Yes, bomb, exit, let's go. Veldin. These green slimes, we need to Groovatron them. Because I don't think you I don't think you encounter them anywhere else in the game, so I don't think we've actually um Yes, I don't think we've actually Groovatron them yet. I don't think I left it on. Did I? No. No, I didn't. No, I didn't leave, a right, hang on. leave it on in the garage. Yeah, make them dance. Right, let's get through this. Can't try and press R1, but we can't do that at the moment because we don't have the, um, we don't have the abilities yet. Right, you can dance. We're on, we've are on. we got infinite ammo on, so um, we can just lob these everywhere. Right through here and over here you have to kill that first um that warship that appears. There it is. Oh well, that's easy enough. <laughs> Rhino is awesome. Yes, yeah, correct, Ratchet. Right, Rhino come to me, yes. Oh, where's that drop shit? Oh, there it is. They had a dance. I don't know. No, I think we have encountered them robots, but um, I gave them the feel of the music. Let them feel the beat just to make sure. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I Groovatron the last boss. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that trophy until right at the end of the game. I think on the last boss, I was too, I was too into the routine of um, explaining the best way to um, grind your weapons there, and I just completely forgot to actually lob a Groovatron down. I did lob one down because we, I want to show you just how to use the um, proton drums, but I don't think it actually made him boogie. I don't think. Right, so here we are, guys, back on Novalis. Right, let's just do the first objective first. And uh, then we'll, we'll go and do the glitch. And then I'll leave you be for about 20 minutes. Yeah, it'll take about 20 minutes to um, max out everything. We'll be maxing out level, um, money, and raritarium. Yes, and raritarium. So I actually need to use my Groovatron here. Yeah, so use Groovatron on them. These flies are through here. And especially that enemy. See that enemy in the corner? That yellow one in the corner there. Make sure you use Groovatron on him. Because I don't think we've encountered them anywhere else. Yeah, them enemies. I don't think you encounter them anywhere else in this level. That little tiny yellow robot. And there's just little yellow flies as well. But I'll um, get them up here.
I guess if if you have Groovatron to every enemy so far, these may be the last enemies. Um, maybe. There's one or two enemies on the next world that count, I think. So um, it may not be until the next world. Right, skip this. Quickly. Jump down there and water slide. And go and do this glitch. Once we've um, <laughs> dried ourselves, shook it off. That's it, shake it off. And let's go down here. Yes, it is. Okay, I'll take it. I was tempted to leave it, but um, I couldn't resist. Right, so let's use Groovetron a bit. Right, so first of all, guys, I just head along the bridge and start the cutscene. Um, because some people have said, what I've read on the internet is, some people have said this this warship hasn't appeared for them. But if I, if you start this cutscene first through here and then go back and do it, it always seems to have spawned the warship. So um, yeah, just get his cutscene first. It's unskippable. Yeah, there's the mayor's ship. We'll just leave it for a minute though. Agnog, a book wash. Don't worry, just hold on, Mayor. We'll be back in a second. Right, so then we just head back over here. Yeah, I think you'd have to do so much of grinding to um, get this done without this glitch. Like, literally loads of grinding. Right, so guys, we're here on the map. You need to sort of jump over here. Then when you land in here, turn around and hold X. Yeah, turn around and hold X. I'll just show you one more time. So double jump, come into this little flower bed thing. Double jump into this corner. When you land, turn around and hold X. And you should launch very high in the air and land on top of that little um, sort of canopy there. And then come over here. Now walk only where I go, guys. If You, you can very easily fall out of the map here, so be very careful. Up here, jump up this rock. Yes, as I can say, you can very easily fall out of the map. If you do fall out of the map, just obviously get yourself killed. So back here again. Well, I guess at least you've seen what happens if you fall out of the map and how easy it can happen. So double jump up here again, turn around, hold X. You'll launch high into the air. You need to hold X, otherwise you will not bounce high enough. Over here, just make sure you walk. try and walk where I walk. Double jump up this rock here. You will get up there, just keep trying guys. There we go, and then up here, double jump, and then up here, double jump. There we go. And once you're up here, guys, try to run where I'm running. It's not got to be precise, but more or less, just try and run in a sort of line where I am. Otherwise, if you stray too far to the left or to the right, you're probably going to fall out of the map. But just head in all the way around here, over here, and jump onto these rocks. Come along this rock, drop down, around this tree. Along here, sort of to this tree, turn right, keep more to the left if you can, like this. Keep to the left here. If you go too far right, there's like a lot of blank space that so you just fall through the map. Up here, jump up these rocks. Over here. That's it, keep going on onto this sort of roof, this glass roof type thing. Keep coming along here. Over here, jump to the left of these rocks come around them onto this bit of grass and uh, it is grass <laughs> I know it just looks like sort of green play-doh right and you see that ship there quickly destroy it and here you go guys this is the glitch this is a glitch so make sure you've got invincibility turned off now keep infinite ammo on but turn off invincibility so you get you get more so your XP levels up quicker, your character XP. And uh, you just want to keep doing this now until you max level, guys. Yeah, just keep doing this until you max level. You need about 6 million bolts, about 6 million bolts. It's 5 or 6. And you need probably three or 400 raritarium, probably a bit more. But if you just keep doing this until you get max level, which you'll know because you'll have 200 health, you should have enough 
by the time we get to max level you should have enough of everything and just look on the top right you can see all your bolts going up on the left there's a times seven times eight that goes up each time well when you kill enemies without taking damage once that gets to times 20 you'll get a trophy guys yeah once that gets to times 20 and we're actually getting cards as well and what you can do just slowly as you're doing this you can go into your card menu and keep purchasing new cards with your duplicates and this will help us complete the card set as well because we also need to complete the card set during this glitch guys there yeah, we also need to complete the card set yeah you'll need to use the rhino weapon to do this infinite ammo and obviously when it'll fast speed invincibility off yeah, so first of all, you want to try and all these card sets at the bottom, from the bottom upwards, they're all weapons. They give you like a weapon um, a weapon improvement. But you want to do the ones from the top first because they normally give you like a bolt multiplier or like a rarity multiplier. And that will just help with this grinding, guys. So as you, as you see, that one gives you plus 5% chance of cards dropping. I'll get this one now as well. That one gives you plus five percent of rare return. So always do the ones from the, from the top downwards first of all, guys. So you get all them little the modifiers for the bolts and stuff, and then you can do the weapon ones afterwards. But yeah, just keep going into your card collection, guys, and um, purchasing new cards when you've been doing this for a few minutes. So yeah, just keep doing this, guys, until you've got 200 XP, until you've got about five or six million bolts, and like I say, about 400 rare return, and obviously you completed every single card set. You'll get a few trophies along the way. What I'll do, I sort of, I'm going to cut this in a second to when we've about done it, and I'll sort of edit in all the trophies along there, guys, as we're doing this. Yeah, if the ship doesn't spawn, guys, just wait a few minutes, because if you miss them, it will normally do sort of a circuit of its sort of um, intended lap, and then it will spawn in again. So yeah, just wait a minute if the ship don't spawn, and then it will spawn eventually. Yeah, so um, that's it, guys. <laughs> Stop here. Clean these enemies. Yes, yeah, so that's a trophy, guys. Cha ching for getting times 20 the maximum of your bolt multiplier. So you should get that just while you're doing this glitch. And that's the trophy for guys for getting every single card. So I've completed every card set now. And that one is done. So that's all the cards done, guys. Back to the grinding. Never, ever did you think you'd be so happy to have nuts and bolts raining down upon yourself. Look at this. Glorious, right? Yes, yeah, so that's a card trophy, guys. Um, back to grinding. So get to max level. And then you should have about enough. About the time it takes you to get max level, you should have enough bolts and raritarium to move on to the next part. I've tried this with all the different weapons. And... Um, there's one or two which can still kill it, but Rhino's the most effective. I also thought this could be a good spot to um, level your weapons, but it's it's too tricky. Most weapons don't kill it in time and it gets a chance to fly away. And then you're waiting a few minutes for it to respawn. So you can't really use this as a spot to level up weapons quickly, unfortunately. It'd be good for the sheep gun, but um, the sheep gun doesn't even hit it. I'm not sure why. Maybe because you're out of the map. And there we are guys, max level, Mr. Fancy Pants trophy. Now, I've got, how much, but there we go, uh, just over 5 million bolts and um, 660 raritarium. So, that should be enough. Just go and kill yourself after. <laughs> That's it, just kill yourself. So, because we're max level now, we can also put on invincibility. Because we don't need that on no more. Um, well, because we don't need to get XP no more in max level. So you can actually keep invincibility on now for the rest of the game. Yeah, but you want to turn infin infinite ammo off because you still need weapon XP. So what we're going to do now is just going to quickly buy all the Omega weapons and then max upgrade everything. And uh, you should be able, be able to find then exactly how much bolts we needed and raritarium. But 5.3 million and 660 raritarium should be enough. So come over to the vendor. As long as you've got every card set as well, all these should be unlocked and every weapon is at weapon 5. So quickly buy all these weapons, guys. So 1.6 million I've got left. 1.6 million. 
Yeah, so 1.6 million. So I needed what about just under 4 million, I think it was. And now you want to upgrade every weapon, guys. So upgrade every weapon to the full. You should be able to, you should have another Rotarium. Yeah, so just upgrade every weapon, guys, to max. And I'll see you in a second. Right, last one, guys, last one. They made this quite tedious, didn't they? It is pretty cool that they're the sort of shape of the weapon. So once done, this will be maximally maxed out. And you should get a trophy for max upgrading every single weapon. Yes, there we go. These go to E11. And now you've got all the Omega weapons and they're all max upgraded. It should make it quicker to um, uh, farm the weapon XP, guys. Right, and we're good. So how much did we use all together? How much um, Rarotarium? So I've got 133 left. So it takes about 530 Rarotarium and just under 4, uh, 4 million bolts. Right, let's go and do this then, guys. So, um... Obviously, I need to make sure the weapons you want to be using, you want to be, we're going to try and upgrade weapons as we go along, um, but you want to be using the, where is it? Yeah, the Proton Drum and the Gloves of Doom first, just because they're the ones that are more tricky at the end of the game, as you remember. So, Gloves of Doom, guys, Proton Drum and Mrs. Zircon, they're the ones you want to try and upgrade first as you go along, and then after that, Sheepinator. And once you've done them, they don't really matter because obviously we'll do the rest on the last boss. Um, but yeah, just try and do them as you go along. But like I say, Gloves of Doom first, Protodrum, Mrs. Zircon, Cheapinator, and um, then anything else after that. Anything will be fair game. Right, so got quickly rescued Mayor Bookwash. So yeah, it's, it's nice. Yes, level 7 already. Nice that you've got the Mega Weapons and you've max upgraded them. Because it means you'll kill we uh, enemies a lot quicker. And obviously you want to keep Groovatron and enemies that you haven't Groovatroned yet. Is that all of them? Have we rescued him? I think we have. Come on, Agnog Bookwash. Safe to come out now. Right, defend the planet. Yeah, Skid McMarks. Let's go and rescue him. Let's go and take him a clean pair of underpants. Right, here we go. Enter ship. Yeah, let's go, guys. So, we've just got the trophy for max up um, Kawan first. We've just got a trophy for max upgrading our weapons. Um, max molt, uh, bolt multiplier. Every single card. And for hitting, uh, for reaching max health as well. So yes, we've got this first. Because you've got invincibility on as well, you, you will not be able to take damage with your damage here, which is great. You can actually use infinite ammo on some of these as well. Um, it probably won't work on this one just because you have to... Yeah. Probably won't work on this one because you have to pick up the ships. I don't think I've tried it on this one before. The ones where you get the missiles by killing the other ships, the smaller ones, it normally works on that infinite ammo. But I don't think it'll work on this one just because you have to like magnetize the robots. Right, so I'm just going to wait for the warbot to appear. Oh, there it is. And then we've got to get rid of all the smaller ships, if you remember. All the smaller ships, right, they'll spawn in a second. Wait for it. Oh, here we go. Alright, it's one down. Whoever's doing heroic things up there, this is our <laughs> it's me. It's me, I'm the heroic one here. Right, three left. Yeah, I can count me. Oh, you... Lucky. You lucky... thing. Okay, yes, I know. They've laid camera angles on this. Really annoying. Too many buildings in the way. Why do they do this? Okay, let's... That one. That one. Right, one more. The one that got away. I will catch you. Got him. Got him. Right, just got to magnetise the warbots now. Right, so once you get the magnetise ability, just hold triangle. 
I wonder what they're doing the next uh, the next Ratchet and Clank. Are they going to have all these sort of ship stages awesome. again in that? I don't know what to see. I know they've got that new ability, so you can sort of enter a different dimension, sort of. So uh, we'll see. We will see a rift apart. Coming to PS5 this year. Just a shame that it's like <laughs> it's like 70 pound or something. PS5 games are such a ripoff. Right, it's magnetised all of these and then lob them at the ship. Right, there we go. There's 10. Release? No. Unfortunately, inf um, infinite ammo doesn't work on that. Right. There we go. Max again. Back of the ship. If I get close enough. Flying warbots coming at you. Right. Just get a few more. Twelve percent health. There we go. One more hit. You're dead. Right, let's turn off that infinite ammo before I forget. That's it, we've taken down the warship. One down, about 3,443 to go. Right, Kawan. Yeah, let's do this. So, Groovatron, make sure we've got that ready. Because these dogs, we did encounter some dogs on um, the planetizer, some sort of dog type robots. But they're slight, they look slightly different. Yeah, they do look slightly different, so I'm not sure they count as a different enemy type. Right, so I'm just moving along. I'm just going to spam these as we go along. My um, little gloves are doing my little minions here. Attack. Lob some more down. Ah, there's the... Um, Oh, level up Groover Bomb already. Hey, Ratchet, are you at Al's place yet? Not yet, I'm, but I'm making my way there fast. I'll be there pronto. Yes, yeah, so you need to kill all the enemies here. Because otherwise it will not let you progress. Right, so I'm just going to sheepinate him. I won't. <laughs> I wasn't even close enough. Right. Yes, done. Good. Let's activate that. So now we've got a little helicopter, a little gadget copter here. Right, so try and get all these done really fast now, these levels. We've done all the, um, we've got all the um, weapons upgraded, just need to max them. Got health done, got um, cards done. Oh no, great. <laughs> Idiot, come back down. I've got much ammo left for this. Yeah, one way you burn the train. On the train, there's like a, a tentacled enemy. I'm not entirely sure they count. Um, but we'll probably... I mean, I will groove tron them anyway. Just to be safe. Alright, what's going on here? You can't kill me, guys. We've got inv invincibility on. But I'll let you try. Here comes the A train. Here it comes. Right, let's just get straight across that train quickly. Right, let's go. Well, I'm going to have to <laughs> select some weapon here to detonate that. Ah, a little goat. Oh no. Yeah, idiot. Do not drop down. That spawned me just past it. It's not too bad. I'll leave that one in. Right, they have a little boogie. I'll leave them doing that. Right, yeah, this fish in here, so it's the next one, that tentacle. You can actually make them tentacles boogie, so um, we are going to use Groovetron on them. It just to be on the safe side. 
Yeah, there you go. You can make him dance. They're going to get up here. Right, sheep and ate him. You've got to kill this one anyway because it will explode into the boxes ahead of you and re reveal the path. Right, but we're about, we're about done it now. This train part. Let's just go and uh, activate this. Right, there we go. I don't, you know what? I don't think I did Groovatron on the last boss, so I think that's why I'm not going to pop the trophy. But what what's normally happened for me in previous run-throughs, I've always popped it on the flamethrower guys in um, Iridia. So um, you could possibly get it there. If, as long as you've Groovatroned every enemy so far. Right, so here we go, fitness course. Yeah, I wonder if you guys um, managed to do this first time, you know, in uh, 70, is it 70 seconds you get a trophy? Yeah, so obviously if you do this in a certain time, you get a trophy for it. Oh no. Oh no. It's all gone pe pe tong for Ratchet. He's buckled under the pressure. Oh, and again he has... Oh, bloody great. Sorry. Sorry about this, guys. I'm a bit rusty. Right, let's do this. Come on. I can do this obstacle course. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> I tried I tried to get up there before the walls went back in. Couldn't do it. Definitely not going to do it here. Why, thank you. What prize? There's nothing there. Right, back in the taxi. No, rat shit. You complete. <laughs> oh my gosh, really. Imagine if I started right back at the start of the fitness course. Right, so a uh, taxi. Um, take me. Take me back to my ship, please, sir. Meet me outside the Hall of Heroes. I have an assignment for you. Right, so Iridia next. And, um, yeah, Iridia. We talked to him, Captain Quartz, first. Is that his name? I can never remember his name. There we go. Yeah, let's fly. Right, let's go to, um, yeah, let's go to Iridia. Right, so, yeah, I'm hoping the trophy pops for me on the flamethrower enemies. But I'm sure I remember getting them earlier. I'm sure I remember um, making them dance earlier in the in the first playthrough. I'm sure I remember that. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Well, let's um, rescue Skid Marks first. Skid Marks. Right and um Wait, is that skid marks up ahead? Yeah, skid marks. Hey my man. Right, so here we go. Yeah, so I best Groovatron these, I guess. I think I have Groovatron them. Oh I've got no Groovatrons left. Um Damn. Right, that should take care of them. Oh, he's dancing. No, <laughs> I'm getting through this ammo pretty quick, aren't I? I'll leave that there. That should kill all them. I'm hoping. What's going on? I think I'm swimming in on an enemy. Oh, what? What happened to these? Killed all them. They must have all died from proton drum, I guess. How come all these died? Right, um, so there's no plant here, I'm not going to use that just yet. Let's lob that down. Right, there's the plant, Groovatron. 
Right, sheepinator time. Oh, there we go. Did it, guys. Got all the sun sharks. I've got more goats in my flock now. We'll be taking over these pastures in no time. Right, let's just get some more ammo back. Right, yeah, so if you've grew with every enemy so far, these flamethrower guys may be your last one. Oh, it is. Oh, I did do the last boss. Great. Death by Disco. We did it, guys. I don't have to worry about bloody Disco Boy no more. Right, so let's switch that out for Mrs. Zircon. Thank goodness for that. So all I've got to do now is um, level up my... Um, sort of ground my floor weaponry, I guess. Yeah, so we've got Death by Disco. Nice, don't have to worry about making everything dance to the beat no more. Oh, you too. See you tomorrow. Right, so going up these grappling hooks quickly. Come on, Glatch, uh, Glatch it. <laughs> Glatch it. Yeah, so I don't have to Groovatron anything no more. So um, that's good. Don't have to worry about Groovatron every single bloody enemy would pass. I wish there was a tracker for that. And is it just me or is... Um, you know the trackers on the PS5 games? A lot of games I'm seeing going... A lot of trophies I see go up lately. They don't seem to be having trackers on them. There's so many trophies, trophies like um, collect 50 of these. But there's no trackers on the um, trophy list. Um... So I think that that tracker thing, yeah, I think Sony have implemented it on the trophy list, but I think it's optional if um, developers actually want to utilise the tracker system. So yeah, just because there's tracker list on the trophy list, um, a tracker sort of feature on the trophy list now, I don't think it guarantees that there's going to be a, a actual tracker on that game in question, which is a bit annoying, quite a bit annoying. Yes, yeah, so that's one thing I'm most looking forward to having tracker on every game. But yeah, it seems not every game is going to have trackers, which is really annoying. So um, yeah, just something we're going to have to live. <laughs> something I'm going to have to live with for the time being. Yeah, like Mortal Shell, for example. They say I think that the upgrade just come out flat. The upgrade, PS5 upgrade, and there's a trophy for um, collecting every every item, sort of every unique item, and there should be a tracker for that, say for example there's 80 items, there should be a tracker, but there's no track on the trophy list, so um, yeah, I hope games don't keep doing this. Right, so we've got to just kill a few enemies, and then he'll call in reinforcements. Yeah, it come more. Right, a warship there. Can't actually destroy that warship, I don't think. Right, let's get rid of that. Helicopter. Right, I think we've done it, guys. No? Oh, no, still going. Really? If I was sure I'd have flown away by now, your ship's on fire. Fuel tank can explode any minute now. Right, so, um, killed him with a Gotonator. You're safe, buddy. Right, so that's Iridia done, guys. All in a day's work. That time again to go to a different planet. Wow, we just saved a celebrity. I want to check out really? Probably. Celebrity? Okay. Well, whatever. Um, okay, so next, guys, we're going to Rilgar because we need to get a trespasser. So Rilgar first, so we can get a trespasser. And there's going to be a lot of optional things, guys, that I'm not going to do because you just don't need to do them when you. Um, just try and get through it quick like for getting the o like getting the O2 mask for example you don't actually need to do that yeah you don't actually need that O2 mask to um, complete the game so we'll be leaving that and here yeah you don't have to do the hoverboard event either so we don't have to go and do that right so um, let's just get to, um, what am I doing? There we go. Yeah, let's just get to, what's his face? Rhino dealer. And get a trespasser. So we can uh, move on to the next, the next place. 
new McMark's hoverboard I want to try out. Don't know why I did that. <laughs> I don't think you actually have to do it on that one. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. Yeah. You can just go straight across there. Right. Can I actually use that on these? I don't know. Right. So through here. Through here. You need to lower the water level here, I think. Probably got a weapon that I can actually get there with it, with by lobbing it through the water. But then we'll just do it this way. Right, so, um, alright, there we go. Let's go back up and activate the water again. Okay, so there's that slime. What happened? Oh, I thought I was going to glitch out the map then. Right, let's um, enable the water level trace. Right, let's go for it. Yeah, good idea. Clank. Well, I'm just going to keep lobbing my Glyphs of Doom down along the way to kill these slimes. Got none left. Switch to the proton drum. Right, and we're about out. We're about done it. Quick. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that's close. Right. Um. Oh, here we go. It was extremely. Well, it's going to get a trespasser. This is a nice, quick level, I guess, um, because you don't have to do the optional, the optional stuff. This place looks like right, there he is. Better keep our eyes peeled. I see. And as long as you've got a safe cracker trophy, guys, for um, activating, solving every trespasser lock puzzle yourself without using auto hack, you can just auto hack everyone from now on. Obviously, assuming you've got a safe cracker trophy. So yeah, let's auto hack it. I've got a trophy. Right, so um, that's all we need to do here. Yeah, that's all we need to do, guys. So let's go back to the ship and move on to the next world. Yeah, on the next one, there's. I think to get the Magni boots is optional, but you actually have to get it because you won't be able to progress on a uh, on a later level. I think it's Bata Batalia. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to progress on Battalia without the Magni Boots. So you do need the Magni Boots for Battalia. Right, so let's go to Nebula G34. Journey outside the airlock. Oh no, it is, it's not optional. I'm thinking about the... Um, I'm thinking about the Predator. Getting the Predator is optional. Right, so let's do rat, let's do um, Clank's part first. That's the worst part. Get the worst part out of the way. Right, so where is Ratchet? Where's Clanks? Is it, is it that one there? Or is it the other side? Send Clank. Yes, let's send him to explore. Go and get me their Magni Boots, Clank, my friend. Oh, hey, I'm just a little robot. I can do this. You got this, Clank. Gadget bot, yes. Yes, you stay there. Give me the chip. Upgrade chip. Upgrade complete. I can now hack vending machines. Right, where am I? That's it, love that there. Hey, bridge bot. Way up to you, man. Do me a favor, make me a bridge. Oh, thank you. Right, bridge, please. No. Oh, yes. Good job. Impressive. Yeah, why place Ratchet when Clank can kill everything first time? Right, Bridge. Bridge, come to me. Right, Jenny. Yes. Is that... No, I was going to say, is that it for this part? I couldn't remember. Right, 
Lobby, you there? Picky, back up. Come here. Turn into electric thing, my friend. There you go. It's electrifying in this room. Yes. Give that generator some shock treatment. You do the same for this one. Right, there we are, the Magna Boots. There they are. There they are. You're welcome, Ratchet. Oh, why did that appear before? Come oh, bloody Ratchet. big asteroid was about to hit it. A pair of Magna Boots. Returning to your position now. Awesome. I always wanted a pair of Magna Boots. Good work, pal. See you in a bit. You're welcome, Ratchet. Return to Ratchet. Yes, please. You're welcome. Yes, Magni Boots. Right, let's go and do this. I'm invincible, that's my status. Right. Auto hack. Yes. Go, 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 go. Get through there. Watch out for the poison. No, actually, let's not watch out for it. We're invincible. Right, Gloves of Doom are ready. Hello, frogs. It's going to take a long time to level these. I've got a feeling. Don't need to go in there, so that's just a Rhino card. Grapple, yes. More frogs. Ribbit. Thank you, Doom Gluffs. Yes, get through this nice and quick, I think. Using Glyphs of Doom along the way. I was going to keep using these Glyphs of Doom guys until they're max level. I know they're out now. I know I've got two. Here, we just got to press that switch at the top. Well, that switch there and this switch. There we go. Right, Proton Drum. Oh, yeah, I need to press that switch now. Yeah, right, another Proton Drum. Can't see anything. <laughs> I just can't see anything. That's the only problem. I can't see anything like this. Bloody hell, this has mad, a mad range. This proton drum has a big range. I didn't realise the range is so big. Right, max ammo. Hack. This terminal auto hack. Yeah, I don't care. I forgot the trophy. Right, let's go fight. Is it Blog, Snaggle Beast? Wait, let's. Um, Let's make him boogie, let's hold him in place for the time being. Nice, level up guys, sweet. Right, so where's the frogs? Oh here they come. Oh, where is he? Oh, here he is. Okay, let's just stun him in place for a minute. Uh, pro and drum. Yes. And Glyphs of Doom, do your thing, guys. 1%. You're joking. He really had to, he had to jump in the lava one more time. Really. Dead now, mate. Go finish him off, guys. No, where are you going? He's there. Oh, <laughs> oh, you did already. Right, so, um, yeah, that's him done, guys. Right, let's go back to the ship. Return to the station hub. Yes. Okay, let's go on the slowest ship ever. A like a um, evacu evacuation ship, which has no speed to it, it just floats in space until you get rescued. Yeah, that's it. Just take your time. We're not trying to get through this quickly. Finally. Yes, back at the ship. Enter ship. Right, Clank, where to next, buddy? Planet Gaspar, please. Okay. 
Your wish is my command, let's go. Nice reverse in there, I like it. What are we? Is that in an asteroid belt or something? Planet gas bar. Jetpack time. But we're not going to mess about, we're going to get straight through this. We don't have to do all that. Well, we've still got to get all the brains. But the brains will... If you notice, everything's on the map, guys, because you've still got the map o -matic from New Game. Yeah, you've still got the map o -matic. Yeah, so there's all your brains. Your brains are all over this map, guys. Right. Let's go and get these brains. Get off there. Yeah, so you actually have to take over the turret in order to destroy them. Right, this is cool. I know a lot of people don't like speedruns, do you guys? I know a lot of you don't really like speedruns. But I, I do sort of like it when you haven't got a, when you can just... I wouldn't say take, I mean, I'm saying when you can take your time. It's not really speedrun if you're taking your time. But I mean when you're sort of re speeding through it, but you've not got a, a time that you have to um, try and reach. You know, so if it's not perfect, you're not really penalised. Yeah. Right. I don't know if that's going to take them out, the Glyphs of Doom, but I sent the Glyphs of Doom down there. Right. No Glyphs of Doom left, so let's switch to Proton Drum. Let's go. Oh yes, level 8. Who's that? He's <laughs> fucking screaming the head off. I love it there, so it gets the um, yeah, guy. Let's destroy that now, get a turret. Get the grind boots now as well. Right, let's go and do this. Have I got any glyphs of doom left? Left, yes, I have. Right, here comes the warship. Let's turn that into a sh uh, goat. Oh, where did it go? <laughs> turn into a goat. Have you ever seen a ship transform into a goat before? Well, now you have. Okay. Is that it? Oh, I've got to press the three switches. I know this. Do you know why I know this? I've done it before. Beep. Yes. Cool, grindy. Yeah, I like to do some grinding. Yeah, let's go and do some grinding. I love a bit of grinding. A bit of tedious grinding. Right, so let's head over to Mr. Jetpack. Can't remember his name now. Is this a guy who looks like a dentist, but it's actually a scientist? Oh no, that's on the um, that's on the water level, isn't it? Right, let's max ammo. Yes, obviously you don't need to spend any money anymore, so you can always max ammo. Invincibility will not work on the barriers, guys. It only works on the sort of little, the little electrified sort of fences you pass through, and that all them balls that you can press square to attack. Yeah, invincibility like this, I could just sit through it. Yeah, come on, is that what you got? Yeah, that's it, just sit through them. Right, Gloves of Doom. Get rid of them. Sand Sharks, Gloves of Doom. Right, there he is. Oh, you know who I am. I'm Ratchet, and I'm Glank. Yes. Oh, I forgot a brain. Got that brain, guys. This is disgusting. You got one. Nice one. Yes, I did. I'm just going to tap these brains with square, so I ain't got to keep switching weapons. Right, that one, yes. That brain. That brain. I mean, you need 10 brains now, but in total, you need 30. So if you can, if you can manage to get 30 now, it means you will not have to come back here and keep looking for... Shit, did I just waste them? Sorry, guys. I lobbed them into the lava. Whoa! Oh, Ratchet, that was close, my, my man. Right up here, let's go and kill that brain. 
No, what am I doing? Oh, that was close. We've got to press grapple. I'm going to sheepinate this guy here. Is that reaching in? I don't think it is, is it? Or he or just can't do what? No, it is. You can see. I think it is working on him. No, it isn't. Look at his health. 97%. Okay. Um, Mr. Zircon. And I'm also going to use the... Um, where is it? Yes. Rhino Extreme. Okay, that was easy. There's a brain up there, I think, as well. Um, maybe if I come over here, we can actually see it. No, okay, we'll leave it. I was going to lob a grenade up there. Oh, we'll leave it. Yeah, never mind. Right. Gloves of Doom again. Right, we've got enough. Let's head across. We'll get. We'll just get a few more of the jetpack, I think. Right, let's max my ammo quickly. Right, let's go and get his jetpack. Well, at least he's true to his word. I will give him that. Right, I need... <laughs> I need 16 brains. Right, where's this rhino? We'll call Mr. Zircon again, actually. Right, let's send brains. Gloves of Doom. No, that's a proton drum, sorry. There's another one there. Okay, we'll kill that. We'll kill that um, brain thing. Yeah, it's different one to the one on the water level. This one hasn't got like a protect protected sort of shell at the front of its brain. So I think this does count as a different enemy. Right, then that one. Um, back to Apocalypse Glove. Glove. Right, I don't need many more brains. Yeah, just basically just keep coming around the map, guys, getting these brains. And if you don't know where any are, just go on there. But um, you should be able to find these brains. Oh, I've got no fuel left. Where's the fuel? Oh, there we go. So how many brains do I need? Six. Six brains. Um, I've missed about five by the looks of it. Oh, let's just, um, let's just kill that quickly. EC, nice and easy. Get that right, and let's get them two brains over there. Alright, we're good. What? I didn't destroy the brain. I just lobbed a grenade right next to them brains. Okay. There's one up there. There was a few on the way back. There we go, we got 20 brains. Let's go, guys. I'm coming. Oh, sh we're not a fuel. Right, there we are, didn't it? You don't need to do the full set again, guys, because that is optional. It just gets you that um, that crappy weapon, box breaker or something. I've no idea what the point of that weapon is, box breaker. It basically makes it so your jumping attack does like uh, some form of a shock wave and it collects more bolts for you but it's pointless I don't know maybe there was a use for it at some point during development but um, I guess with a glitch don't really matter right Battaglia right we're getting through this I think we're getting through this pretty fast are we right Battaglia how many worlds I think it's what six worlds left after Battaglia yeah, this is one where you need you need the magma boots for this. And we have to do the grind rail here. So I don't think it's optional. I think you have to do the grind rail on this one. I've always done it anyway just because it doesn't say optional. So I'm guessing you do have to do it. Yeah, it's not it's not an optional objective, so I think we have to do it. Oh, I'll leave the gloves of doom there to uh, kill them for us. Right, let's do this. I guess it's going faster as well, guys, because we've got a fast enabled. 
Yes, yeah, so you can just <laughs> you can just go straight through that. I am ratchet. I am master of many things, and one of them I can just sit through electrical fields and not take any damage. And these, these some air mines, grind the rail mines. Ratchet, you are so awesome. Thanks, Clank. Right, so we get to the end of this grind rail. I think we, we have to do the hoverboard race on um, the the last sort of world. Yeah, watch out for these barriers, guys. The barriers will still kill you. Yeah, we have to do the hoverboard race on um, the last world just before the planetizer. And uh, Cali Calibro 3, that's the one. The one with the belts, which you really enjoy doing. So left to dodge this one, back to the right. And we should be good. We could just sit here now and wait for a second. Improve the grinding. Sorry, enjoy the grinding. I meant to say improve the grinding. Yeah, so um, little scene here with the info bots. Oh, hello, little DVD player. Alright, let's go back to the main part of the island. Alright, come on, Clank. Oh! Bloody hell, Clank, you distracted me, stop talking. Oh, I got him. I think you have to kill these sort of few enemies. Oh, yeah, watch out for this, guys. Remember, that got me last time, if you remember. Right, down here. Need to press a switch. Right, make the bridge come across. There we go, let's go up there. I could do some ammo for my Gloves of Doom. I bet I don't have to get many kills of them left. What we'll do, like we did before, if you remember the um, yellow robots that spawned from the testing area on Calibro 3, we'll try and um, get all them again. Try and just keep dying so they keep respawning. Right, we've got that tank. Let's carry on down here. She should follow me, I hope. Oh, level 9, guys. Nice. Why, where is she? Is she here? Oh, there she is, yeah. Right, that would take care of them. Let's head over this bridge. Right, up the... You have to come up here. You can't skip across. You have to come up here. This is what you need the Magna Boots for. Yeah, you have to come up here. I did go through um, one draft where... I ignored... I ignored some levels where you needed the Magna Boots because my plan was to... I can't remember what my plan was, but I remember I came here once without the Magna Boots and I couldn't progress. <laughs> yeah, I um, fail to remember why now. Why did I not have the Magna Boots before this point? I don't know. There was a reason to it, probably some fucking stupid reason, because I can't even remember why it was. Right, got to go to the top first, guys, and uh, disable the turrets. Let's just leave that down there to keep the enemies occupied. Yeah, it's just um, let's do this. But I'll see my look at my gloves of doom, keep them guard. I like it, guys. Thank you, guarding your master. But don't worry, you can. I don't need it. You can go and kill the enemies. Yeah, it's a shame gloves of doom don't really work on these airborne enemies. Well, once you killed them all, the tank should appear. There we go. Gloves of Doom. Yes, got them. Right, let's get these again. Right, let's um, open the door. Right, we've just got to go in there and destroy. Yeah, do this lock first, and then we've got to take control of the turret. Yeah, you're right. Let me um, just do this. Let me auto hack. Cool. Star Watch Defense Cannon. That is. Well, I don't think infinite ammo works here. You just have to keep killing it because you have to. You sort of 
have to charge up. Yeah, I don't think infinite ammo works for this one. Yeah, because you have to sort of charge up, charge up your weapon. We'll see. We'll see. Um, does the ammo, does the um, charge stay there? Oh my god, can't you hit that ship? Oh yeah, I've done it now. Yeah, see, infinite ammo doesn't work on this, unfortunately. Let's just turn it off, actually, then. Before I forget. It works on the Deplanetizer, though. I remember that. It works on the Deplanetizer one. Um, and the, the one in the water level, I think. Obviously, I've got invincibility on, so I don't need to worry about shooting the um, shooting the missiles that are coming my way. Oh my gosh! Oh no, we've done it. Right, make sure they're not too far away, otherwise it will not work. Right, two left. go fire at will. No, actually, let's carefully pick your shots. You oh, yeah. Oh, look at these. Oh, uh, thanks for free ammo. They don't seem to be giving me much ammo, do they? Come on, one more. Come on, guys. Got this. Is that it? No. Yes. Right, I'm thinking it might be too far away. I'm a bit, <laughs> I'm a bit worried about shooting it. So it might be too far away. I've shot it before. When I've been too far away, nothing happened. Right, I can shoot him now. Right, let's go. Yes, did it, guys. Good work, Ratchet. Yes, thank you. Never come back. I'll get the Star Watch defense cannon online again and destroy you. We should head back to the ship. Into a million tiny pieces of nuts and bolts. Right, return to ship. And let's go. What's the next world? What one is the next world? Can't remember now. So then the only trophy we should have left is um. Is it? Yeah, let's just have a quick check up, guys. See where we are for trophies. Um. Okay, so complete the game in challenge mode, upgrade every weapon to maximum level, oh yeah, and upgrade one weapon to maximum level. Oh yeah, so we've just got the um, weapon upgrade levels, guys, weapon upgrades, and um, not weapon upgrades, I mean the weapon XP. Yeah, don't confuse them too like I just was. Yeah, so you've just got, we've got max um, level weapons and um, complete the game. Pokitaru. Yeah, so you can see, you get through the game pretty fast, you do, when um, you're just sort of speed running it. We're on the last part now of challenge mode, yeah, I just split into two parts. This is the last part. We will get it done now. So, um, yes, let's get going. All right, come on, sunshine dude. Oh, he's a technician, is he? He's not a scientist, he's a technician. All right, where's my gloves of doom? I'll leave Mr. Zircon to destroy him. No, it's cheap, no, it doesn't work on him. Okay, Rhino Extreme. <laughs> but yeah, kills him so fast. Right, come on, technician, dude. Oh my god, there's loads of my Gloves of Doom now, isn't there? I've got like six of them. Obviously, it's from getting the Omega Weapon upgraded, but I, I don't think I ever noticed that more than four spawn at any upgrade points. Where are they going? They're going swimming. I'm not sure if that's a waste of these. I think I'd be best off using Mr. Zircon to um, destroy these. Yeah, Mr. Zircon and uh, his little son there, Junior. Uh, yeah, they've been in the family for quite a long time, they have. Right, are we off? Yeah, we're done. We're good. Right, let's get rid of all these. 
you have to kill all these, otherwise the um, whatever his name is, he will not follow you. <laughs> I know it's going pretty mad with all the weapons here, isn't it? Right, well, thing is, going to appear in a second. The brain monster. Wow, you look at that! Over there is the Torgoff waterfall. Where is he? Where's the brain monster? Does he show when technician gets yeah, um, not technician? Mr. Sunny gets so close enough to you. Oh. Those were the days. What? What's he doing? What are you waiting for? Oh no! I think the brain monster should be spawning, but it's not spawned. <laughs> oh great! All right, so let's just move back here, and then I'll go back and see if he spawns. Then all the enemies are dead here, so I'm gonna have to quit. The brain, the brain monster isn't spawning. Oh, there he is, finally. Right, we're good to go. Yeah, me too. Go on, command this hover ship before I commandeer it. Right, we've got Mrs. Urkon ready to kill some fish, are you? From him since we moved here from the Polaris Galaxy, he runs a garage, right? Yeah, on Velvet. It's small, but it's kind of cool. We do mostly hover conversions, proton scrubs, that sort of thing. And now you're a Galactic Ranger. Grim must be so proud. Actually, I don't know. I was supposed to help him with some proton scrubs, but I left in kind of a hurry. Right, so we're about to go and find a technician now. Um, I was going to say we don't have to sit on this hoverboard anymore after this, but um, we still have to go in it one more time once we get a technician. My friend's not far from here. He'll be able to help you out. Yeah, cool. Right, we're here. Right, bingo. Let's go. Yeah, don't worry. I'll look after you, mate. Bloody hell, it's like babysitting this guy. Right, let's kill these. Oh boy, that's not good. Looks like the Blarg have reached the city. Looks like the Puffboys are giving them a run for their money. We won't be able to reach my friend until the ground troops. Right, we've got these. Should be able to press that switch there. Are they all dead? No, no, they're still spawning. Oh, there we go. Here he comes again. I'm coming. Sorry. Oh my god, not him again, Ratchet. Yes, him again. Okay. Alright, here we go, last bit. Got no ammo left, so let's just get Mr. Zircon out. Switch to the Rhino. The Rhino levels really quickly, really quickly the Rhino. Look how quick it levels up. I mean, yeah, it just kill enemies really quick. Right. We've got them all. That's it, right, let's rest Grim. Gloves of Doom are almost level 10. I've almost got a Proton Drum up. Um, what's Mr. Zircon on? Oh, he's on level 7. Sheepinator, level 7. Where is he? Oh my god, it's still an enemy alive somewhere. What are you doing, mate? Oh my god, really? Can we hold your hand? Here. Clank, hold his hand. I am not touching his hand. Okay, <laughs> stop doing that voice. Bet it comes across as really, really annoying. I have left the Orion's entire anthology here, and I can sing through it track by track. Yeah, alright. All hail Big Al the Conqueror. Go on. No, I just want to progress a mission. Oh my god, open this door. I'm going to blow it down with my rhino. I'll turn your door into a goat. Hey, man. Right, let's go. We'll get Ammo back over at the ship. What are you doing? Let go of me. There we go. Oh, oh thanks, bought a chair. I'm starting to get real tired 
Come on, do you want to have a sit down and enjoy the sunshine? Come on, can I get a suntan? No, I probably will not get through my fur. Alright, come on. I don't need sun cream. Because I have fur. Okay, come on. Okay, it's not going to work. Nice try, but um, I cannot sit down on chairs. Oh yeah, we've got to kill that thing, destroy that thing yet. Oh yeah, so um, infinite ammo should work for that, I'm hoping. I know it works for Deplanetizer. I'm not, I can't. Yeah, let's just refill my ammo. Yeah, I don't think I've. I'm not sure if I've used infinite ammo for this thing before. Um, extra sheets, infinite ammo. Yes. Right, let's go. All right, come on, dentist. Here we are. Uh oh. Right, let's go and harvest some hydro, guys. Yeah, I got it. Infinite ammo, son. Let, hopefully, that's going to stay. Yes, infinite ammo works on this as well. Awesome. There you see. Right, where's the rest? They're not spawned yet. Oh, there it is. No, wait, 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 wait. Okay, one left. Where is it? There we go. Got it. Right, turn off infinite ammo. Sorted, guys. Woo! A barrel roll. Wait, what happens if I fly into the water? I've not done that yet. I want to know if I can go subterranean. Good work. Ship needs a bit of a clean. Haha. It's all in a day's work. Nothing. It's part of my job. To defend this galaxy. Don't thank me yet. Thank me when the galaxy is saved. Ah, oh, Quarto. There we go. We need to do Quarto. Oh, yeah. Clank. Clank. Oh yeah, I think there's four. I think there's two, two more instances we need to control Clank yet. Right, have I got max ammo? Yes, I have. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh my, what am I doing? Oh, sorry, I can't even bloody use a grapple hook properly. Right, let's try that again. Oh yeah, I've got the um, jetpack thingy now. Right, let's do this. We got them? Okay, that's easy. Yeah, I'm already across, right. Gloves of Doom, do your thing. Uh-oh. Right. I'll kill these ones with my sheep, my goatinator. Right, is that it? Oh, no, it's one more going. Right, I think that's it now. That's it guys, let's send Clank in to explore. Oh yeah, got this bit of Clank. Infiltrate the factory. This level's quite a long one, isn't it, if I remember? I think after this we've got the um, water left. Um, what? No, we've done, just done the water level. I mean Kalibo. Is it clear? No, it's deplanetized after this. And then Kalibo, I think it was. Oh no! <laughs> you fell in. What a useless Gadgetron. Right, 
Right, yes, you over there. Oh, no way, wait, wait. I need a bouncy board. There we go. Okay, get my generator. Two generators I need. Okay, there's one. Let's go and get the other. Yes. Oh no, wait, I need to put the bridge there first. Right, there we go. Get the bomb. Good to go. Yeah, so there's one more time we have control clank after this. I'm afraid. One more time. I think we've still got about 30 minutes left of the game. Yeah, I think. I mean, obviously, you've got to grind in on top of that. But just in terms of gameplay, I mean, that looks dangerous. normal gameplay. Right, I've got to come down here now. Right, thank God we don't have to stay on all the um, belts on this level. So all over the place. Yeah, be careful. Well, I guess you've got invincibility on, they won't kill you, will they? Right, quickly get that. Oi, wait. Yes. I'm not chasing him all the way, all the way around there. Right, lobby you there. Lobby you there. Yes, and then we'll get this one. And that, is that it? Oh no, you've got the one with the, the, um, all the conveyor belts and the boxes, haven't you? Where you've got to get three. Yes, just past here. Yes. Um, oh, you've got to kill these first. Get him. I was watching a, a speed run on this, and well, briefly, I only skipped through it in bits. And they literally, like, they glitch through every single level almost. Like, every level they just sort of go out the map and get through it a lot quicker. So, um, what? Clank can die? Does an invincibility work for Clank? No, I guess it don't. Okay. Poor Clank, sorry. I don't need invincibility. You do. You just die. I didn't. You did. You died, Clank. I didn't die. <laughs> I just ran out of battery. Okay. Okay, where's the next one? Okay, one more. Yeah, the speed run, they just, they literally glitch through every single level. So you cannot follow a speed run for platinum. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean a proper speed run. You can't follow a proper speed run for platinum because they just go out of bounds on every single level. And a lot of glitches to um, practice and learn. Right, so we're in here now, the big conveyor belt room with all the boxes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, let's get back across. Hmm. Perhaps that magnet can be of assistance. Right, lobby you there. Right, let's go and get another one. Okay, just got that gadgetron over there now. Yes, yeah, a card though. Don't need it. It's just a card. It gives you a set. Right, quick. Yeah, oh, oh yes. Oh, I can double jump. So they forgot. <laughs> I forgot that the clank can double jump. Oh, what's going on? Oh, whoa. Whoa, what's going on? Thought I glitched for a second there. Right, so I need to turn this one into a bouncy board. Oh, okay. Why, why did he do that for? It's not very nice. I'm trying to give you more power by turning into a uh, gen a mobile generator, and he just <laughs> launches me away from him. Yes, good one, guy. No, yes, yes. There we go. Back to ratchet. You did well, Clank. Thank you. Right, it's going to do quad two. Right. Gloves of Doom. Oh, I've got none left. I need to refill my ammo, damn. 
from away was she? Where were you? Whoa. I, I've got a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of <laughs> factories like this when we play Abe's Exodus next month. We're going to be in a lot of factories in the next few months, guys, in terms of PS Plus. Oh, yes. Ammo. Alright, let's do it. Oi! That's cheating. Oh, we're in a jetpack. I don't think these can kill me. Yes. Right, let's quickly get through this then. Whoa. Almost level 9 with the Gloves of Doom. There's, actually, there's a boss on this level, and the boss on this level is quite good actually for um, leveling up your weapons as well. If you wanted to level a few of these weapons on that, I guess. Yes, I will. Auto hack. Right, jetpack. Yes, there we go. Right, I'm just going to call Zircon because these warbots are all going to be flying. So let's call Zircon and. Um, yeah, let's just, let's use the go to nate on these. I was just going to say use the rhino, get rid of them quicker. I've got you. I've got to do this anyway. Right, uh, one out of three remaining. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Right, three more will spawn. Oh, oh, there, there they are. Oh, six, six, of course. I'm good. I'm good. Right, this door will open now. We use Glyphs of Doom here. Right, let's just um, refill my ammo quick before we press the switch. Right, let's do it. Okay, let's go and kill the boss. Yeah, so Gloves of Doom do actually hit this boss. You can see here, look, they do actually just get him in time. Because he's close enough. So I'm just going to use all them until... Hopefully, he's going to get my Gloves of Doom to max level. Um, just watch the force field, obviously. But normally, Groovatron will disable his force field. It doesn't always work, but most of the time it will. Okay, one more lot of the um, Gloves of Doom, and I think they're max level. Oh, one more, maybe one more. Yes! Maximizing potential, that's for leveling your first weapon to max level, guys. Nice. Right, so we've just got to do Proton Drum and uh, Mrs. Zircon now. Right, so I think I'm just going to let Mrs. Zircon kill him. Ah, oh, no, it's going to take too long. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. It's going to take too long to get rid of him this way. Right, so um, that's that level done, guys. And we've we've maxed, we've maxed out the Gloves of Doom, which is probably the worst one. Oh, yeah, and uh, I need to go over there now. Yeah, so I think we've got the worst one out of the way. So we'll sort of do the Proton Drum next, Mrs. Zircon, and uh, the Sheepinator. And then we can hopefully do the last, all the other ones on the last boss. Right, we've done it. That's Quad 2 done. Right, back to the ship. Come on, Mr. Zircon and Zircon Jr. Sorry, Zircon Jr., no space for you. <laughs> Deplanetizer, yes, so Deplanetizer. And then we have Kalibo 3, I think it is. And then back onto Deplanetizer. And that is it. That is it, guys. Oh yeah, right, infinite ammo, of course. Um, yes, for this bit. Yeah, pretty much. Just go along with it. Yeah, so just wait a minute, the big ship will spawn in a second. There'll be a little cutscene. Oh, it looks like you have to, oh, you have to destroy these ships first, do you? 
I'd never even realised that. Yeah, you have to destroy them ships first, and then obviously the enemy finds out that um, you're attacking, and they'll send the warship, the destroyer, to get you. They'll send the destroyer to hurt you. Right, so uh, we've got infinite ammo, let's just spam it with rockets. Yeah, tractor beam, nothing you can do. This always happens when you get its health down so low, fortunately. Yeah, so when you're in the tractor beam, you can shoot your mi machine gun, but you can't shoot your missiles. Strangely. Come on, it could actually be a bit like reality, a bit realistic. Come on. I know controlling a ratchet and clamp, but um, could try and be a bit more realistic. Right. We did it. Um, extra turn off infinite ammo. Yes, we're good to go. Yeah, you're dead. Thank you. Alright, the Phoenix. Oh, yeah, Clank. Oh, yes, this is the last part we control Clank, finally. Let's get this done quickly. And no more Clank. Sorry, mate. No more Clankinator. I will find out. You're a clever guy, aren't you, Clank? Good idea. Less a fire, and we're going to access this suppression system. Yeah. I'd have gone for the sprinkler system first. Because it's getting quite toasty in here. Do you hurry? No pressure. Whoa, that was close. You cannot come in here, um, Victor Von Iron. Right, so we've got to quickly do this now, if I remember. Right, let's get that one first. What's happening? I made a bridge here. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's cursed. I cannot make a bridge to that side. No, you plonker. Hey, oh, I jumped on an invisible bridge then. Right, okay. We've got to get that over here and then go back the other way. Yes, okay. You're mine. Right, you go there. I don't know if there's a quicker way to do this. I mean, this is the way I always do this. But, I mean, you can actually put a bridge to that platform there via, via, via this side, as you can see. But obviously, I don't do that here. So, I guess there is another way to do this. Um, I don't know, this way is quick enough. Right, okay, that's the um, generator, half of the generator online. Yes, on to the next one. Yes, one. Exactly what I was thinking. Right, bouncy, bouncy thingy. Holy damn. Yeah, so um, oh, we have to use, we have to use that here. All right, just forgot. I forgot for a second there, guys, what I was doing. Right, we've got to take you all the way across. This is what we needed you. This is what we needed this for. Right, all the way across. Bam. Splat. Kabosh. Yes, kaboom. No, maybe not. Let's try that again. Yes, last one. And pow. Yes, right, let's go and run away from Galvatron again. Right, Clank. Let's do it. Galvatron. Woohoo. I'm over here. Woo. Yes, come on. Let's do this. Yes, if I could give... If there's one piece of advice I could give the most important part, it would be... Let's do this. Right, 
He's got auto aim, yet he still can't hit me. You're useless. Right, so remember, there's going to be door, a door on the right in a second, so be ready to head through the door on the right. It's normally when you go past the steps. I think I think it's normally when you go past the steps. Um, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there they are. See the steps? Normally when you go by... I think it's when you go by the steps. Whoa, almost got caught in the door frame again. Okay, just one little puzzle here. So first of all, fancy. No, that's too small. What's that for an ant? Right, so that there. Pick him up down here. Bridge. No, Jenny first. Generator first. Yes. Bridge. Over to there. Can I wave to my friends? Hello, wave. No, it doesn't work. Only Ratch only Captain Quartz can do that. We are unable to wave unless we are in the hollow guys. Right, I will take that. Come back here. Yes, you can stay there. Do not shrink on me. Right, yes. Generator. Yep, another generator. This one's a lot quicker than the the um, other place. But that other one, you get two... Oh, it wasn't even a generator. You get two puzzles there, but this you've only got this one room. Right, that's it. Back to Galvatron. And uh, the switch is right next to where you spawn in on the, the chase corridor. I don't think it's going to slice me. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought I was going to miss and die. I've done that. I've done that a few times. Missed it and died. Right, no more clank. Only ratchet from now on. Right, ratchet. Let's go and do this, my friend. My friend. Let's go and do it. We've got max ammo. We have now. Right. We've maxed on that. Um, let me... Let me just swap that to um, to the, what is it, what is it, where's it gone? To the Rhino, just so I've got quick access to a good weapon. Right, so I'm just going to keep using Proton Drum and um, using um, Mr. Zircon. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to keep doing this, guys. Because we've maxed the Glyphs of Doom. Don't need to press that. Oh yeah, I can't press R1, can I? Because, um... Yeah, because we don't have the um, jet, little jetpack thingy here. Right, is that most of them? Yes, looks like it. Right, let's go, come on. There we go. Level 8 on the Proton Drum, so Proton Drum's almost done. Raritarium, it's not like I need it. Right, let's um, hack this. Yes, there we go. Head to the bridge. Well, I could do some more proton drum ammo. Is there something there? Nope. And um, what about down here? I just want some proton drum ammo, please. This one? Nope. Oh, you know, I've got some ammo. i just got some there. Right, so we've got to kill all these now. Zircon Junior, level 8. Nice, my man. Oh, level 9. Sweet. Right, so I'm um, just trying to kill all these enemies now. You're going to have to level up these anyway, so you may as well just let the um, Proton Drum and Mr. Zircon kill them. 
Yeah, here comes some more, I can see. Right, once that door's, door opens up, we can head through there. Once it opens. Um, hopefully, it's, hopefully it's not going to be too long now. Fifty percent. Oh, there we go. It's open. Well, I think that's the last enemy now. That robot. Where's Mr. Zircon? Oh, there we go. Oh, I've got no Zircons left. Oh well. <laughs> well, I haven't now. Right. So um. Sheepinate, let's go to Nate him. Well, it's normally an enemy up there, but there isn't now. Oh, yes, I think I killed him. Well, is that force field gone? Is that all the enemies? Oh, no, still some coming through here. Oh, there we go. Yes, let's go through it. Uh, grapple hook, but wait for it. Okay, so here's the room of the planet. Let's hack this quickly. Right, get some ammo. Get some ammo in from over here. Where am I going? Oh, you've got the um, little them. Um, is it a security system through here? Yes, there we go. Maybe it's done hurt you with invincibility. Oh, nice. <laughs> Making it too easy for me. Right, let's get um, this Zircon out. Well, I'm going to use Supernator here as well, just so I can get kill some of these a bit quicker. We'll get another Proton Drum down. Right, I think that's it. Yes, it is. Right, almost there. Right, max ammo. Yes. Right, let's go and do this. Yeah, so you got um, obviously going to be some enemies down here. You got like uh, the tanks will spawn if you remember. Uh, so this one first. I'm stuck in its. Tra <laughs> I'm stuck in its track. Okay, he's taking a while to kill. Sh should I just switch to the Rhino? Maybe. Right. Let's get proton drums back. Right, where's the tank? Here it comes. Right, well, probably should use a rhino on this. So I think it's just wasting time. Okay, so there's going to be some enemies spawn up there. You can see a door about to open up. So I'm just going to lob uh, some proton drums up there, I think. There you go. That should take care of them. Spawn Mr. Zircon. And then once they're dead, this door will open up. That should kill them. Yes, there we go. Yeah, this door will open up next. Lob two down there. There we go. And I think we've done it, guys. Yes, yeah, so that's the planetizer done. Um, two more worlds left, the um, Kalibo 3. And uh, going back into the planetizer. Yes, here we go. Let's do this.
Yes, a Gadgetron Hollow, guys. So um, we'll try and we'll try and max the sheepinator, the, well the goatinator here, and um, Mrs. Zircon and the Pro and Drum. Yeah, we'll try and get them done here, guys. Oh yes, level ten, nice. Sheep, just sheepinator now, and then uh, Mrs. Zircon. Well, we do not need to head left now because that grind rail it just takes you to what a a gold it's a gold bolt it takes you to and um, a gold bolt and uh, oh yeah the um, mapomatic which you already have anyway so um, yeah so I'm gonna keep Mr. Zokon active and then just keep using the supernator. Yeah, that, that's that one done. Right up here. Don't need to kill the enemies here. So I'm just going to get straight through here. I think it. Le I don't think it's going to let me hit that switch for the Impsupinator, but it looks like it did. Quite awkward seeing where you're aiming in this room. So yeah, I just sort of come to the side and kill them like that. Right, Mr. Zircon can distract these for a minute. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to kill him. Okay, let's do this. Then I refill my ammo to refill Mr. Zircon. Right, there we go, let's get some more ammo, yep. Grind rail, well, thought I, jump, I thought I was going to jump off it then. I was here, you just got goats, the goat testing lab. Yeah, so don't be afraid, guys. It's only goats. Or is it sheep? It's a sheep testing area. Yeah, sheep. I didn't know they are going to change it just because I've got the goatinator now. Right, so um, these enemies out here, you don't have to kill them. I just killed them on new game because they can, when you're in this testing area, they can quickly overwhelm you. Right, so um, yeah, let's try and kill the fluffy bunnies. What's Mrs. Zircon on? Level 8. Of course. You can actually use Mrs. Zircon on last boss because... Um, yeah, because he'll still, attack that. he'll still attack the last boss, he will. Alright, so here we go. Oh, test complete. Oh, test complete. I don't have much of, don't have much of a choice anyway. Right, so here you have to do the bronze race. Yeah, you have to do the bronze race here in order to get the gravitron, uh, the hollow guy suit. Sorry. Oh yeah. Sorry, I have to drain the water first. I was wondering why it's not letting me um, talk to him. You have to drain the water first. Yeah. So you have to win this one. You have to win the bronze get gold on it in order to get your hollow guys and then we, we're okay to head into the deep planetizer and farm the weapons I've done the difficult ones I've done the proton drum and the glyphs of doom so and then the rest won't be too bad right let's do it let's do it nice and easy you've got invincibility on it's not like you need it for bronze because there's no explosive um, there's no explosive when you're on bronze that's just on a silver cup and the gold cup. I guess it'll work on the... If you hit frogs, it'll stop you from taking any damage. Oh, no. Right, 
Idiot! That's because I'm bloody... <laughs> That's because my opponent's got in my way then. Don't know what's going on right now. Great, straight into a pillar. This is not my proudest moment. Right, I've got to win this. You do have to win this. You can't just do really poorly. You do have to win this to him get the hollow, guys. Yeah, if you don't get gold, you just have to do it again. I've got first place. There we go. I've got this. I've got it this time, I think. It's probably not helping because I've got speed on fast. Okay, what happened there? Got stuck. Yeah, it's for me. I'm going to be the winner. Right, we've got this, guys. There's no way they're going to catch up now. Oh, great. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Oh, but I'm still first. No, watch out for the pillars. You opti noob. Oh look, I'm over lapping him. Completely awful mate, that's terrible. I overlapped him and got in last place. Yes. Usa on the top. Yeah, who is it? Yes, it's me. That's me. I'm Ratchet. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks guys, you're welcome. Right, we've got it. We've got the hollow guys. What? Yes, let's go. We've done all the, the rest is just optional. Yes, I'm going there right now, right this second. Right, max ammo. Right, let's go and do it, guys. Last level. So just got to quickly get to the end of the last level and get to that boss. And then just quick, well, not quickly. It's going to take you a bit of time. Max upgrade every weapon with the last boss. And then you just got to kill him and you'll get the platinum. Right, let's do it, guys. Go to the planetizer. Yes. And then we are all finished on Ratchet and Clank. This is a bit slow to start with, that's the only problem with this one because you have to wear that stupid costume. Right, Ratchet, let's go. The, the planetizer ship bay. Um, okay, so I need to... Um, let me quick slot it. Where is it? Uh, where? Oh, there we go. No, that's not it. No. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Thank you. I feel very heroic as well. I feel like I've, I feel like I've put in a few pounds as well. Literally, I've put in a few pounds within about five seconds of getting off my ship. Oh, frogs. What's going to happen to them? Dirty trespassing things. No frogs allowed in this ship. No wrong button. Hector is detected. <laughs> Bulging belly detected. Yes, that's me. Definitely me. Deep belly button protected. Right, actually, I guess I need to keep the Groovatron on hand. Yes, I need to keep the Groovatron handy here, don't I? Because, yes, I need to keep that handy. Yes, yeah, so we'll keep that there. I know, you've already said that. Open. Oi. Yeah, I know. My ass looks nice in this. Sorted. Oh, 
Oh, I wonder what happened then. <laughs> it's because we hit that switch. <laughs> oh! Great. Oh, I didn't mean... I thought it had just turned around, so I went to jump. Lack of muscles, detected. Lack of muscle. shut up. Shut up, you stupid computer AI. I've took offence to that. Yeah, I don't know why the, the shortcut Ready options change sometimes. I don't know why that happens. Remember, don't kill this one yet because the um, switch is right at the end. Oh, no, nice doggies. Right, let's get these. Let's get this gun. Is that it? Are we good? Oh yeah, we've got. Sorry, we've got head up the top, haven't we? Of course. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. There we go. Chiseled abs. Right, where is it? Where's the switch? There it is. No, quick. Oh, no, I wasn't quick enough. Yeah, you have to be really quick. I'll probably get behind him next time. Right, so we need to kill all these enemies before we can progress. I best just be careful nobody gets to that, so um yeah, let's leave a groove try next to it. That's a go to Nata, level nine. He's still dancing even after the music stopped. He's got a lot of rhythm in him. Oh, the door's open. Yay! Right, where is it? Where, where, where? There we go. Okay, surprise. It's only me, Ratchet. I'm a master of hollow guys. Right, it's just, um, I'm always nervous about other enemies <laughs> coming from behind and uh, pressing that button. No, where do you think you're going? I oh know, done it. Yeah, let's get moving. Oh no! Damn, I, I wasn't sure how quick he'd turn around, so I thought I'm going to take the risk. But, um, yeah, I shouldn't have. Quick. Oh, idiots. <laughs> I overjumped that one. Welcome. Whoa, what are you doing, right shit? Quick. Phew. That's right, it's me, Captain Clark. How is it going? I don't need to waste a groove tron on that pathetic thing, it's only one enemy. Welcome. Right, here we go, but of invincibility. We shouldn't have to worry about dodging anything. I don't think, yes. What is going on? Did I just fall down then? I think I did. Why, um I don't think I've got any um Groovatron stuff. Oh, but never mind. I've got max ammo there. You look very heroic today. Okay. 
You've got this. Where do you think you're going? Why? Can I actually press that entrap that trespasser before? I uh, can't. No, I can't. I thought I was gonna. I was gonna give it a go. See if he can. But um, why do my shortcuts keep changing? Alright, best go and um, use that just in case. Just in case somebody sneaks past. I've almost maxed out the Gotenator. Okay, this door now. Where's my aim? Um, one more Groovatron, that should last now. I guess you could, you know, with um, getting to max level, I guess you could get to um, just before max level, like level 19, and um, you probably just go at the rest of the levels throughout the game. Yeah, so I guess you could have done that, so you don't have to really go right to the max level. You know when we're doing that glitch? But it it doesn't take long, and um, it lets us keep invincibility on, so um, yeah, we just do it there. But I guess, yeah, you could do the same with that. Right, let's... Um, Right, so you've got to kill these enemies first to make the grapple hook appear. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about security no more. Right, so let's go to the end. Um, right, where's Mr. Zircon? Where do I have to go here? Left. Oh, so I have to kill the enemies here because it's not quite open yet. Come on, we've almost got Sheep and Ate upgraded. Another one to come in. Oh yes, need about two more kills for Sheep and Ate, two or three. Is that the last one? This should be it. Yes, max level go in it finally. Right, so um what next? Let me just switch out my weapons guys. So I'll go for flame flamethrower, um we'll go for that, so that's a bit annoying. Still need to use Mr. Zircon. Um so let's get him there. And um the pixel we use the pixelator as well. <laughs> Why? What's going on? Oh. Yeah, so we've got the um, pixelator here. He's now oh, out of ammo now. Oh, what am I doing? I have to. Um... I've got no ammo left. I've just bloody killed myself. What an idiot. Alright, flamethrower. Well, that leveled up quick. Okay, so that don't seem very good on these, does it? Oh yeah, not really. <laughs> Is that it? Is that what that does? 
Oh my god, that's pretty lame. Oh, that went up pretty quick. It all, they all seem to go up to level 7 pretty quick. Okay. Right, let's go and lower that force field. Them guys out of the picture. Right, switch to something else. It's nice to have an invincibility on there. Very nice. Yeah, you have to kill all these enemies, otherwise the door ahead doesn't open up. And just got them guys up there. Um, is that it? Okay, somebody's... Oh, them guys, really? Them guys over there. That's it, Peacemaker. Oh, and then one more. Right, the door should be opening up now. Oh, it's more spawning, no wonder. So, yeah, if you can't get a door opening, just keep killing the enemies. Oh, there we go, finally, guys. Great, what an idiot. The amount of times I've done that. Oh great, I've got to kill these bloody enemies again. Yeah, sorry about that guys. The amount of times I keep bloody jumping up, jumping to my death. But I should only have to kill these ones now. And um, then the door should open up. There we go. Right, we're all clear, guys. Right, what's Mr. Zircon? What is, um, yeah, she needs max ammo. What is Mr. Zircon at? Um, where is he? Oh, he's level 9. He's not quite level 10 yet. So, we've got to kill Captain Quartz first, guys. And um, then, obviously, we'll go to the final boss and uh, just max all your weapons against the final boss. And then kill him and you'll get a platinum. Yeah, so I quickly auto-hack this one. That's it. That's the last lock of the game. We did miss a few anyway during the second playthrough because some are optional. So, um, yeah, just remember that. Some are optional, some you don't have to actually get. So, if you have to miss that trophy, you just have to go back and get them. So, look up and find out where the op optional ones are. Right, um, let's level up something. You'll keep using the Groovitron on you, remember. Let's use that first, flamethrower. It's not really doing much to his health, though, is it? <laughs> 95%. He's immune to damage. It must be them pectorals. Right, um, we go for this now. What's his weakness? Arms? Is that his arms? His weakness? You're gonna have to do this anyway on the last boss, so you might as well just get do this now while you're killing him, guys. Yeah, you're gonna have to do this anyway on the last boss. So. Um, it's armpits. Is that his armpits? Or something that I don't know. 
Right, no ammo left there. Um, Pixelizer. Let's get Mr. Zircon back. Oh, here we go. Dancing again. Right, Pixelizer. Mr. Zircon. Level 7. This is a pretty cool weapon, isn't it? I do like this weapon. It sounds like I'm punching him. <laughs> Alright, um, what have we got? And what next? Okay, let's use the Doom Blades on him. I don't think they. I don't think the Doom Blades would take long to level, will they? Oh, we're dancing again. Right, thirty-eight percent. How long is this taking to kill him? The Rhino will literally kill him in like a few seconds. The Rhino will, but the Rhino is like really strong weapon. Um, okay, let's just go for what's next on here. Let's use the rockets. Oh, I've got no uh, Mr. Zircon's left. Right, what's next? Grenades. Oh, let's miss. Wait, let me call my friend. You can spam these a lot quicker now, can't you? These grenades. Now you've um, upgraded them. Damn. Done, done. That's no, not done. Almost got you. Okay, disco ball. Oh, we got him. So that's Captain Quartz. So we've got the um, grind rail, the last grind rail, and then Mr. Nefarious. Or Doctor, sorry, Doctor Nefarious. Oh! Shit. Okay, obviously made a mistake there. So this is like probably the easiest grind rail there is <laughs> with invincibility. Almost forgot to grapple to that one. Right here we go, guys. So you know what you're doing. You just got to keep using. <laughs> just got to keep leveling up all your weapons now on this boss. It's going to take you probably about another half hour to do it. Um, so just level up all your weapons, guys. So obviously keep dying like you were before. And uh, but hopefully it shouldn't take too long. I mean, they are all max upgraded, so they're all a little bit more powerful, so quicker to use, and a bigger range and whatnot. So yeah, just keep doing this, guys, and I'll see you in a second once you've done it all. Well, probably a few minutes. Yeah, so I'm back, guys. I've just got one more weapon to fully upgrade, and that's a missile. The missile, there we go. That should be it. Yes, Master of War, fully upgrade to max level. All your weapons. So let's just make sure, yeah, 45 out of 46, yes, 6 is going to be um, defeat the last boss and challenge, and um, so let's quickly kill him. Yeah, the um, that went a lot quicker than when we did it on the first game, guys, but doing, doing the Groovatron was a bit of a pain in the ass, because I had to keep flying around, because the Groovatron, it seems to level each time it makes somebody start dancing, it's not damage, each time it makes someone dance, it will start, it will um, gain a bit of XP. So um, you normally have to wait for an enemy to stop dancing if we can get some again. So that was a bit tedious, that one. I had to keep um, knocking the boss's health down so much so he spawned the, the robots then um, 
make them dance and die and they do the same again. But the, the rest of them went pretty well. Went a lot quicker than what they did on the first game. So um, he should be dead by now. 1% energy. You're dead, mate. <laughs> no way you're going to survive that. you got the Rhino in your face. Oh, you know what? I've almost used all my bloody ammo up. Right, got him now. And I uh, should get a trophy, guys, for him. Um, Completing the game on challenge mode. Okay, where's this trophy then? Wait, why didn't it pop? Is it after the credits? Complete the game in challenge mode. Oh, I bet I bet it pops at the title screen. Yeah, let's just get through this quickly. So hold down on the analog stick. Yeah, so this challenge mode, I I, have, I did split it into two parts right at the last minute. I've realised how long it's taken, so yeah, I, I did decide to split it down into two rather than one whole part. But it's taken, well, it's not been too bad. I think it's taken, what, about seven, eight hours for Platinum. There we go, challenging, and shortly after Platinum Trophy. And, and, yes, there we go, the hero of heroes. Your pecs are big again, guys, and you're feeling very heroic. We got that trophy. And yes, that's it guys. So that's it for Ratchet and Clank. That's another one in the bag. So thanks for watching guys. Hope it helped. And I'll see you on the next video.